I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. F it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it and we'll do it live. Fucking thing sucks. In five. God damn, Gary. Some serious gourmet sh What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT Blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code NERDROTIC. Hey, are you coming? Yeah. I'm gonna come. All right. Perfect. Hey, everybody, it's Alec Baldwin here. <laughs> oh, Mortal Bene. You know I'm going to stop you. Bitch! It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. I'm Razor Fist! God f***ing speed! You don't get it. You are closer to white than I'll ever be. Your favorite food is cheeseburgers, and I know more Mandarin than you do. You're barely even Asians. Oh, well, what would you, what would you Hi, uh, what's up, Brian? How's it going, baby um. boy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> All of you, god damn it. I'm gonna slap you. you <laughs> Hi everyone. Hi Jerry. I got mad at my kid today. I feel terrible when I do that. I feel terrible. But um, he did something he wasn't supposed to do. You know, he was he was doing what every kid is doing with these Zoom classes, right? Let's see. Hell yeah. Yes, baby! Woo! Suck my dick! <laughs> so I walked into his room and he's like, Oh my God. Dude, dude. Oh, oh, Shit. Oh my God. Oh my God.
Hello. Is this real live? Hello. We're That's we're loud. live. Um, not on time, but really close. Progress, not perfection. Uh, our guest will arrive soon. Do not worry. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we can probably get these introductions out of the way. Uh, Jeremy is on assignment. Jeremy's on assignment. He's uh, he's on assignment. I think stopping at every single Bucky's across the country. I believe that's oh, what the plan lucky. is going to be. Oh, that's so cool. Checking out every bathroom, making sure it's tip top shape. Every stall. Him and Drunk Three PO specifically, I believe, are going to be checking out each and every single Bucky's stall. He would that be putting his foot under the under the stall. It'll be know, absolutely amazing. Bucky, so. yeah, is it yeah. just me that finds that massively gay? No, no, well, yeah, no. You haven't I, been to a Bucky's, no. have you? Fucking bigot. No. <laughs> okay, but but I but I have heard stories of men in toilets. Bucky's is the wow. foundation of the free market and the citadel of capitalism. Okay, it's it is one of the place. greatest places on earth. It is. Hail I thought Bucky's. he was Captain America's sidekick. <laughs> uh, the Falcon, wow. like a woodchuck. Uh. That's an on. Anyway, welcome to Friday Night Tights, tights everybody. <laughs> we made it to another Friday. The, the tough crowd tonight, the as I know. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I t I Hi, <laughs> Razor Fist is here. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> he's, he's just going to talk in hand signals today. So, uh, right. No. <laughs> Had to make sure my audio is. Working. I know, right? Can you hear me? I can hear yeah, you yeah, just yeah. fine. I can hear you. All just right, fine. everyone. Razor fist, did you just murder someone? What's with the gloves? What? <laughs> I actually <laughs> just got, yeah, I just got back from Nicole Brown's place. Actually, uh, oh. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> <laughs> something might be too going soon. on with her and that waiter. I don't know. We'll too see. soon. Yeah. yeah, whose sunglasses are those? By the way, <laughs> uh, Marion Cobretti. <laughs> it's actually a filter. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> like I said, it's Friday Night Tights. My name is Gary Beekler. I come to you from Nerdrotic and my mom's vagina. And let's get through these uh, introductions quick uh, because uh, well, I, we got to go to Vegas after this. I'm, I'm yeah. uh, pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. As, what's up, man? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thanks, comics. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> comics division stand in, ladies and gentlemen. He, he did just ask, how are you guys doing, basically? Yeah. yeah. What's how up? You how are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. I'm, how are you doing? Good. You good? <laughs> you? Uh, what's up, Ryan? Oh, not much, Gary. Just grinding away and getting ready for Las Vegas. It's hard to believe it's almost here, and we are going to fucking pack the place out at the Millennium Fandom Bar on Wednesday, April 26th in Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, we got a bunch of cool stuff going on throughout the week as well. So, yeah, man, I'm excited. Rock and roll. I am too. Yeah, we had to to shut off the RSVP. Yeah, wow. had to wow. it down. I did not expect that to we happen. We were sold out. Well. Yeah. If you want to see more of us, though, Chrissy's show on Thursday. Yeah. Oh, Why, right. you're stripping. I'll be there. Yay. Wow. It's strip comedy, fun. yes. Comedy, not stripping. Oh, I if, if, your show, hey, hey, Chrissy, if your show really fucking bombs and well, like everyone's just not digging it, would you consider just popping your tits out? Yeah, maybe I'll take one out, see how that, or maybe a foot. Um, <laughs> Test the waters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I was not aware of this, Chrissy. I, I specified uh, in the contract. Did you read the contract? I mean, we can go over it in length. On a live Contract. stream, we're on time. How then. long is this? <laughs> well, so she said, dig it in. I miss something? Obviously, no. obviously. <laughs> so, so, how many how many chapters is the nudity clause? Uh, <laughs> well, it's the size oh, of your average oh, later chapters. George R. R. Martin book. So, right. <laughs> uh, can I get the Cole's notes version? Yeah. Uh, what's yeah. up, Quarter Black? You got stuff Yo. going on. I do have stuff going on. Uh, I want to announce a little bit. Uh, I don't want to step on Razor Fist because he's got the real announcement tonight. But I am, in fact, doing a show with Dave Landau on Blaze TV starting sometime in May, maybe June. Uh, it's going to be fun. It's in, a, it's in addition to Friday Night Tights and everything I do with Gary on Nerdrotic. So it's going to be a lot of fun, and I hope to see you all there. And 
I hope to see you all at Vegas because I'm dropping some new merch stuff. I got new stickers. Ooh. Look at that. You know? Order gay. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So like, I'm, objection. I'm not person. seeing rainbows in that, Garrett. Yeah, so this is light. light. Okay, Ryan, don't let Ryan, the gays I take can't, light. I can't fault <laughs> Ryan's yeah. assessment of the situation. Order gay, Garrett. Mm-hmm. All right. Fraction of light is not gay. <laughs> Are you quarter Canadian? That makes sense. But, but for real, I'm excited as hell. I'm, I'm excited as hell about your announcement that you and Dave are going to be doing that with Blaze. That's fucking awesome. Dude. Yeah. It would have been so oh. funny if he said, I'm leaving. I've been hired to be <laughs> someone else now. <laughs> <laughs> the, re the revolving door of QBG. It'd be great. Like, Sounds I'm going back to Crowder. He made me an offer I couldn't refuse. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take Dave's. <laughs> or, or else he'd fire my three friends. <laughs> oh. yeah. Good Oof. people. Good people. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett can't say shit, uh, but we can. <laughs> I'm tasteful, okay? <laughs> classy. classy, only the classiest man. of class. Classy. That's good. I'm a classy That's good. So girl. We need some class representation here. Uh, Shad M. Brooks, good morning. Yes, from the future. Good morning. Is it morning for you? Just, just a little bit. But uh, guys, I my heart has been touched. I have been moved. Not, not it is very rare that I get lines of profound unquestionable truth in media and i just have to echo those same words of just transcendent glory swords are fun yes swords are fun, swords are fun. yes uh my my life was just like oh oh my gosh <laughs> oh these wolf you've so you're my favorite character ever Done. Yep. And, you had a phaser all along. I feel Swords like I need a fun. cigarette after that. Swords of fun. It's like <laughs> that answer was just everything. It's like, yes, someone gets it, Gary. Someone actually they gets do. it. All he had to follow <laughs> up presented on screen. He just had to follow to up with nunchucks are lame and uh you would have orgasmed. Like I, I you know Swordgasm. I, no, I'm Swordgasm. Just saying, now. Like if we get swords of fun. We, we, we might, you know, get some additional truth out there. That, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, it's a strange year. It's going to be a strange year when Star Trek Picard outperforms uh, the Mandalorian. <laughs> I mean, it's just, we live in weird coming. times, Gary. We live in strange times. Very strange. Uh, times. Yeah, I thought you were going to say that uh, that Elon Musk is starting a celebrity relief fund for the blue check mark today, which brought me to tears. <laughs> so. Charitable man. Did you see, oh, did you see the Bette Midler meltdown? Yes. It was yeah. glorious. It's so good. You see the yes. Alyssa Milano one. She's like, right? So somebody the can video. make an account and talk a load of bullshit. I was like, no, Alyssa, that's you. Right. That's oh, that, you're you. already doing it, girl. I, they're like, don't, don't think been, of it as don't think been, of it as paying eight dollars. Think think of it as Wealth redistribution. Just it's <laughs> paying your fair share. <laughs> yeah. yes. and, and their attitude it's, it's like is when it's like when Bette Midler supported Obamacare and helped fuck each and every human being in the United States from cradle to grave, which ain't far off, by the way, Bet. Yes, no, not no. for her. <laughs> Yeah, their entire attitude has been, we've been providing free content to this platform for years. Free content. Free content. Oh, free content. content. Free content. Well, well, they are free now. content for us. The great free irony content. is they are now. Uh, <laughs> so thanks. Thanks. We'll go over some of it. We'll go over some yeah, of that. Free content. <laughs> you were a little blurry there. Just out of it's your I know, because I did it. I, did, I, I did like it this new camera oh, there you, you got go. now. Look at this. Free content. Wow. <laughs> Jesus, look you look at this like dynamic. It's Modoc. That, that camera reminds me of <laughs> he needs to be. He needs to be able to do it without fucking grabbing the thing. Yeah, we're, we're, we're I talking need to get one of those remotes, don't I? And I <laughs> yeah, for a second there, you look like a Jenny Nicholson video. So. <laughs> <laughs> we could just do all, this all night, folks. This quality yeah. entertainment here at okay, Friday Night Tags. Like, like, hey, as your eyes are so beautiful, I never realized. You know, it's just shocking that nobody ever calls me to with a big contract from a network after That's a show weird. like this. Yeah, it's so weird. I guess. Um, <laughs> most, these most production are values. I know, I'm right? To avoid looking at me. That's why. <laughs> uh, hello, Chrissy Mayer. Hello, I'm here. I'm queer. I just got my hair did. 
feeling good. I'm feeling excited about Vegas. Wondering uh, how many sparkly uh, thongs to pack. So, yeah, all I'm excited. All Thursday, uh, all of them. Thursday, August 27th. Again, like if you for some reason were asleep with the wheel and can't get in to the meetup, come to the, I mean, it's not going to be the same thing, but uh, it's going to be slightly more me telling dick jokes uh but that's gonna be at the space on the 27th at seven o'clock uh which there are still some tickets left for that but yeah i'm excited to hang out with everybody and meet some more peeps mm. know that yeah oh uh, we'll, th- 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 we'll have no problem filling that place out and listen yeah, bring, oh. bring an extra carry-on bag for all the so you can bring back all the porn pamphlets you know yeah oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. right plus all the ones i'm bringing uh, right, exactly. yeah. <laughs> it's really we should just, collect those mm-hmm. this year. You know what? I'm going to take everyone that's handed to me this year. What the fuck? Yeah, I mean, like, see what happens. Yeah, make them feel good. I'll wear gloves, but uh, yeah. Oh, I'll take them. <laughs> um, well, I get a tetanus shot afterwards just to be safe. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> People. I hit the wrong Hello. button. <laughs> People. That's the wrong x-ray girl button. I know. So- wrong sound. Hello, like. x-ray girl. I need to label Hello. these better. Get you, you should put it together. So the yeah, and then at the end, girl song, and then people. people. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just wanted to shout out Big Raj, who got me this for my birthday. I um, If it wasn't for Fred Nine Tights, I wouldn't know this phrase. I'm sure everybody's yeah. paying attention to the t-shirt right now. Chat. Oh, sure. Yeah, Chat, sure. Sure. Nice he strategically placed it, you know, the image and the words. <laughs> <laughs> but I also wanted to shout out, uh, there's a new emo in chat that uh, Jeremy has shared. You can officially use the 199 emote. Oh. oh, nice. The one, 199. It's, it's the so fucking infectious. 199 thing has been insane on Geeks and Gamers Daily. I have no it was, idea what it, it was would be one, that big. Little joke because I was making fun of Disney Star Wars Celebration. I called it Disney Star Wars and I put uh, quotations around celebration and put cringe <laughs> at the end. And some dude comes in chat, celebration cringe. Are you retarded? This has been around since 199. <laughs> <Been in 1999. laughs> he got so triggered while calling us retarded, he had a spelling error and forgot the extra nine. So I just made fun of him and roasted it. And it's just been all about 199 after that. Jimmy changed the damn channel memberships on Geeks and Gamers to, to 199. 199. <laughs> but we are the 199. That's what's side awesome. scrollers too. Like Cedric and Craig's like, shout out to the 199s out there. Like that is your entire <laughs> fan base now. It's just the 199s. <laughs> Fellowship yeah. equals the 199. Yeah. Also, happy birthday, wow. David. Sounds like a Mexican lady's measurements after age 30. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> It's we are the 199 right now. No, wait. I mean, he's out of order, but he's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm thinking, uh, I just heard Mexican. I'm thinking about food. I just can't wait to eat food again. Uh, mm. oh. I love food. Oh, yes. I the best food. Mexican food is it, it all, the more it looks like raw sewage, the better it is. Yes, tastes. absolutely. Oh, yeah, pre digested. No. It's got to be the more yes. cockroaches you Cleaned see in it. the Dude, restaurant. I ate at this place called Juanita's in Lucadia. It had a B grading. <laughs> Juanita's. I love Juanita's. it. <laughs> Juanita. Juanita's. Yeah, Juanita's. Carne uh, And she's back there flipping stuff, man. Yeah, yeah. It was like burritos. owned by a Juanita. It was after Roberto, but it had a grade B, like uh, for those of you not in the States, that's not good. Uh, for a restaurant, oh. that means there's rats and cockroaches. I didn't give a shit. I didn't care if the rats were in the, the tacos were good. So that's all I cared about. It's a good place. It's still there. That's flavor. It's on high, uh, Highway 101 in uh, wow. Quailudia, as we lovingly called it back in the Is day. Is that where we went, Gary? Yes. That was delicious, man. It was super good. Well, I need to know what she doing. Yeah, and then right what afterwards, uh, you gave me COVID. Yeah, that's right. I did. <laughs> Maybe it was Juanita. Wow. There no, it was you. No, it was, <laughs> it was me. It was you. <laughs> Missed Comic Con, and honestly, COVID was better. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, so uh, I am very happy uh, to announce that we are bringing back Razor Fist in the show with a very special announcement, by the way. Yeah. He's been teasing. Uh, so, welcome, Razor Fist. Yay. Wait, are you going to start doing it in color? Is that the announcement? No, he's not in color. If you meet him, he's actually in black and white. 
Oh, I wow. actually yeah. in daily life. It's like my yeah. soundtrack yep. to life. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, we got a a big comic book to reveal that we've been working on for some time. Actually, if you guys are cool, uh, my my artist could also pop on if you want yeah. to ask him any questions. Oh, but dude, uh, it's yeah, George George it. Alexopoulos. Absolutely, is the you might have <gasps> seen his George. political cartoons. George. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> other George. The other George. <laughs> the other George. Yeah, get him the link. Uh, like he can come on. To him. Oh, I have it. It's live now, right? I can share this. It's okay. The Indiegogo is up. Yeah, it's uh, the, the comic is called Ghost of the Badlands. We got some uh, preview pages there. We got uh, all kinds of fun stuff. Let's send this to the uh, mod. Right on. You want to get the link? And is there a trailer? The link to George. Is there a trailer? There is a trailer on the Indiegogo. Actually, uh, yeah. I'll open it. I got it. I got it. Let's check it out. Oh hey, yes. Okay. No dollar Canadian. Come on, man. What? Yeah. <laughs> you know, somehow zero dollars looks like even less when it's in Canadian. It's Canadian. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to make you feel better. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, what kind of fucking goal is that? Sixty-seven thousand five hundred eighty-eight dollars. You're so like, specific. Make it look better. Have zero pesetas, you know. And then make it... here, I'll change it. I'm being shamed right now. <laughs> looks like he had an Asian do the math on that. So so yeah. specific. There we go. <laughs> Boom. There. <laughs> right on. Yeah, so that's um it, it's just a, a western we've been working on it Turn for the a while. A bit. It's uh kind of a little bit of a like elemental kind of pale riderish uh, sort of western. And, Great video uh, by the way. The your your western video was fantastic. Right on. We've been wanting to to do something like this forever. Uh, that there's the cover right there, and uh, we're gonna have a, a couple different covers there. I I'm not sure how uh, George wants to handle it, but it looks like one's gonna be the hard cool. cover and one's gonna be the soft cover. Uh, so each one's gonna have Ooh. a different cover. One hard, one soft. It's giving me gunslinger energy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, woman. Is it? <laughs> what exactly is gunslinger energy? Well, <laughs> be well, we're in a week of mass shootings before you answer this question. Yeah, because yeah, you say like, ask Alec Baldwin. Yeah, come out of nowhere. Coming from masculine, a little scary. <laughs> I do think of as when Ooh. I hear it for some reason. Huh? Like, don't ask me how I'm feeling. Gunslinger <laughs> energy. I'm looking, I'm looking at the big yeah. combo. I feel like I'm ordering a takeaway right now. I'll, I'll have, get a number the, two I'll have the big Yeah, combo, I want two please. big combos. Could you supersize Wait. the big combos or are yeah. they just big enough? Dude, this looks yeah. so good. Are you gonna this do any really uh, cool. are you gonna do any slabs? Are you gonna do any slabs? <gasps> I, I don't know. CGC? Oh, uh, CGC Ooh. them? Ooh, oh, look at wow. that. There we go. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right through the head. Right through the head. Um oh, and, and we're also oh, doing awesome. memes, isn't it? This is the guy who does the memes. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 He's, he's on his way. By the way, he is on his way. He had his art featured on Tim Pool, like uh, maybe la two couple years ago. Like he's I gonna am. be on. Uh, he's gonna be on Tim Pool in a day or two, I believe. Awesome. Uh, and actually, he's gonna talk about this comic nice. a little bit. Oh, nice. this is such oh, a heartbreaking talented. scene. Oh, it's me. I know, right? It's a western. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. No, it's, I cannot wait. Westerns always end well. <laughs> <laughs> always. Yep. They're known for their happy endings. And Play shit. the trailer. That looks brilliant, dude. That is right up my alley. Uh, hey, in the meantime, uh, while you're waiting for that book to come out, why don't you go get his other books that he has out right now? You can get them on Amazon. <laughs> There's a whole website. Yeah. That's free too. Leave a review. Yeah. Um, incidentally, if you want a little preview of the art, uh, Death Mask is illustrated by the same guy. There you go. Ooh. All yeah. right. Are we ready for this? The ready. Interior right there. That's 36 minutes. So you just tell me when. To... I like that pog face that I'm making there, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it's a long I know. It's like a. It's like a booty had me like face. Oh, it's a thirty six. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a thirty six minute trailer. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I thought you were kidding. I'm like, holy shit. That's like that's. So that's, like I said, just tell me when to stop. That's an episode. There is a there is a trailer up now uh, that I just put up on my channel. Uh, I don't know when he's gonna get up uh, uh, it up on the Indiegogo, but um, it is. Do you want me to show that one instead? Whatever, watch. well, whatever. We, we can show it a little later. Whatever. We can watch some of this one. Put, it, put dude. It we could put the thirty-eight minutes on and just do this. <laughs> <laughs> 
would be the easiest fucking show we've ever done. Man. <laughs> oh, we, yeah, man. Oh, it could be like the entire thing. We could do. Love we could it. do like Hassan, right? Doesn't he just like watch other people's shit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, some chicken nuggets. Mommy, have a mom make some sandwiches. Well, I look like a like I just watched Lizzo do a naked handstand. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'd have that face too. I don't know. I think I don't know. I gravity. Your eyes yeah. should be burning out more if you're so. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? The, the the sunglasses help filter it. That's, that's you should, you you should be looking. Shut. Right, right, Sophie. You should look like one of the people in um the you know Indiana Jones movie. You know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Right, I'm, and by the way, be careful because Indiegogo will automatically attach a tip to them. On yeah, there, so sure. and they're I'm going sure. around it's, shadow um, banning people. So uh, be very careful before uh, you hit that. I'll uh, attach a tip. We're, we're vigilant <laughs> for this. Uh, George, my uh, the, the artist on the book is he's gone through Indiegogo a number of times. You guys know my previous two books. I just went through a publisher. I did it the normy way. He's more experienced with Indiegogo, so that's why we're doing it uh, this way. It's just a big uh, pre-order campaign. There you go. So. Oh. If you want your uh, stuff, we were going to do a whole bunch of stretch goals, but I wanted to keep it pretty simple for the first one. Uh, so it's, I, I think one of the bigger stretch goals right now is a possible color edition. I love black and white. Like I honestly, the both of us would prefer just a black and white, but you know, I know some people like cover the color. So we like, he has an idea to do a color version, but only if we hit like a particular amount. So gotcha. Um, Stretch goal sounds like that. something a trans person has to do daily. Oh no. <laughs> right? oh. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh no! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna press play. A Western Sorry, Renaissance <laughs> is a broiling partner. No, not <laughs> Yellowstone. If I wanted to listen to Macho Menshevik Boomer's lecture about proper pronoun usage, I already have Michelle Obama's Twitter handle. At least I think it looks like a handle. But enough about the first fella. Is there something in the water? And I ain't just talking about the fluoride. Whether it's a fair few Western games shattering all-time sales records. 1883, boring us all into somnolescence, or the recent influx of films announced for the 2024 slate. Westerns ain't quite back, but all indications are they're about to be. So I says to Mabel, I says, why not help my audience in on the ground floor of this long dormant genre? But I can still see some of you as a scratch in your pates in bewilderment at what makes a good cowpoke tale and what decidedly don't. So I reckon, given that I have my own shameless plug, Western comic book graphic novel, The Ghost of the Badlands, launching this Friday, April 21st on Indiegogo. I reckon it's high time for high noon. But first, a few ground rules for my fellow pistoleros. <clears throat> One, what follows is only a list of Westerns which inspired my upcoming comic. Not the greatest, not the most earth shattering, but the things that made me want to make a Western. So don't be shrieking and shitting because the movie or show you construe to be the goddamn greatest didn't make the cut. I don't make the rules, but <laughs> actually I fucking do. Two, no neo-Westerns, whatever the deep fried fuck that even is. Not because I don't like them, but because any genre that begins with a neo prefix is an excuse for an effete fucking French guy to play genre police. Fuck you, Frenchie. If I need a film, I'll look at your teeth. And so, without a further ado, <laughs> here's a few <sighs> Razor Force approved six shooter symphonies that inspired my upcoming comic, The Ghost of the Badlands. All right, we don't have to go through all, all right. the movies. But yeah, yeah. You guys get the idea. Yeah. It's, a little uh, intro. it's a lot of it's a lot of like elemental kind of I love like Pale Rider. The ones where the stranger rolls into the town and you're not even <laughs> sure if he's alive or dead. Yes. And he like sets all the wrongs right and saves all the damsels in distress and all that stuff. And then he vanishes off into the distance and all. They don't really make those kind of westerns anymore. There's a lot of like historical fiction and look watching Sam so Elliott far. age. Right. Oh yeah, damn! Look at that. Beautiful. Damn. Damn. So <laughs> damn. That was rather quick. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that is what I hear a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was quick. That was quick. Right? <laughs> what yeah. do you want? A fucking on How disappointing! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, awesome. Scary. We'll we'll be showing that My throughout work the show. Here is done. Yep. Thirty eight seconds uh, later, and like yeah. I said, uh, the uh, the the artist may pop on and explain his side of things. Uh, and but he's he's done a bang up job like it's it's crazy we were bitten by the western bug at like exactly the same time so i, I it was basically perfect and i think every that's time called he knocks on the page, it's 
Hey, what, exactly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, speaking of your artist, George um, uh, also did one of the uh, bonus um, collected cards that we did on my own campaign. And so great oh, artist. Yeah. 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 Awesome. George is a, a great dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we've been chit chatting. I meant to get him on Friday Night Tights earlier. I suck. So it's my fault. Sorry, George. Uh, <laughs> He's been on my I channel. Write it down. Uh oh, oh. talked about movies. At... <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Have you been seeing other creators? Yes. <laughs> That's not in our contract, Quarter Black Garrett. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I got the papers. All right. And I've recorded every conversation we've ever had. Wow. <laughs> Just let me share the screen here. I'm yeah. Share did the you audio. Did you record our audition tape? Because I did. That's how you oh got COVID, isn't it? That's how you got COVID. Oh my. <laughs> Dang, that makes you just as gay. You're not gay if it's uh, if you're the boss. <laughs> <laughs> if you're receiving, it's not gay. It's called a Tijuana blowjob. That, that's what Ezra Miller uh, thought. <laughs> <laughs> Did not work well. Oh, uh, what do you want to start with today? There's there's uh there's some funny shit going on. I mean, Elon funny stuff. uh dropping the check marks from all the celebrities has been my favorite thing to watch. Uh, Bet Midler, the previously yeah. mentioned Bet Midler meltdown, and Alyssa Milano, <laughs> and freaking Patton Oswalt, fucking hack, uh, have all been bitching about it. Stephen King got his paid for by Elon, and I think LeBron James. Oh. LeBron James, yeah. Why? Oh. Why they don't Why have eight dollars a LeBron's month? I don't know. Sucks. Yeah, it's because those people very prominent. Uh, those people very prominently were like, "I'm not paying." And so Elon kept their blue check marks on just to like irritate them, basically, just Hello. to make people question whether or not they're Other paying. Other George. Other oh. George. I, I think he's just George. Are you at a massage parlor? George. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm really badly uh, backlit. <laughs> can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah. Right. We can see I'm everything. Gonna ask for your uh, excuse me because I'm like a bundle of nerves trying to like fit hot fix problems in the campaign and stuff. So. Oh. I'll be looking at my phone and He's stuff. It's not disrespectful. <laughs> yeah. All good. All right. All good. Thanks well, for God. the invitation. If something goes wrong, just make like a good wife and be silent. It's fine. <laughs> Go deal, yeah. with, deal with the back end. What? Should we get us in trouble already. <laughs> well, I mean, X-Ray Girl can give you pointers on being silent. So she, she only <laughs> technically is supposed to have nine know. words an episode. So. All but right. you can't use them to give you advice. She might have to hand signal more hand signals. So how's it going, well, it's George? It's going That's great. I've signal. been uh, running around trying to make sure everything goes as smooth as possible. It looks like it's working. Um, yeah. We've received a few contributions so far, so I guess I I'll be fixing typos and stuff, but it looks like we're good to go. Uh, and now the rest of the day is relaxation, I hope. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. K. Wow! Oh, that's oh awesome. hot damn. Nice. Wow! That was quick. Legendary. That's the Again power with of the Lester. Lester. You're cow. right. <laughs> well, you guys. I'll get the trailer up later, Razor. Well, you guys. Alrighty. You guys can single-handedly bring it back the right way. Uh, right. Please. You know, no allegories for any other bullshit. Let's just have pe you know good guys versus bad guys. A lot of shooting. A lot of fucking no, yeah, shooting. No Yellowstone of... sitting in the back of a pickup truck, you know. Hey, hey, now, you know, I like two things. Rugged masculinity and a vast regulatory state, I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> I've only seen the prequels, so I, I've never actually sat through the show. But uh, No. <laughs> no. And boomers love it. Boomers I, lap it up. Hey, Jesus I, I like Yellowstone. I, like I watched it. the first like couple it. seasons. You're a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Gary runs away. So am I. Wow. I'm a boomer. I, I, don't give a shit. I grew up with with him as Robin Hood. I can't see him as anything else. Yes, you know yes. <laughs> Prince of Thieves, one of the greatest movies ever made. I love yes, that movie. It is. I love that see, movie. I, if you can get over the fact that he has an American accent, why can't can. some Americans? Is what I'm saying. See, I, mean, I can't. I can't see him as anything but the Mariner. To be honest with you, <laughs> or the the Submariner. Is that what it was? The Submariner. In Waterworld, uh, Waterworld, oh, water yes. oh. yeah, <laughs> Water Mad Max, Water <laughs> Mad Max. It was at one point the most like expensive movie in history. I love that movie. I don't because like built the entire fucking set and it sank. 
<laughs> that movie's awesome. <laughs> but like Alan Rickman, he'll forever be the sheriff of Nottingham, and I cancel I, Christmas. Greatest. Gate greatest line ever. Gonna cut your heart out with a spoon. And... <laughs> yeah. He's oh, Cause yeah. it's no oh, you twit, it'll hurt more. <laughs> you know when he goes past oh, that woman who says, You come round like you, my plays at eight or something. And yeah. then he walks away and he goes, <laughs> he goes, Bring your friend. That <laughs> was him that was improvised. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your friend. I love Bring your have friend. you watched the have you watched the director's cut where he's they, yes. they added this they added a few deleted scenes and there's this great scene where there's like a cross and he keeps turning it upside down. He can't decide if he's a Christian or a Satanist. <laughs> <laughs> <Genius. laughs> Did it there's a whole arc of you know him being the uh, they do, they delve more into um him being the son of the witch and stuff and yeah um, he like he's like literally <laughs> praying to the cr he's like praying to the upside down cross and then all of a sudden he hears a church bell and he flips it up the right way and he goes well my other god calls literally, that's literally a line. it's like hillary clinton every given day of the week I don't know, it's You're right only she never turns it back up no right <laughs> that's true no uh garrett find what's going on with jonathan majors let me oh, well i mean jonathan majors in the last couple Crusade? days oh. has been released from his management company and his PR company. He's lost multiple roles that he had. Um, women, more, more women have come out and complained about things that have happened uh, at the hands of John. Women Majors. complain all the time, mate. Exactly. Uh, more, more abuse allegations, but also his lawyers finally come out and done probably what they should have done in the beginning. And is set like a timeline of events for what they're saying happened that night. They're saying he couldn't have hit her. She was out partying the night after. Um, and they're, they're saying that the, you know, the cops tried to convince her to say something that wasn't true, all this stuff. Um, they still have yet to show the video from the car that they claim existed within one day of him being arrested that showed the entire encounter, uh, that said they would exonerate Jonathan Majors. They haven't talked or showed that yet, but, um, for right now, the, the lawyers are fighting back and saying, we're going to prove his innocence as I would expect Jonathan Majors lawyers to do. I think wow. they are. Oh, God. An uh, article in the private yeah. chat. This no. Hours ago. Pearl Jam announces 2023 tour dates. <laughs> oh, no. With Bon Jovi? I don't. And Springsteen? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Next concert? I don't even notice that. I mean, yeah, that, that security, the security camera footage that you linked in the chat, Chrissy, that is. Um, that's basically at well the hotel or the, the hotel and the bar the show like hey look she was out partying after they got into this thing <gasps> wow so that's what that is so she wasn't too hit to go out and drink <laughs> yeah exactly that's what they're claiming uh um, well, isn't he meant to have throttled her maybe uh, she couldn't drink as much as usual yeah there, there were marks <laughs> she, she had marks she, and supposedly uh, what the injuries were initially reported was she had a laceration behind her ear um, from a hit, from a, a punch, and that Ooh. she had bruising on her neck. Um, that was like the initially the thing. Now they're saying something about a broken finger, which that was not in any of the initial reports. And now they're like, look, her finger couldn't have been hurt. She was using her cell phone that night. Um, that's kind of what Jonathan the Major's lawyers have represented is this side, their side of the story. And that wow. Jonathan the Major's found her after she took a bunch of sleeping pills in their house. Uh, unconscious and just suddenly she had a broken finger and uh, cut to the side of her head but that he had nothing to do with it so. wow so this amounts to i did not hit her i did I not, not. <laughs> i did not <laughs> well and the, the real question is if this was the story you were going with the whole time why would you have released those text messages yeah the, the text oh. messages were a terrible fucking look and kind mm -hmm. of actually fly contrary to this side of the story um, that, that they're trying to set with these timelines. And I don't know what the fuck happened. Um, I'm, I'm certainly not saying Jonathan Majors did it. I'm also not saying he didn't do nothing, but it's just I, that one thing that they promised they had initially was like footage from the car, right? Like to show what happened in the car where this fight supposedly took place. And I haven't, I haven't seen anything about that. 
You don't know what is the truth in a situation like this. It's so bizarre. For all we know, he could come out tomorrow and say, all right, all right. The injuries, when I found her unconscious in my apartment, I thought she was dead and the injuries were me just trying to dispose of the body or something like that. We have no <laughs> idea. Dragging her down a hallway. <laughs> yeah. she, 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 she. Oh my um, God, she's still couldn't alive. fit into the bucket. That's why her finger broke. Right. Or it could give the defense, well, the prosecution, uh, an effort to go through with it and concoct their own story based off of it. So it's probably best that they don't show the footage until court. Yeah. I mean, they had the, well, the, the, we don't know what happened. We've seen people lose their uh, entire careers over absolutely nothing in Hollywood. So, you know, we don't want to see anybody get canceled for nothing. I hey, mean, Gina Carano. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and many others, even some people I don't like, but uh, right. like, honestly, <laughs> I just get rid of Kane because his stupid villain. Uh, that I'd be okay with that. Just a dumb villain that you shouldn't be like. Aww. But uh, yeah, it, I, I I want Kang to get canceled for legitimate reasons. Like yes. he sucks rather yeah. than false allegations. Just merit, okay? <laughs> it's just a stupid villain from. Uh, it, it, but you know, Marvel's gonna go down in flames over this, and they'll just recast him quietly. And Disney will be the last to do something to save face because. Uh, just in case you guys didn't see, I, I can't even describe the red carpet for Ant-Man. It was a bunch oh. of people who sounded like they wanted to have sex with Jonathan Majors. Uh, it, that's, was yeah. it was like, oh, my God, Jonathan Majors. Interview. The mm. whole thing was was simping for Jonathan Majors. I was laughing my Why? ass off watching it. It's the that, that's uh, just, he, uh, he's there. He's there. Next soft Thanos. bigotry so of low really... expectations. We have this black male lead that we just need to oh, say wow. is the most amazing person ever because we're not racist we're not racist that's that's what it is that's what it felt like and that's what it was and uh it was embarrassing it was embarrassing to watch and you i mean you you have to know jonathan majors knows what's up you know he knows what's up he's like look at all these people fucking simping for me and all this shit but he got he's got the gig so whatever but that's what hollywood is and it's and it's um it's gonna blow up in their face now and the other thing is, as soon as this news broke, the news of his arrest broke, a day or two later, there were filmmakers and there were like theater directors and people like that coming out and saying, hey, we knew about Jonathan Majors. We've mm. been telling people about this. Mm. I have multiple people that have stories about him being a sociopath and abuser and nothing ever happened, even when they reported it, blah, 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 all this shit, right? Okay, we see bullshit like that. We see fake shit like that. We also see real shit like that. So who knows how to take those? Yeah. But suddenly, like a day or two later, almost simultaneously, all the people that did that deleted their tweets and protected their shit. Hmm. Wow. And, and it it makes you wonder what kind of steps are being taken behind the scenes. Um, you know, uh, is that to protect him or were they really false statements that they just both happened to make and retract at near simultaneous times? I don't know. That's what's well, so hard about uh, situations like this where you just... You literally have no clue anymore. You mm -hmm. can't trust anybody for what they what they say. So it's it's you gotta just wait till they go through their process, the legal process. Mm -hmm. It sucks that something like this could come up and it could be completely false. He could be completely honest and say, Hey, I didn't do anything, and it still affects his entire career. And let's be real, we can't even you know, not that we could that much before, but we could definitely cannot even trust the legal process at this point. Yeah. Uh, prosecutors. Absolutely. Look at the uh, Johnny Depp situation. Yep. <laughs> exactly. exactly. I mean, I think I, I think I know what Jonathan Majors should do. He should call Ezra Miller and find out, I like, you know. <laughs> right? How, how did you survive? I, like, but, I was like, like hey, oh, man, no, no, no. I'm fluid. Ezra, no, my mouth isn't, dude, seriously. My mouth isn't that big. I, I can't do that. Oh. Like, cats are asking him how to get more lives. Fucking <laughs> Ezra Miller is uncancelable. It's unbelievable. I, I, I think well, it's because he is until after the Flash movie. Then he's exactly. going to be very cancelable. Probably, yeah, yeah. But it's like it's seriously, it's like a Mr. Magoo cartoon. It's like, oh, he's almost <laughs> hit by a bus. Oh, he's almost hit by a train. Oh, it's like <laughs> this and, and dude, that, you can't take him out. And that's how I feel about Jonathan Majors. I think Marvel would have dumped his ass if they didn't have Loki season two already coming out. Like, because that's coming out in a couple months. Jonathan Majors is in that. So if they didn't have that already coming out, I think they might have dumped him already instead of just kind of staying radio silent on the entire thing. It's not like it's not like Marvel's opposed to recasting people. No. Unless it comes to Chadwick Boseman so they can make, a money, make money trying to make you feel bad that this guy died. 
They'll recast anybody in a fucking heartbeat. General yeah, Ross right. died. The body wasn't even fucking cold before they recast Harrison Ford to play him. Like, it, it's if it's a narrative they can sell, they won't recast. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy because if like if this was all false, and we don't know if it is, like it could all be true. But if it is all false, that's this guy's life completely yeah. ruined before anything is I don't know actually proven. It goes through court and. You know, and, and to so, think, like he's a he's a rising star. He's on a lot of stuff, so his career's building. That's when young. people That's started attacking you. Career, yeah. So it, it's who knows who knows. This is Hollywood, happened. though. This is Hollywood, yeah. and and uh, this is what they do to people. They'll chew you up and they'll spit you out. Yeah. And if they don't see any value in him, if they see if you see tainted goods, move on. There's always a next next to come along. It's a town full of crabs in a bucket, just trying to pull mm. the other one down. Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell. Yeah, as it, Gary said earlier, it was just amazing to see how much ass kissing of Jonathan Majors on a very fucking average performance in uh, Ant Man uh, turned into uh, management company cancer. Th those are the big things. When your management company drops you, that's the big one because they're just like they probably know. You know, management companies probably know a lot more than we ever will about any of these uh celebrities out there so if they're like no 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 then pff, to them he's tainted he's tainted goods well, yeah, it's also saying they don't they don't think they can make money off him yeah anymore. you also have to consider when it comes to management companies um and i may have heard a little about this specific one when it comes to management companies there's other people that are with them too so there's other people that are working for them other actors other actors other people in the entertainment industry that don't want that close to their management company, if that makes sense. And that's how sometimes mm -hmm. they get pressure to drop them, even if mm -hmm. they're uncertain mm -hmm. about it. Guilty by association. Yeah. Did did Edison Miller's management company drop him? <laughs> I have no idea. But I don't no. know. Did Alec no, Baldwin? I, I don't think Alec Baldwin's did. No. He fucking no. shot really? a bitch. But Alec Baldwin <laughs> celebrated getting away with killing somebody by posting some really weird pictures of him and his wife hugging. Yeah, showing affection to women's fucking Strange. cringe. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yuck, procreation. <laughs> Gay. Very. I'm so confused as what? Heter heterosexuality. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> what? Yeah, the gayest thing you can do is get married. I know. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. What's up, oh, George? Of which, have you heard that? Uh, oh. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Hi, George. I'm not professional at all, if you can't tell already. I, I think Welcome to the club. <laughs> somehow you'll be forgiven. Speaking here. of bad relationships, am I right, ladies? What? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Women, am I right? Yeah. You need to start a sentence with, did you ever notice? Come on, let's go. <laughs> I mean, what is up with that? <laughs> what is the deal? With women. <laughs> women. Did uh, I don't know if I made this up. I was Escalate. saying hmm? Escalate that. Come on. Give women. Yeah, there there, there was a new uh DLC for Horizon Forbidden yes. butts, butts or something. Yeah. And so they added an option for people who are uh ocean phobic, whatever it is. That people was, are yeah. scared of being stuck underwater and drowning. What? That's right. <laughs> and so you could the whole level, or you could skip the level. You click a thing. So I said, "I'm I'm scared Wagner? of women. Oh. If I'm scared of women, I don't want to play as the main character. Beat the game. I would like to play as a man." Well, the good Where's news that is, box? well, yeah. the, oh no, the checkbox is incoming because the good news is this new DLC is gonna confirm that Aloy is gay. Thank I'm, God. Not, I'm not even joking. What? either. God. No it's wonder she got all fucking like fat for this one. I know, so her new, I, I, her new name's going to be Gayloy. <laughs> well, well, I can say, I'm afraid of getting shot. That's never stopped me from playing Counter-Strike. What is going on? Yeah, I'm uh, aversion to being hunted down by monsters and ripped I know, apart, I but say. I still play Resident Evil. Yeah. I'm scared of heights. I can't do the fucking drop in Fortnite. Like, uh, <laughs> maybe just don't... Don't play at it. the same at the same time do, when you're playing a video game 
seriously, and you fall off a really high place. And is there that, not a moment when you're playing the game where you're like, oh shit? Yeah. Right? Like, is that does that not you get occur? that drop in your stomach? I, I, I right? don't I don't ever get that like fearful for me. I for my character. It's like fuck what I, I do. That. But no. I don't know. Oh, I, sometimes I'll physically feel like feel a little drop because like I ride my horse off a cliff yeah. or something in Red Dead and you go, ooh. Start falling right. down, ragdolling. Ragdoll. So George, we got you here. Tell us a little yeah, bit so about your art in this book. Please. Yeah. Please. Well, where do I start? Um, my art. Uh, I don't know if people know my stuff. Uh, so I'm G Prime 85 on like Twitter and Instagram. Uh, I guess I'm more known for like doing current event, like four panel strips, uh, satirical stuff. Um, as for this book, uh, I worked with Razor on his last book as one of the illustrators, and we did some good work together doing the interiors. And so we were chatting about, you know, is there something we could work on together? And it took a few months to get the ball rolling, but uh, he sent me a script for Ghost of the Badlands. It's awesome. Uh, I did the thumbnails and everything. It's We've been kind of shadow working on it. I wanted to make sure it was funded before I really got into production, but it looks healthy right now. Uh, so I guess after uh, this weekend, I'll be continuing production. Um, man, I, I don't even know where to start. There's, it's... Well it's, it looks like an exciting future. Somewhere. Razor said you got the the Western bug as well. Was it just from Razor's script, or were you kind of feeling that a little before? Because I, dude, it's been it's been kind of a desert a little bit. Well, you know, he did a video a few months ago called "Why Westerns Matter." It was maybe last year, I think. And I was watching that, and I got so pumped. I'm like, I want to work on a Western now. So I was working on my own Western for a few months. And then he and I were talking and I said, well, I, I think he mentioned he was working on one too. I said, instead of working on mine, why don't I work on yours or something like that? And uh, I've been doing a ton of research. There's like uh, equestrian centers all over my area. I've been visiting and like, I'm going to take lessons to learn how to ride a horse. It's going to be very embarrassing. I'm sure we'll take pictures. I've You've been, been shooting. I've Hammond been older. <laughs> <laughs> And so, you know, if, if the funding allows, I'd like to even go out to the area that the book is set in and, uh, you know, take pictures, really just kind of soak in the atmosphere. Because, you know, I'm a guy from New Jersey. I'm not really, you know, I haven't been exposed to you know, cowboy culture. But, of course, I grew up watching them and I've been very interested. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to draw. A lot of things I'm not used to drawing. So I hope you guys will bear with me as I learn to draw, like, every obscure gun from the 1800s. And <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a fun challenge. It's really cool. You'll get there, kiddo. I think you might make it someday. <laughs> I think we'll be all right. I, I, I think you'll say, be okay. by the way, it's a real place. Uh, the the setting of the book is an actual corner of the West that hasn't been written about a lot. It was actually a deadlier than Deadwood and deadlier than Tombstone at one time. Um, there's a, a, It's crazy. They couldn't keep a sheriff in office and alive. Oh, where does it take place? Month. Razor? Canyon, Canyon Diablo, Arizona. Ah. It's in, yeah. you would know it if you've ever gone to the big tourist trap, the meteor crater. It's right next. Oh, to it. dude, yes, I've I've been to that. I love that tourist trap. Trap me there all the time. I love. That in fact, place. it's called the Canyon Diablo meteor crater. Yeah, they discovered it because this town popped up. It was a railroad town, and it's probably like I don't know, twelve minutes away from the town or something. So they called the meteor crater Canyon Diablo. But um, at one point, they literally swore it's we kind of reference it in the comic. They swore in a sheriff at three o'clock and buried him by eight. That was ah. the first sheriff <laughs> in the town. The first sheriff in the town. It was bloody. Billy the Kid rolled through there at one point. Um, it's it's insane. Some of the stories you hear about Canyon Diablo. Some are true. It became a subject of pulp fiction in the 30s and 40s. So, you know, there's a lot of piss and bullshit at the same time. But the real place is fascinating and it's right off the like navajo reservation too it's up in northern arizona near flagstaff so a uh, really interesting place and of course they were building this bridge which was the big reason the town popped up and it just became this gomorrah on earth so kind of a perfect setting for this avenging angel character who's sort of quoting Old Testament hellfire and brimstone Bible verses as he dispatches yeah. shit as he dispatches shit bags basically. Dude, that sounds so rad. <laughs> it was a lot of fun doing the research because this town doesn't exist anymore. 
but if no, you find nothing, a- there's literally yeah. just bones of buildings there and a grave for the guy who ran the trading post. That's yeah. it. That's I want to find old newspapers. Like if there's a local library there, they might have preserved like old photographs or even illustrations. Like I have old Harper's magazines here with drawings of that era and stuff for research. And there's, it's like a gold mine of old drawings and old, if you like etchings and ink drawings and stuff, mm. there's so much before the photograph, I guess, became popularized. They would do illustrations. Yep. Uh, it was so cool. Hey, Garrett, we were going to yeah, go to visit me. Meteor Crater on the way back. We should go find it. We should, Hell oh, yeah, it's not. It. It's actually not far from, you know, on your way to, to Vegas, incidentally, because yeah, it's in the north. Let's do that, dude. Hell yeah. Let's do it. There's a couple Maybe of you'll pass down. me along the way. I got to visit soon. Yeah, I am so excited for this comic. You don't this even know. This already halfway there it's to so fund. Cool. It. Holy oh, shit! Yeah. I haven't cool. even bought anything. Wow. I, I need to. Wow. I need to Pretty link. nuts. Somebody I think it's because I tweeted about it. Also, right? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> we'll put Chris, you in the back of the book sense. somewhere. Chrissy's, <laughs> Chrissy's very famous in certain comic book circles. <laughs> <Very>. <laughs> Yeah. And, there, and there we see uh, George's favorite pistol to draw in the world. Does that guy <laughs> no, have worms? I, I really do enjoy it. It's just that I need it. I can get, I made a model out of clay. Let me get it. It's really funny. Yeah, yeah. Stupid looking. What kind of pistol is that for uh, somebody who's not allowed to own guns? It's the Mandalor- right. the one they based the Mandalorian pistol off of, right? It is. First it's season. the Bergman pistol. I own one, actually. But it's if you have a spare 20 grand laying around, feel free to pick one up. <laughs> I don't know wow. if you can see this. 20 grand? Oh, that's awesome. It's a dumb... Yeah. It's Ooh. it's sort of... I had to scan... No, take pictures. I printed it out oh, and nice. then kind of with clay and then there's um, wow. a metal thingy in here. So I, in I'm order sure. to get that shot of the... Oh, he's shooting As at the can camera, totally you know? identify with that by having a metal <laughs> thingy in there. Yeah. Well, anyway, wow. So, okay. Okay. I made this... <laughs> thing and just take a blue pill gary fuck's sake it's so quick <laughs> i don't need to take a blue well, pill my shit works i got actually kids. handling the real thing which is impossible probably especially in new jersey i didn't know you can't even buy like model guns on amazon and stuff oh my god oh, they won't send it to you. i don't know if you heard like years ago the nra the amount of money they spend every year in new jersey just to keep the gun laws <laughs> At exactly the or the authoritarian level they are today. Yeah. Right. Just so they don't get worse. It's, <laughs> it's insane. It has been quite an adventure, even just going to the range to practice. Like you need to bring a buddy and stuff, unless you become a member. I have to ask them. That's insane. Uh, it's it's really hard. Yeah. 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 It's so, so different I, here in Texas. It's I'm so jealous. Yeah, dude. Wow. Well, I mean, moving from California, hit, like moving from freaking San cool. Francisco, where if you defend, if somebody's breaking into your house with a gun and you shoot that guy, you're going to jail. Yeah, same you're here. Going to fucking jail. Uh, yeah, it's a little <laughs> different here. It's a little different. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could imagine having gun laws, right? <laughs> yeah. What kind of <laughs> asshole? I know. Oh, no. Yeah, there's a whole country that just gave him up. Who was that again, yeah. Chad? Uh, yeah, imagine that. Imagine, knives, right? imagine, imagine living in a country where there's who? Who? Gun what was the name of that Chad who yourself. who wouldn't give him up and they shot him to death? What was that guy? Well, uh, Chad actually, like, what isn't there? You no, know, is this just comic uh, America exaggeration, or is it literally hmm. the law is? you're in london and somebody breaks into your house you basically have to leave your home and call the police yeah yeah pr- yeah well, well, well first yeah. of all i'm thank you for asking me about information about london i think only you know uh, members of the crown here it's, it's, <laughs> I'm glad, Mate, glad they mentioned that commonwealth you're a, the you're a, you're a <laughs> shad, prisoner you're, you're, shad, you're, you're in a prison <laughs> colony <laughs> Chad, <laughs> you're Mormon. You should move to Utah anyway. You should just move. Yeah, in the no, UK, if somebody, it's all, it's if somebody breaks into your there. house in the UK, you are actually meant to help the criminals. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to bag this for you? Would you like me? Would you like paper <laughs> or plastic? Take you to the car. Go back, phone up the police, and then the police will come and arrest you for obstruction. Yeah. Well. In Victoria, Australia, they're like, right. I'm not kidding, you're not allowed to use any greater force than what is you being used against you, and it has to be also um, a justified reason for having it. So 
it's insane. They're basically like saying, if you're getting attacked or home invasion, you need to give the criminals a fighting chance. So only, you know, you're only use against them. Wait a minute. It, it, I, so you if know. you're getting raped, you can rape them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a loophole right there. If it's being used as a weapon, done. Fucking reverse you know. Uno card right there, you know? So if somebody comes in your house and they got a battle axe, you got to be like, hold on, let me get like, my... Just wait, 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 I, I, I got, and then I'll ask him like, which one would you prefer? I, I, I got like, you know, a battle axe or a day? Oh, battle axe. I know the day axe is. Big. What about pole axe? Oh, look, the pole axe. You just get axe... into a, a debate with them, and exactly. then they get confused Wait. and they have to leave. What if they have nunchucks? I, I just assume your entire yeah, weapon. Then, if they have nunchucks, I just wait until they knock themselves out, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get? What do you got against pole axe? They're very nice people. They are hard working. <laughs> That's a European joke. None of you got it because none of you have a fucking Europe. Uh, <laughs> no, I get Polish we, jokes. We got it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> fucking racists. <laughs> Ryan come perked in my up house again. And try and grate me. I fucking dare you. <laughs> Ryan's all present. No. Yeah, I, mean, I, I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the book looks great, dude. And where are we at now? We, I, I say we. Like I'm, royal we. I'm taking 30. full credit. That's crazy. It's over nine. Way, I think. Hail to the oh, fellowship. Damn. Hail the Iron Age. Well done. I, I, seriously, look at the amount of legendary people that are out there ready to support independent media because they're not getting anything really good from mainstream. And so we make our own. What are you talking about? The Mandalorian was great, Shad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can say I did laugh while watching it. Maybe not in the way they wanted. I it. was oh. laughing my ass off, actually. It's it, like it was yeah. unintentionally like really funny and stupid. <laughs> But I know I just uh, in that uh, last episode uh, where they try to get him to walk and it, you can tell dude, someone is just it's a marionette that's not even touching. I the know ground. you were locked in on the Mandalorian, but you probably didn't see that final scene where the last Jedi Praetorian guard or whatever were fighting a fucking puppet and it was just flipping around like a puppet. <laughs> like a fucking in <laughs> this millions of dollar <laughs> show. It looked like he had a fucking string on it and somebody was just doing this. It was embarrassing and funny as hell. Practical effects. It's it's, I it's think, Star Wars I think again, the, guys. I think the distilled essence of modern Star Wars is hearing that Lizzo is in it now. Yeah, yep. it's, uh, like, it's just, it. Not even the Death Star is safe from being race swapped. <laughs> <laughs> be alive, star. That's no moon. moon. That's no yeah. moon. Hey, speaking That's of race Lizzie. swap. That's Lizzo. Speaking of race swap. Oh, my joke. Uh, you want to get that uh, Cleopatra. Cleopatra. Coming at Cleopatra. you. Coming at you. It's, it wasn't enough to race swap fictional characters. We need to we need to start race swapping actual historical <sighs> wait, wait. figures. And then when Egyptians freak out about it, you're like, well, Racist. what the fuck's wrong with you? You don't want to be associated with Africans? <laughs> well, I was very pleased when I learned oh, that. Oh, the oh, 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 oh. Watch the show. Did, did somebody really say <laughs> that? Do they the know where Egypt is? That. Do they the director, know where Egypt is? <laughs> the director just published a like self-published thing in uh, Variety. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, you, they race change <laughs> Anne Boleyn, historical figure. Yeah, Anne Boleyn. Was I was going to mention that. They race change Cleopatra, uh, historical figure. And then they get their fucking knickers in a twist over Lilo and fucking Stitch casting when the person they cast was actually fucking Hawaiian. Yeah, wow. yeah, they're, they're, they're insane hypocrites. I can't believe yep. it. And like, this is legitimately really starting to bother me. The, the the disdain and disregard for European history. This is an area that oh, I'm no. really passionate about, love about. And uh, they have just been pissing on it. Like the fact that they had Anne Boleyn, you know, betrayed as a black woman is insane. And yet they will cry bloody murder if a, a person of color character is just one shade too mm. bright, like we saw with Lilo and Stitch. They're friggin' hypocrites. It's called, I, I they have a they they have, they the have, photograph that they're using of the Lilo and Stitch girl is clearly at nighttime with a fucking flash. Yeah, her super so, so it's, it's gonna it's just gonna overexpose her in general anyway. And then if you see other pictures of her during the daytime, you know, it looks like she's got like healthy tan on her. Uh, she's fucking Hawaiian. But this this is meant to be a documentary, yeah. according to the Netflix trailer on YouTube that they put. <laughs> oh, this is meant to be a documentary. And the, the, the women, the experts, inverted commas, uh, they're saying shit like, 
But my mum told me if anyone tells you Cleopatra ain't black, they're lying. <laughs> she's Look, like, that, that if they not. didn't want her to be black, they shouldn't have called her the Queen of the Nile. Hey yo, <laughs> Queen of the Nile. <laughs> this, is a, Queens. this is an article by the director. Queen. Queen Cleopatra. Director speaks out. What bothers you so much about a black Cleopatra? And not she starts Cleopatra, it off. She starts off by saying, last summer, I decided to visit a fortune teller. I was a skeptic, but agreed to go along. <laughs> what the fortune teller said made me roll my eyes. I'm not what? saying you are Cleopatra, but somehow you share her story and are connected. Oh, Less what? than a month later, Jada oh, no. Pickett Smith called me about African queens. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we was, they start. Uh, we was, so this is a very level headed thing. We was Quangs, Queens. Uh, yeah. I, I realized what a political act would it be to see Cleopatra portrayed by a black actress. This thing's uh. insane, right? Why shouldn't yeah. Cleopatra be a melanated sister? And why uh, do some people wasn't. need Cleopatra to be white? Her because proximity to whiteness seems to be her value. <gasps> oh, and for some oh, Egyptians, it really oh. matter. So there's only black and white. She, she's she only thinks there's black and white in the world. That's it. She's she's Greek, isn't she? She's yeah, Greek. She's Greek. Yes, she is. I've yes. always <laughs> known I was black anyway. Yeah, didn't you right. know that, George? Why don't they make a new character called Clea Blacktra? Yeah. yeah. And it's no, that's a black PlayStation. No, that's that's a really it. good point. And and then this one right here is the quote that I was talking about. Perhaps it's not just that I've directed a series that portrays Cleopatra as black but that I've asked Egyptians to oh. see themselves as Africans and they are furious oh. at me for that. Oh, oh no. So this American chick asked Egyptians oh, to see themselves shit. as the country uh, uh, that's part of the well, African continent. I didn't to know she honest, was this racist. This person oh. is, I, I don't know what, she's like got some Persian in her. I, I don't really know what her as an She is. sounds like, like she lives in Los Angeles. Okay. She is, uh, she's, I want to speak to your manager, American. Yes. Look at her. Yeah. Yes. Look at her. Oh, <laughs> I, you, you could just uh -huh. tell. What a terrible shot. Like this is the best picture you could put of yourself in your own fucking article, blurry as fuck. <laughs> And right. what she she stand, I, I, I'm going to choose to stand next to a power box. I, 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 she <laughs> is a power artistic. box, Jan. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I am the power. I am proud to stand with Queen Cleopatra. Oh. A, this is the fucking admission here. A reimagined re Cleopatra. Cleopatra. They, they know oh, it's yeah. not accurate. Yeah. They know. They're so doing it on stupid. purpose. They're full of it. And again, you, you know, it, as soon as it goes the opposite way, even if it's by a shade, okay, they Nelson Mandela, cry like by biopic. Mass. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm asking the the people of Africa to identify with Ryan Gosling, okay? <laughs> yeah. 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 Just identify with it, okay? Exactly. <laughs> I'm the still Barack waiting, Obama I'm waiting, I'm waiting for Jamie Foxx to recover from this stroke so he can play in the new yeah. Ted Bundy bio. <laughs> yeah. this, this literally happened. This is yes. Anne <laughs> Boleyn, people. Yeah. Anne Boleyn. Five, nearly have... 500 years ago to the year. Oh, this so, Anne Boleyn I don't got understand got the, the logic behind doing this. It, 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 when you, you do this, you're, you're erasing the actual history that's what they want. That's what they want. were in culture yeah. at That's that what time. They want. Yes. Yeah. I don't yeah. understand that though. That they, 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 they do want to depict black people no, as no. not being they, racist. Like, I, their, I, history I, was I, racist I, at certain points. So why would you erase that part by putting them in these positions part, like part queens of this, when they weren't? And there'll be a video coming out soon. Part of this, it's different in the UK, but they the UK has been way ahead of America on this, is mandates. So there are... Mm -hmm actual mandates to your entertainment BBC. be it yep. BBC, bbc or itv they have they all agree on these uh 30 has to be uh, and they break it down to what they think the demographic should be not actually yeah. what it is, what it is. Uh, yeah. so we've yeah. We've got some. Uh, I, I just want to tease that a little bit. We've got some stuff coming out that tells you what the mandates oh, man, are, I, and they're I'm insane. Still, I, I, I still remember in like the '90s that uh, Christian group uh, Focus on the Family. I remember yeah. they used to have a magazine, oh, yeah. and I remember I'm at a doctor's office reading it, and this was in the '90s. I'm like a little kid. I don't know why I'm reading this magazine. There's nothing else to read. They don't have Ranger Rick. Okay, no, they take don't. it easy. So um, I read this magazine, and they're talking about how Disney has. <laughs> Right back has backdoor <laughs> meetings for like race and sexuality quotas. That was in the 90s. I know. Yeah. Like 90s. And that was thought to be 
crazy conspiracy theorist. Yes, stuff. and it was like, like lunacy. Flash is the adaptation. Oh my god, oh. that's so funny. Oh. Oh. Don't oh. give them ideas. Uh, yeah, right. Oh. And, you know, it only goes one way though. Like Disney, you know, these advocates of having oh. equal representation. <laughs> really, really. Oh, how, how many white people was in the live action reboot of Milan? Disney? This thing is you really so good. About re you know, equal representation. So no, funny. they don't. It only goes one way, and it shows how freaking racist they are. I, I it got makes one. it let's more do, difficult. Let's do this to... one. Let's do this one. Yay! <laughs> oh, no. Black killer. It oh, makes dude. it more difficult to actually have discussions about history. Yeah, and how people were treated in the past when Quarter you black, manipulate it like history, this. History, okay. History, okay. history. Like yeah. you're you're putting this stuff into pop culture, and kids are going to consume it, and then they're going to believe that Anne Boleyn was black. That's what they want. That's what they want. That's yes. what they want. Then when you go, I, I, black people were uh, downtrodden the entire time throughout history, and they go, but she, dude, was, this is she all queen? part. This is all wow. part of the equity no. drive. This as is what as it's about. you said it in your video today. What was their motivation behind race swapping Anne Boleyn? Like it was to uh, the motive. They they said that the motivation for uh, race swapping uh, Anne Boleyn is so that young people could relate more to a victim character with her being black. Yeah. Whoa. So black people are victims. The yes, training is kids it. to relate to That's victims. That's how they see also. black people. They see black Which people as victims. Which is all part of the equity drive. Yes. That's what it's oh, about, wow. dude. Do you think we'll Black Hitler was just, would just like? Street. Do you think Black Hitler well, was just like, God, I mean, look one what, by uh, one? Individually. Yeah. yeah. Take well, look, out. I mean, look at what they just did. I, I completely missed this. Like, I, I caught it. It was one of those things, like, you see in the periphery of, like, a variety article or something, a story about. I, this completely, like, passed me. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, like, Grim Dark reboot? Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Just, yeah. Like I'm yeah. like, and it's produced by Will Smith. I'm like, yes. I mean, first off, I'm like, when I heard Will Smith was working on a modern reboot, I naturally assumed it to be, you know, wife swap. But, um, hey! you know, oh. but seriously, like I, but we've seriously. literally gotten to the point where we're scraping that far down at the bottom of the barrel yeah. where we have to like, yep. oh, we have to confront serious issues with regard to black kids in Bel Air, right? That's literally what the framing of the show is. Apparently the wife is uh, sucking off her best uh, her son's best friend. <laughs> right. You know, one of my favorite shows growing up was Family Matters, and only recently did I learn they were all black. What? Oh, wow. I can't. I can't believe I enjoyed that. Show. It was just pure hate the whole time. I didn't even know. One of my favorite shows as a kid was guess what? Fresh Prince of Bel Air because it was just funny. It was a great funny show. You didn't yeah. care. You didn't. When you were bothered. About the fucking color of the Wait, characters. But how, how did you relate to them being not of their persuasion? American, not American. Rich. I just wanted to know why so many light-skinned black people had the dark-skinned guy as their butler. It didn't make any sense to me. That is fucked up, man. Yeah, yeah. I was asking those questions That's how we do, when though. I was eight years That's old. Jeffrey, Jeffrey the butler. Jeffrey. Hey, they have a term for that, uh, colorism. Mm -hmm. We now have colorism. It is a thing. Ugh. Can we get good writingism? No. <laughs> well, two weeks from now, all of the writers are going to quit. So yeah. Possibly. So yes. Yay. But, uh, oh well, we got a writer strike coming up, so AI will take Do over. It. Another one. Yes. Yeah. Another and it's hilarious because the last time we had a writer strike, some TV shows were still good. Yep. <laughs> so it's like, what in the hell is going to happen now in twenty twenty three when I most of the writing improves? Yeah, yeah. I expect everything to get better. <laughs> right? Probably. Yes. It might. Like, I mean, are we gonna GPT notice yeah. TV shows? Let's go. Are we gonna notice? But I think it's yeah, a week or two, it's gonna it's gonna start. And it's always yep. good to have a strike during an economic downturn. That I mean that really helped Hollywood the last time they went on strike during oh, an economic yeah. downturn. Yeah. Often and Eddie killed. Uh and hey, they gave certainly us deserve that money for all the good work they're doing. It gave us Alex Kurtzman because he he did cross the picket line to go right. He was a he was a scab, and he's is still... the, is the uh, is that reimagining called the Fresh Prince's uh, wife sucks Bell End? <laughs> I'll, I'll give it to you. It was a little Thank late. I, tried, I, was good. I good. tried so hard. <laughs> yeah. That was for the I really effort. Did. Gary, I tried my best. <laughs> I did. 
I thought it's for just, at least I'm 30 sure seconds. I'm sure you <laughs> thought you did. <laughs> I workshop it, Jerry. I workshop. Yeah. <laughs> I was. Seriously. I had pieces in my head. I was trying to get them together to. to I, work. <laughs> I can't. Be, I just can't believe they're gonna pull this shit in the middle of this economy. Like seriously, <laughs> the economy. The economy is so shit right now. When Will and Jada go on vacation, they actually have to share a bed. For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's, that's, rough. that's how you do it, as <laughs> oh, there you go. Got him. Got him. I, oh. Rider strike. To, you see, this is why he got a comic and I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he knows how to write. I know. Yeah, I don't. I, I barely know how to speak. I am same here. I mean, like <laughs> I'm right there with you. <laughs> you were supposed to have invented the language. What the fuck? I, I, well, uh, not I listened to half of you lot. Fucking hell. Well, it's just what, like just evidence it. like this makes us question. Because <laughs> we, like we improved it. We dropped all those unnecessary <laughs> U's. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. Admittedly, aluminium sounds better. And, and I Alu aluminium. That. Aluminium. Not aluminium. 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 You freaking aluminium. limey. Um, aluminum. Aluminium. You're part of the Commonwealth, so you can shut up. Aluminium. Aluminium. Mm. Yes. No, I'm talking to X Ray Girl. No, minium. Minium. No, aluminium. 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 I'm fuck it. I'm no, calling aluminium. it aluminum now. I'm no. back to calling it aluminum. No, no. Shut the fuck up. Aluminum <laughs> uh, is way better. Yeah. Aluminium. Aluminium. Uh, Writer's strike. Aluminium. God damn it. Shut up. <laughs> Rider strike fears and studio <laughs> cutbacks cause filming slowdown in Los Angeles. Yes! <laughs> oh, no. What is it going to do? And then they show Fast X, <laughs> which is probably the least offensive thing. I mean, it's cars in space or whatever the hell they're going to do. They're gonna they're gonna Space bring alien ship or something. Paul Walker will be, Paul Walker hero. will be the first AI actor they bring back in a movie. Okay, <laughs> no, <laughs> they'll do it in a fast series. Hey, Gary, come on, less, less of the Paul Walker jokes too soon. It's oh. not too soon. This will be the first franchise to bring back a dead actor. I promise you. <laughs> um, Is he gonna do a no, do, do a reboot of Crash? Yeah. Oof. Oof. Oh. Oh God. Oh. What? Oh. No. no. Stop it. Oh, I no! I just hate Stop that movie. I hate Cole Crash. Walker jokes. It's really crash. tasteless. So scroll up, Garrett. Thank yeah, I think you, you should I, walk that back. I would never do that. <laughs> yeah, if you tried to live up to his last name, you might be a little. Yeah, Gary, why are you oh. getting like liberaturm ads in the side of the margins there? <laughs> wow. 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 Wait a minute. No. That's doesn't not me. He doesn't tell him over he that, that, that's, push that. That's, oh, that's I think as soon as Gary saw that Hollywood shutting down, he immediately had to fucking beat it. Well, <laughs> as much <laughs> as <laughs> as, <laughs> as, as, <laughs> as much <laughs> as I would love to take responsibility for that, Garrett, who's sharing this article right now? That's me. Olay. Okay, there you oh, go. Shit. Oh shit. Oh, oh, <laughs> My hair thickens. Hey yo. There you go. A wave is that, of, is that a personal attack or something? Yeah. A wave of cutbacks and layoffs at studios coupled with the fears of an impending writer strike slowed Hollywood mm. production for a third consecutive quarter. On location mm. filming production in greater Los Angeles fell 24% no. to 7,476 shoots a day. Jeez. From the same <laughs> in the meantime, there's 7,476 crack addicts walking around freaking downtown <laughs> uh Beverly Hills right now, which is kind of funny. Uh, uh days from the same period last year, according to Film LA, the nonprofit that handles film permits for the city and county. That's down 17% from the region's five-year first quarter average, Film LA said. In a Wednesday report, the biggest decline was in TV production, which has driven uh, had driven a rebound in the industry, probably due to streaming blowing up for like a minute. And that bubble has burst mm -hmm. in the wake of shutdowns forced by the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, no, forced by Gavin Newsom. Uh, Gavin Newsom <clears throat> shut the state down and the mayor shut the state down. Uh, COVID still around and and things aren't shut down. So isn't that weird? So it was, hmm. they shut it down. Uh, but right. Gavin Newsom's way too busy trying to troll Ron DeSantis while people are getting stabbed to death in his own state. 
Uh, well, he's just he's just trying to get some outreach going to California voters because they've all left the Florida right? for Christ's sake. He still has he knows the dead how to ones. So we Well, this fucking Californians leaving, going to other states. What a bunch of bitches! Uh, yeah, I think the state flag is now a U-Haul. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh no, that's the lesbian flag. So I mean, can they share it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, many Hollywood studios have been reining in uh, investments in content, laying off hundreds of workers in an effort to stem losses on their streaming platforms. I am so sad reading this, by the way. Oh, mm. this is so sad. Uh, the cost cutting comes. The cost cutting comes as producers engage in talks with writers over pay and working conditions. Uh, with members of the Writers Guild of America, or the wait, are, are, are they actually striking for less pay because the dog shit? Maybe. <laughs> No, we hey, demand less pay. We're terrible. Uh, the We're gonna go on I strike. don't like hearing just the the lowest of the low on the worker totem pole to get fired. That sucks, because the people that should be getting fired are all the upper management executives and all. They're not getting fired. They're not leaving. Right. They're staying. The people that are getting fired are the people on the bottom, the grips, the lighting guy, mm -hmm. the camera operator, the well, craft even, service <sighs> employee. Those people right. are getting fired. Mm. The cleaner, the, the writers to a degree. I mean, the way writing works in Hollywood is literally like, "Here's our idea. You're going to write it, right?" Mm. So even even the terrible, odious revisionist writers, a lot of them aren't generating these ideas, right? Right. So you get it. I feel for them on some <clears> level. <throat> yeah, I just you know. Uh... I have a hard time wrapping my head around a writer's guild. Uh, we don't need writers. You don't work in a salt mine. Uh, so where was I? With members of the Film Actors Guild of uh, this week voting overwhelmingly. Wait, film Actors Guild? The Film Actors Guild. Yeah, I did that on purpose. I did that on purpose. Uh, this week voting overwhelmingly <laughs> to authorize leaders to call a strike if a deal Matt can't Damon. be reached on May 1st. Matt Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon. That day. Uh, the uncertainty has made some companies reluctant to start production on shows. Good. Good. No shit. Yeah. And nobody, it's not stopping uh, bad Star Trek from continuing after we got a little bit of good Star Trek, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, as companies have cut back on either the amount of shows that they're doing or have has anybody noticed them cutting back though? I mean, we, yeah, there's been some cancellations, but they were producing Remember back in the day, kids, remember for us old <laughs> folks, even the young folks, when they, you could pretty much count, you could, you knew what shows were coming out. There was like a fewer networks and then it, you know, it got to about a hundred shows were being produced. You know how many shows are being produced? I like, I lost count. It was after 500, 500 TV shows oh, are being God. produced a year. It's well over that now. Fucking insane. It's like that with manga as well. They just produce tons and tons of it. And occasionally you'll get a golden goose once in a while. You'll get a Dragon Ball and Naruto. But there's so much manga we don't hear about because they just keep trying. And a lot mm. of what happens in like film and stuff, the budgets are so high, they're not willing to take the risks to try out weird new things. So if, right. if you bring your budgets down and like maybe – you know, a Twilight Zone, something like that. It was, I don't know how much that cost at the time, but they were just filming on like, in backyards on, you know, with basic sets and crap, you know, props and stuff. A lot of the Hollywood, I don't know if this has to do anything with, you know, guilds and whatnot, but a lot of people are, uh, I don't know, there's too much budget inflation and they're not willing to, I don't know, try out fresh blood, let's say. Like a lot of us in the indie scene, we've been trying to get into the industry for years and years. And for whatever reason, we can't get in. And then you got something like a book made by two people and or one person in some cases. And it can break so such a high budget. And uh, the creators don't even know what to do with such a budget. So they just roll it into the next book. Um, right. Why not take those risks? Uh, yeah, I guess the, that, that's the probably are why like. That, that's probably why Hollywood, when they come up with a trend that doesn't cost much and makes shit loads of money, they just like, remember when the found footage thing came out yep. like a few oh, years God. ago and it was like, <clears throat> Jesus, what are we up to? Like insidious part pie, right? Like it's just, we just keep going. <laughs> yeah. And it, 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 whenever they find something like that, remember when Blair Witch Project came out yeah. and then there was yeah, a yeah, bunch that was of the beginning of it. 
it was exactly it's whenever you find something like that dude they ride that till the legs fall off it's insane yeah. paranormal dude. activity reality yeah. tv reality tv that, that, I, that say step, that, 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 I mean it started right around uh the uh, a strike 20 30 years ago and then it just elevated during 2008 the 2008 uh i think it was 2008 2009 strike seven i think seven, seven yeah that's what it and it blew up to another level and it and it'll be back and that stuff still gets I mean it's the cheapest to make it makes the most money. Milf um, Manor. Yeah, it's I was like going to say it, according it, to as it peaked with Milf Manor, but <laughs> Yeah. That's the event horizon. Yeah. <laughs> the way that you would find good stories anyway is like novels, comics, low budget stuff that if it gets take the walking dead for instance it had a micro budget when it started and because yeah. it snowballed they knew oh we could turn this into a tv show so comics and novels were the the bottom uh what do you call it the foundation of a lot of great stories that okay let's take game of thrones this obscure story that no one's heard of and then we'll give it a massive budget because it's a good story because one guy sat in his room for years trying to plan out this really intricate story. And I know Game of Thrones is uh, you know, a touchy topic, but what? you would use comics and, and, and novels and stuff as the Petri dish to develop stories, and then you give them a high budget. You don't just give people, like look what happened with Star Wars. Let's just give them a bazillion dollar budget, and we don't have a story yet, but we'll figure it out as we go, because oh. we can't fail, it's too big to fail. And then it does, and then they're more risk averse because, oh, we can't figure out what went wrong because the story is the backbone of the project. And if you don't have a good story, don't even begin funding it. Oh, that's George, what, George, was, what, what went wrong was the fans were obviously racist. That, that's that's yeah, what went wrong. That's what it was, clearly. So, and yeah. sexist. Sexist, and sexist, sexist, racist, yeah. bigots. I'm yeah. sexist and racist. That's getting clipped. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Very I got told every day, so it's all right. I was called fascist today. That was fun. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Very nice. So I have to trim my mustache, I guess. A little more. <laughs> or keep growing it. Well, I think if See, he's already it got far, he's already got yeah. kind of the gunslinger facial hair going on here. Yeah. 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 A little bit. You need to you, do you this rock the cowboy right hat. I'll do the swearing right. gin right here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cocksucker. <laughs> hey, uh, leave Van Cleef, man. You can leave Van Cleef that shit. Uh, where are we yes. at now with the book? Did I see it? 40K. 40K. Wow. 40, That's wild. Wow. Fuck. That's fucking wild. That is crazy. 41. It's going to give credit to the stream. Less That's than the an power hour and a half. Of, uh, Why do you have wow. to one up X Ray Girl? She says 40K. You got to say 41K. I refreshed. <laughs> yeah, she's she's a bit faster than me. That's what oh, literally what she said. Eighty-two percent on the way. That, that is, is awesome. And thirty days left, I guess, in the campaign, and yeah, I think you're doing okay. What? Well, doing all right. <laughs> I suppose hey, I can right. safely George, you now. Might, you got, a chance, you got a chance of getting that. Might want to start drawing. Time. Yeah. Well, I've been drawing. I mean, actually, I've been keeping myself from drawing too much because I want to experience the West before I continue. I. I I would feel like I'm lying if I'm drawing the settings without having been there. You know what so, I mean? So come on over are, to are, Texas. Are, yeah, are, are, that, what, that doesn't stop course. Hollywood. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I, like I, I do want to give people an authentic. You know, it, it's something as simple as if you feel the dirt with your hands, and then when mm. you're drawing, your muscle memory kicks in. It's like, wait, that gravel felt like this, and then it just affects your strokes a little oh, bit yeah. more. And yeah. and I well, think that'll and, make and, a more rich book anyway. Yeah, and the desert looks different in Arizona than other places. It does, and just like especially it northern in... Arizona. Yes, it looks I didn't know it was so green up there. Whatever. Well, look at the spaghetti westerns, right? They're all shot in Spain, and they were convinced that it looked like Arizona over there, and it doesn't. Right? No, <laughs> not even almost. No, you can you can see the different. Like right when you pass from New Mexico to Arizona, there is a distinct difference right at the border almost it's crazy <laughs> yeah. is it because of elevation too because northern arizona's yeah. got like a really high elevation right well yeah. it does got, like mountains and skiing well people don't even realize like arizona topographically it's cooler than you think even out in the desert right like i've, I've been out in the bumfuck middle of nowhere can't see anything in the middle of the desert and it's amazing how cool it is right for example we were talking about tombstone earlier right great movie 
everybody loves the gunfight at the OK Corral. Did you know that on the day the gunfight at the OK Corral happened, it was snowing? Mm -hmm. It's never been in a movie ever. But in, really? <laughs> on the day the gunfight happened, it was actually lightly snowing that day. It snows all the time in southern Arizona because it's higher elevation, right? Yep. It's a lot cooler mm -hmm. um, than other places. But it, it's cool, like learning little bits about that. No, researching, that was, yeah. researching Canyon Diablo, by the way, I should mention on this Indiegogo campaign, I'm going to be providing regular updates that are like about mm. the background of the town and some of the story and whatnot. Yeah. Um, but going through and like researching that kind of shit is really, really cool. Like you just learn things that you didn't know, especially from like the Hollywood. And we don't learn about the Old West in school, really. Not yeah. really in public school. Mm -hmm. At least I didn't, which is odd. Um, so it's kind of cool getting to know that. That's one of the coolest things about working on those. Well, finding old maps and stuff. I, I was just doing sketches and somebody noted that I was doing the roof wrong on some building because there was too much uh, moisture. You got roof it like... shamed? Whoa. You roof got roof shamed? Yeah. shamed? <laughs> they were saying like, it looks like moisture damaged that roof and they didn't make their roofs that way. And this Adobe building has too many struts on the side. And I'm like, yeah. huh. I didn't, I couldn't even, but that's the problem. I don't want to, when I draw this book more, I don't want to just draw from games and movies as reference. I want to go there and touch these buildings. I want to look at the clothes. I want to handle the equipment that they touched. And, you know, it's silly to say I'm going to go horseback riding, but I really do want to learn like the anatomy. I didn't know that horses, for instance, have something called chestnuts where it's like on their legs, like the bone seems to be coming out of certain parts. And I was like, I didn't I think, even know. I think Dylan Mulvaney has chestnuts, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought that was heading somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. Right. But you can't ride in the same way. Uh, George, I, you, George, I you should just take riding. that. George, just, he take just it. I, People are so mad about him. He just wants to drink and be merry with an A. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it to you. George, you should just That's... take the Alex Kurtzman approach and just go in with franchise, watch like about a minute or two of a couple of YouTube videos and just take yeah, off. I you know. don't need to do all that research. That's ridiculous. How what an insult. I don't know how much a guy like him gets paid, but like you wouldn't a even lot. bother taking the time to like, hey, this is a huge honor to be given this much of a budget. I'm gonna really go out go all out and and spend a a lot of time researching and you wouldn't just like, oh, I'm going to watch a few episodes of the previous show and then kind of change it the way I want to change it and then get surprised when people get upset at you. There, there's a channel called Major Grin that just rips mm. the shit out so of good. Kurtzman Trek all the time, shows all the contradictions. It's fantastic. I highly recommend it. Oh, well, we talk about it all the time. I do the depths of DS9. Yes, you do. We, we have been going through De Deep Space Nine. We're on like season four, pretty deep into it now. Um, and all the time you're watching DS nine because DS nine is like the show that they think they're making now with the new star Trek shows. Like, <laughs> Oh, it's serialized and it's dark and it's no, <laughs> like this is how it's done. They did it 20 years ago for Christ's sake. It's not that hard. Well, what they're doing is outside in storytelling. Anyways, they they say what's on the surface, like what explosions, action, drama, but they're not understanding that the reason people are so passionate about these series, especially Star Trek, is the slow, cerebral, you got to fill in with your imagination. That's not sexy. You can't sell, you can't make a commercial off of uh, people just talking about something really complex with that you have to pay attention to. But it's like, it's like saying, I mean, this is obscure, maybe, but I'm going to fall in love with someone because of the way they look, not because I like their the things they talk about, they're intelligent. We have a good connection that it's, it's too superficial. And I'm not surprised the Hollywood types being superficial as they are, don't understand the inside out storytelling that has to happen. You can put, you know, icing and sprinkles and all the nice stuff on the outside of the cake. But if the inside of the cake has no structures, no, no meat, it's like, what's the point? And nerds are passionate about series because of all the conversations they'll have at the lunch table or at the water cooler or here on the show, for instance. I love that scene where they talked about this and this and nothing happened, but you, you thought something could happen and it was so intense. Yeah. And then there was the sexy explosion, like the, the Tarantino you know, table mm -hmm. talk or something and someone gets shot. But the reason that's, that scene is cool is not because someone got shot. It's because it's like when Hitchcock talks about the bomb under the table thing, you know? The tension. Yeah. Yep. 
slowly. Yeah. We want we want the tension. We want to be part of the storytelling. Yeah. Uh, it's like the only people who don't know there's a bomb under the table is the characters and what's going to mm. happen. But, but the idiot Hollywood types are like, I'm going to show the bomb and we're going to cut to this other guy and the ticking and the clock is ticking and you know, like 24, the fast editing 24 cuts while a guy jumps over a fence and we're going to yeah, zoom in right. and shaky cam it. Well, I don't know. Marvel's been producing quite a few bombs these days. So yes. they right. <laughs> They've got it figured out. They <laughs> They're just do. not under the table. And they're not ticking. They're just going off everywhere. Right. <laughs> no shit. Uh, speaking of bombs, you got that ready. This is just... Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. Died of rings of power cringe. Cringe. R.I.P. <laughs> horse. R.I.P. R.I.P. horse. Rip horse. Uh, he's probably Ghost better of off. Mr. Hands come for revenge. Oh. <laughs> he was not looking upwards. Um, This is a frivolous <laughs> lawsuit. It's bullshit, but it's funny. This is Hilarious. some funny shit because <laughs> what what they're what they're insinuating here is that Rings of Power is not just fan fiction; it's stolen fan fiction, which is, <laughs> makes me happy. <laughs> Lord of the Rings fan fiction writer suing Tolkien Estate and Amazon for copyright infringement. So this guy who wrote a bunch of, I mean, like he, I'm surprised he isn't getting sued. Uh, yeah. He wrote seven books, one called Fellowship of the King, that he says is all based off a of, of Tolkien, and he said that they're written he said like off. inspired by, but no, it's like with the characters and like yeah, it's dude. in the world. It's it's like it'd be fine to write that. You could write that and put it on Tumblr or whatever. But he he made these books and like posted them. He's selling them on ironically on Amazon. Uh-huh. <laughs> How do you sue the Tolkien estate? You're using their IP. Yeah, because he's saying that he Bro. took he wrote this entire thing and pitched it to the Tolkien oh. estate and that when they didn't respond to his messages, he actually physically went there and handed them a copy and that a couple of years later all of his ideas popped up in Rings of Power. Wow. You know, that's why Marvel uh, has you sign a thing when you submit a story that if there's a coincidence where one of our stories happens to be like yours, you're acknowledging that we didn't read it. Yeah. Wow. You can't, you can't even tell an editor what your story is without signing something that's, that's right. for this so reason. This, this writer is admitting that he's shit then. <laughs> no shit. But that's my, the thing I took away from it. I'm like, you want to be identified? Yeah. With this? Yeah. Yeah. Everything about this is funny. But he got a copyright uh in 2017. It says it right there, you know? So well, wow. he did say that, and he also claims that the copy of his works that he handed to the Tolkien, to Simon Tolkien, was it had a it had a little C with a circle on it. So that means it was copyright. Did he li is that literally the <laughs> original work do not steal? Is that literally what we just witnessed here? Oh, I think god. So. oh god. Wow. I mean, at least I mean well, technically any work that any person makes has copyright on it inherently and legally. The yeah. registration is more of a just a a record process well you have so, to have a record of when you did it they're like the poor man's copyright used to be like you mailed it to yourself so it's post stamped uh it's <laughs> right. it's it's weird but uh no it doesn't fly like that you can't put a little c and draw you draw a little circle around it and crayon and say i copyrighted it i copyrighted it <laughs> <laughs> uh lord of the ring a lord of the rings Fan fiction writer is suing the Tolkien estate and Rings of Power creator, Amazon, for copyright infringement on his novel, The Fellowship of the King, as reported by PC Gamer. Oh, bastion of journalism. Uh, Demetrius. Uh, what's his name? Demetrius. 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 Oh, no. I've been seeing the Greeks invent everything. Demetrius. I've been kicked out of three high schools and oh, I great. never made it to Greek anything. I barely made it past English. Fuck off. Uh, Polycron uh, claims his work, which was registered with the U.S. Copyright Office in 2017 and published in September 2022. <laughs> it was, was it really? Wow. It was just last year, so it was published right when Rings of Power came out. Yeah. Uh, is inspired by the Lord of the Rings and J.R.R. Tolkien. 
but it is a wholly original work and concept. Sure, what? sure, sure, I, sure. No, 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 can we get confused? Because did, quarter black you're saying it has the characters it's based in middle earth it's, yeah it can't be, like wholly original what where, where, what I'm are they saying now yeah we need we i need confirmation on this let's see if i can <laughs> buy it uh <laughs> the lawsuit claims that the rings of power show infringes on his copyright and polycron is seeking oh, 250 million as a result wow Bad oh. news, guys. It's not on Amazon anymore. Can't oh, no. Oh. 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 See, it, it was there a couple days ago. It was. What we have And lost. there was only 10 reviews. I think the top review said you're going to get sued. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> there was one five-star review from the author himself. Uh, okay. Yeah. Unbiased, of course. My yeah. book is awesome. Five stars. <laughs> Razor Fist, you should do that. <laughs> right? <laughs> Make great. it so. <laughs> I love this guy. Can we get him on Friday night? Let's do that on the back cover. Five stars, Razor Fist. This is some right? Ligma Johnson oh, level dude, trolling. They're like balls the size of Alpha Centauri. Let's yeah. get this. <laughs> Polycron also claims to have attempted several times to work with the Tolkien estate professionally after filing the trademark. He sent a letter to J.R.R. Tolkien grand, uh, grandson and Tolkien estate director Simon Tolkien, uh, famously the one who wanted Sauron to be Walter White, to be like Walter White. That came from Simon. Uh, describing the book as asking... It was more the, like that guy from fucking Twilight than Walter White. Edward? You want to scroll up, Gary? Do you want me do to... Do not besmirch oh, Edward as... Guess chapter. what's next. To compare Edward... <laughs> to rings of power hurts my soul. Team wow! Edward. Hey, sorry, I didn't realize Ed you're a Twilight guys. I season totally of... am. Team Edward all the way, baby. Season two. <laughs> oh, I knew I liked the shed. You're looking forward to the show, then they're gonna do right. Oh, I'm so pumped for the show, Gary. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on tight, Spider Monkey. <laughs> oh my God! What? I can't believe it's in the movie. <laughs> I don't know. I've never I seen them. Remember that line? Straight. That's the only good line in the whole thing. Listen. Going <laughs> back, you're a fan as well. And then he climbs up the the, the little tree like super fast, and it plays like a muse. <laughs> so I, nope. I went okay. to all of them with my wife and got a good nap. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I had a girlfriend at the time. A good nap. Is this before you're obviously. Before when, when, your wife? when did that this pull the same person. It's the same person. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Where was I? Uh, <laughs> this riveting article here. The Fellowship of the King and an additional six-book series independently. The lawsuit points out similarities, such as one of Polycron's characters being called Eleanor. An elf. <laughs> Eleanor. What? Eleanor. Yeah, because one of the one of the not <laughs> hobbits, because they can't <laughs> use the word hobbit. They keep saying Harfoot, but it's an intellectual property thing. Uh, which is the same name as one of the Rings of Power characters. However, it should be. I like how they didn't even bother to go. It's the same name as, uh, you know, Eleanor Nori <laughs> Brandyfoot like, yeah. because they didn't give they a shit. Uh, however, it should be noted that this is also the name of one of J.R.R. Tolkien's own characters, one of Sam's daughters. Uh, season two of the Rings of Power is currently in production. Did you guys see that uh, production photo that looked like uh, the guy is an extra from Xena? <laughs> no no can we see it oh dude it's it it's a seal door it's fucking yeah, yeah, a yeah. seal door and it like he looks like he just got back from silver lake and his cosplaying uh, you know it's <laughs> fucking bad <laughs> dude, he, like, he just bought a turkey play. leg at the ren fair yeah it's <laughs> i'm it, not Gary. sure about how shocked were any of you to find out that isil door is still alive oh, <gasps> so shocked <laughs> So oh, most man. expensive TV show <laughs> ever made <laughs> in cooperation <laughs> with Party City. Oh. They, know, they knew it was so obvious, even though they were trying to play it in the show as a mystery. They knew it was so obvious they would just spew out the spoiler <laughs> out because, yeah, no one takes it seriously. They know we're full Nobody of Nobody gives so a fuck. It is. Holy shit. I, I dressed up better than that when we did a school play once. <laughs> dude where's my Numenor dude <laughs> oh my god dude, Sweet. dude where's dude. my horse oh shit 
This is dog shit died. for while the chick next to him. She looks just as bad. Uh, yes. Now, the book is no longer on Amazon to purchase. Now, this is sad. Uh, but the first chapter is on Google Books. Uh-oh. And oh. we could read it right now. Oh. Are you sure how we won't get it? sued? <laughs> yeah, how long is it? Just, uh, just whip page. it out. Whoa. Chris, just read I'll a couple lines. I, I just want to... I want to see the opening. I want to know the writing quality of the opening. Oh my god. <clears throat> Look at that format. Chapter one. <laughs> Galadriel really <laughs> likes to fuck horses. Chapter one. Do you know why a, sip flo a ship floats and a rock sinks? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this guy does read a lot of Tolkien. He goes on for like a paragraph there just about the flowers. Yeah. I don't think there's a punctuation <laughs> in this entire thing. <laughs> He literally mentions bag end in the first hey, wait, paragraph. Oh, I know. <laughs> but it's, Dude, a, it's a separated world. It's a wholly original work, and it's already he, got bag end. In the he talks about uh, he talks about Sam in it. Look, he does. Right there. Late My afternoon sunshine. <laughs> Samwise. To, wait, so this wait, wait, wait. page, dude. Hobbit. So the pro. So reportedly, the prologue is set in the Shire like this. Um, and then totally the original is, work. Supposedly. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Sure. What if it turns out to be better though? <laughs> what did we say, dude? Late afternoon sunshine flooded the meadows of the hill with a pleasant oh, glow. Bright Aww. blossom, snapdragon, sunflowers, and I'm Nostradamus. Sorry. Nostradamus? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, nasturtiums. 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 Filled the open. What the fuck is a nasturtium? I don't it's know. It's a fucking no, flower, gotta, you no, belly. I, I thought you're a Tolkien scholar. You don't know this? <laughs> you don't know what the nasturtiums? Fake Come on. Tolkien fan. There's There's a letter. They're orangey. There was a letter about them. There was? <laughs> not a fucking gardener. I like how he's using they look, I'm a scholar, by they the way. Look like they look like pansies. The only thing I knew how to grow was, was pot, okay? I love, I love that. <laughs> like, 420. I love he's using, 20. like, technical names for the flowers. Like, he just got done reading Martha Stewart Living or right? something. <laughs> <laughs> the rhododendrons are filled with right, the open right, fields right, and side. covered in <laughs> green <laughs> turf walls of, the day toilet of Bag End. A stone rings of opening paragraph. This Let opening paragraph is the type of thing that a literary agent would reject just on the first paragraph. It's it's redundant and it's got overuse. It's like you he wouldn't even get past the the first you know <laughs> test in trying to get it actually published. This is not the best quality. Just saying, it like I could break down more specifically, but I don't want to go off on a massive tangent. <laughs> I'm bringing mm -hmm. it in. This isn't. I, I, I open, it's not irrelevant that it's late afternoon sunshine. Why do we need to know it's particularly? We know it's afternoon, but late afternoon is like, anyway. anyway. Okay, that are you going to fucking criticize Tolkien now, too? You know I will. Nah, Tolkien's great. He, it's, okay. It still holds up. <laughs> go go listen to um an audio book of like the, the Hobbit, and I've done that recently, right? It is such a pleasantly well written book, and it's just such a, a fun read. It holds up. Tolkien was a. Uh, like he, he knew how to work with his words, he, you know. Ooh, this my favorite thing about Tolkien is he'll spend like three pages describing a dewy meadow, and then they'll get in a brutal conflict, and they'll be like, "They killed two orcs." Next. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like... <laughs> it's amazing. Well, there's that, and then there's George R. R. Martin, Tyrion. Oh God. Going on and on and on. About oh, where, where, do, horse, where do horse go? One is where do horse go? Andrei Sapkowski, the the Witcher. Yeah, dude. Like, and and then he did a pirouette into a side swipe that immediately turned into <laughs> he, he moved into a, a fences stance. Like I don't think we need the play by play. Dude, I, 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 I like those books and I read those books, but it, it it reads like a guy who's never really been with any women, but really wants to badly yeah. <laughs> it's like two Aww. paragraphs describing the cleavage yeah. <laughs> uh, it feels like bags of sand uh, yeah, but I'm squishy, wow. but not too squishy it was amazing uh, but seriously like, to compare that guy's writing to Tolkien himself this is leather bound vintage version ooh. of the hobbit right here is very nice stuff. but like he spent a whole paragraph just trying to describe the front door of the hobbit hole Tolkien he gets right to the point in a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. 
not a nasty, dirty, wet hole filled with the ends of worms or an oozy smell. Not yet a dry, bare, sandy hole with nothing. But he is describing, but already, because he he starts off, there's something in the ground and something is living in it. Hobbit, we're interested. We want to know what it is. It creates a gap of information. And suddenly, we are interested in knowing what the Hobbit is like. And he has just a pleasant way of describing it, right? It just shows the quality of writing that does exist. And another great example is, honestly, Pride and Prejudice. It's a, it's an info dump, but it starts with such a great use of language. Anyway. Anyway, another good one is uh, if, if you've read Watership Down. Yeah, similar in that mm. style. Uh, speaking of which, I'm going to show off my leather bound. Little oh, leather yes, nice. show it off, baby. Show them with the metal yeah. edges. Showing all our leather. Look at that. That's, Ooh, cool. that's awesome. Oh, wow. Oh, it has a little class too. That's cool. Mm. Oh, and I like that it has the corner thing. Yeah, I, I, I dig it. I actually uh, bought. Yeah, I, I bought that separately. Actually, put it on the book. It's pretty cool. Oh. Let's do that. We got the Silmarillion, the Hobbit, Dude. and the Lord of the Rings trilogy vintage nice. leather right here. Holy shit! Ooh. Do you have the vintage leather leather gold there. leaf with gold with actual gold in it? Doesn't have gold leaf, oh. but uh, these are these are old I prints. Got that one. Like if I look at the print on these, um, uh, I love gold. I have celebrity poops. Made by Chris Gore. Yeah, wow. Very by the great author Chris very, Gore. What Chris is in I love, the I love Chris is in the chat. You know he's in the chat. So he's always watching. This edition these editions were printed in 1981 before I was born. Older than me. Wow, that's so old. That is so old. 1981. <laughs> <laughs> shit in my fridge older than that. I was eleven in 1981. Yeah, I, I think the box of Arm & Hammer baking soda in my cabinet is actually older than that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that is, it's instantly valuable. You should treasure it. <laughs> <Yes>. Treasure <laughs> it. Vintage. Half of me didn't <laughs> exist yet. Hey, Gary, did you know that we have a deal with Netflix? We do? Yeah. Hey! Oh my God. <laughs> hey! I've been working with them. We're working out the deal. So, oh Eric, my but they, they precasted. Eric July is playing uh, uh, me. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I, I approve. Yeah, good. As I, I, I <laughs> got you in here too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. That beard. Fuck. Got you here. I know. Nice lines. <laughs> I yeah. Wow. Hi, hey, time. barbershop. This, I don't believe this for a no, minute. Wow. Uh, good. Uh, I got news yeah. For yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where are the white women at? <laughs> the only way to reverse it is to get Joe Biden to suck it out of you. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, oh no! no. The black. I saw I that. Mean, I know. I saw that on Twitter recently. That was a great bit of art that you made for right that. There. That was. It's great. dude. It's still exploding people's heads. Dude, that, every that cartoon time I had, comes around, it's awesome. I, apparently, some Show youngsters or something tweeted at me saying, "Like, I, what is this joke even about?" As if. He didn't say it. You're too young to know. He didn't say it, those exact yeah. words. You're and too young. That was dumb. like two years ago. Yeah. Wow. What are they doing on Twitter? I don't know. But a lot of the complaining. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> this is the only way to beat Netflix is to release him. <laughs> <laughs> I need to catch up. No. Oh. Uh, oh, I know. I, I know. Oh, I get Wharf. Hell yeah. I'm delighted that I'm cute. We were talking about <laughs> uh, we were talking about Wrath of Khan on the real BBC, and I mentioned that Spock died, and X Ray Girls oh, no. all spoilers, and I'm like, spoilers, I was telling yeah. that. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, the last episode I watched for TOS was amazing. Conscious of the King, mm, so go. freaking good, so good. If there is a Netflix adaptation where they're depicting me. I'm just saying, I want Terry Crews to play me. I, I identify with Terry Crews. I, when I see him, I just see myself. I'm saying, the same. By the go. way, uh, George, we now have 777 backers. Lucky number. Ah, there you go. Riper right. will right. right. be proud. Right, right when da, 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 Odin comes da, 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 in. Oh. 50. And 50K. 50. Oh, yeah. 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 Amazing. We have 100%. Wow. Got wow, 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 wow. Two wow, wow. hours. All yeah. you guys in the that chat is... absolutely are killing it. Yeah. Yeah. Next week, I'm going to be releasing Thank a comic. Uh, <laughs> 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 I've got a week to think about Chronicles. what it's about. Yeah, but uh, yeah. we'll get that. We'll get that. Oh, my God. It's going to be Congrats. very interesting fulfilling all these, but uh, we'll get it done. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the first uh, thing. It's, uh, 
<laughs> the fun part is production is the same whether you have a hundred or a thousand books to do. So we'll only feel it at the end. Maybe right. we'll hire That's some true. people to help out. At the at the very end to keep it in print, we've talked about going through my publisher to like keep it in print mm -hmm. so people can continue to buy it after the campaign's over, right? So it's yeah. still out there. But yeah, absolutely. Um, so that this should will be, be the first deal. edition, you know, the one that'll be valuable right. in the 50 million years or something. And we were even, <laughs> I was thinking about doing a hand bound, you know, actual leather with like a brand or something on the front and oh, gold cool. and all that stuff. My, uh, my people like it. I, yeah. I my publisher, it. Arcave, it actually owns a leather bindery. Or, uh, well, that. maybe we That's could uh, figure nice. something out. Yeah, little... We can always add tiers. But uh, uh, I, I, guys, stretch, serious stretch they, goals. No, no, I, I had leather no. bound on my one, and people love the leather bound. You know. All right, I'll write it down. Yeah. We'll yeah. figure out the. Uh, we'll figure out how to do that. That's great. What's up, Odin? You get ready for that pineapple pizza, oh. buddy? Uh, <laughs> I think we still have. <laughs> Look at that image. <laughs> oh goodness. I think I have that. I think I still got about a week or two. So I still I still a got a little time, here. but it's gonna happen. I mean, it's gonna happen. Something here I got for you, Odin. Oh, no boy. Oh, goodness. I got news for you. Is that what? I got news for you. It's pineapple. Just get ready. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Heresy. Uh, just, Heresy. It's disgusting, isn't it? Uh, just in case you didn't know, there's a bet between Jeremy, uh, who's on assignment, mm -hmm. driving across the country, uh, and mm -hmm. Odin, if uh, Super Mario hits a billion, Odin has to eat pineapple pizza. If it doesn't, Jeremy has to eat pineapple pizza. I'm I'm kind of rooting for 999 uh, million because then he gets both. Yeah, yeah. So. because I follow inflation, and so I would a year later say, "Hey, that now would equal a billion dollars oh, be because of inflation." I would retroactively eat it. Yeah, <laughs> that would be great. Oh, mm. uh, hey, uh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to hear back from somebody. I just sent a DM because I heard oh. something about. Jonathan Majors, I just need to. I mean, oh. it's, yeah. It's a DM. Oh. Well, in the meantime, we have a member of the channel. Shout out to his uh, channel. Yeah. George. George. Yeah. Another George. Another George. Another George. Another George. Is out there. <laughs> Another George. Are we shouting just, out channel does or does he have book? a beautiful soul though? Yes, Not George does have a beautiful soul. Sure, he soul. does. Yeah. And, and sure he's he been does. back in this channel forever. Like, you know. Back in um, uh, the early days of Nerdrotic, uh, when I was a beardless boy reviewing Ash versus Evil Dead. So uh, thanks. And go, ch did he want me to? Does he have a book? Because sometimes he has books. Is, is it a book uh, or a channel? His I didn't speak to him directly, but if there is a book, just let uh, Mrs. Nerdrotic know. And I'll yeah, shoot, shoot us a next. message, George, and we'll give you a shout out. But uh, please yeah. check out his channel, George Peter yeah. Gatsis, longtime supporter of Nerdrotic. We appreciate yeah. you, dude. Mods have the link in the chat. So nice. Um, we got a super chat from 32 Flavors of Nick Weiser, another guy who's been supporting the channel for a long time and a man who can hold his liquor. Holy shit. I love Nick. Nick mm -hmm. was so drunk two years ago, but he could walk and, you know, Garrett couldn't walk. We had to, we had to oh, pour man. Garrett into a car after he roofied himself. But um, <laughs> Nick could hold his liquor and talk about metal all night, and I loved it. Uh, Hail FNT, Razor Fist, congrats to you and George on your comic book release. May uh, Ghost of the Badlands make one million. Also, uh, Domestic Booty. In domestic yes, booty? Domestic Booty. By the way, there's a new Anthem album, if, for those who don't know. It's for my Anthem Metal Mythos episode. They have an album called Domestic Booty. It's amazing. That's awesome. Um, but <laughs> they just came out with a new album, and it kicks ass. By the way, just, I, 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 I'm just name dropping a japanese band no one has ever heard of um oh, i was I gonna ask you do you know during gray by any chance yeah of you course must. we used to sell their uh, cds at the comic shop i worked oh, at i've been looping one of their songs the past week it, it, it's like i just discovered them all over again they're nuts I dear uh, dear and gray and anthem have the same producer actually a swedish guy strangely enough but weird uh... <laughs> totally weird totally weird, weird. Mm -hmm. I've got I, I, we, I got some breaking bad news. Oh boy! Oh boy! Is it about? Uh, is it about <laughs> something that should have had Nicolas Cage in it? Yes. Okay. Uh -oh. I, I uh -oh. regret to inform you that National Treasure has been canceled after one oh, season. No. Oh, oh no! I just no. I can't believe what 
ever and will changing we do. Nicolas Cage character into an 18 year old Mexican <laughs> illegal immigrant didn't <laughs> yes. work. No. Well, we'll just through watch. Shocker. Racism strikes again. It does. I know. <laughs> it just I am. Striking. I am beside myself. It's back to that. that it wasn't much. made for you. Why didn't white men watch this? Or anybody yes. else <laughs> with a brain. Well, I watched two episodes and I said to Jane Theory, nope. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, that's okay. That's fine. Uh, Tevin Daniels for $10 says, first time super chat. All right. Wait, hang on. Hey. Quantum Leap, by the way, that got renewed for a second season. Uh, I don't care. Even, even, even the, no, it's weird because nobody was watching it. I'm gonna poo poo really, on that. Really low uh, viewing figures. Yeah. So. Uh, Razorfist, given your recommendation, I read the Elric Saga Omnibus Ooh. volumes. Hell yes. Uh, yes. Great old fantasy. Let's hope that this series isn't touched and ruined like the Rings of Power. I agree. Oh, did you? Well, and we're in danger of that. Did you hear about this, Gary? No. They, uh, oh, no. Just announced an Elric show. No. Who's doing it's gonna it? be an Elric show? Oh, no. I'm worried. Is... I'm trepidatious. So, this is the worst period to ever Who's... have anything adapted. Is like who's producing? On what though? Netflix? I don't know. The last I heard, I've actually talked with the guy who originally pitched it. I don't know if it's him who finally got it through, but um, Hollywood guy, he uh, he was pitching it to Amazon last I heard. I don't know if that's who picked it up. I don't know any other details, but apparently there is an Elric show coming. <laughs> I'm gonna piss myself if it's picked up by Netflix and then they announce Lauren Hisrich. Is gonna be the show Lauren right Hisrich, starring. Well, he could still Le be an albino technique. No, Leslie Jones is Elric. Oh, dude, that's he'll be a, right dude. Now. He'll be a camera he'll... negative of himself. He'll be played by Idris Elba. <laughs> yeah. Just... <laughs> a pair of eyes and a smile. <laughs> the Ebony Prince. <laughs> I, I believe it was you who said Razor Fist in Hellboy Two. That was the closest we've ever seen Elric on screen. Uh, Indeed. Well, yeah. Maybe, I, I mean, maybe ha House of the Dragon is basically Yeah, Elric. yeah, Matt Show. Damon, yes, it is. <laughs> but at least George admits it. Like, George admits that the Targaryens are heavily influenced by Moorcock. Yeah, and Michael Moorcock and uh, George R.R. R. Martin are, like, they're in each other's file effects. Like, they're yes, buddies. They're so. peas in a pod, two peas in a pod. Uh, Mikey, and, Gu Mikey Gussler. Uh, Oh, go on. Oh, I was only just going to say, because you, there's a hit and miss. We get like a gem, like House of the Dragon, stuff like that. And so, you know, uh, for something like Elric, you're just, it's unlikely, but you have that little hope that maybe it'll be good. The only upcoming thing that I actually feel has high a chance of being good that I'm excited for is uh, Duncan Egg, because that's been confirmed. Um, uh, oh, and so if, hey, if they're making good House of the Dragons, yeah. maybe Duncan Egg will be good. Hey, Gary, George, George, that story. Oh, I'm I'm just looking forward to Daredevil Afterbirth coming up here. That'll no, be, no, that'll be great. No, no, that's gonna suck so bad. Oh, the artist formerly Every known. Every time you as... hear a new thing, I know. Out of that show, it's bad news. It's Dude. hey, you remember that great actor that you love from the first show? Yeah, he's not in this. No, <laughs> no, Foggy. Pun the Punisher Foggy, 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 not in it, right? Foggy and Karen were the. Oh, I could go all, all night. Foggy and Karen I, were the I heart think of the series. Actually, in it. Actually, I think they. I, I, I think they go they, back on that. No, well, I don't know if they made an announcement, but I think I saw stuff on set, um, like leaked pictures from set that made it. It looked like he was there. So. Mm. Oh, okay, interesting. Because uh, originally they had announced that neither he nor Karen were going to be. Yeah, in. which is. I, I think uh, what they might be doing is like uh, race swapping. It's Karen. like during the blip or something, <laughs> right? Isn't that what they're supposed to be doing? Maybe wasn't that the whole point of it? Was they were doing it during the blip? So maybe Foggy and Karen. I don't know. The fact that it's More missing all the writers stuff. from the first three series and producers yeah. is the most concerning thing. Uh, and the and you look at the actual IMDb of the guys who are working on it, and it's like it shit. does not inspire confidence. And and, <laughs> and, and another reason Why? Daredevil They've got a She-Hulk writer there. What could possibly go wrong? Right. <laughs> so Daredevil was successful because it was the thing Kevin Feige had the least involvement, as in none. He had no involvement None. in it. It was all Jeff Loeb and uh, Christos Gage and people like that that were working on it. And uh, it basically had nothing to do with any of the other Marvel shows, no. really. <laughs> so. Drew Goddard developed it. Uh, yeah. It, yeah, it's uh, uh, Mikey Gussler for $50. Mikey! <laughs> 
Oh, he's got some music questions, which is funny because my son was just commenting on uh, he's was kind of going down your metal mythos rabbit hole, which I was very proud of him. I was very, very proud of him. Good boy. Nice. Um, I want to hear some thoughts from Razor Fist on rock music. Aerosmith's Get a Grip just turned 30 years old. What do you think of that album and the band's overall catalog? Thoughts on the Motley Crue situation? And oh, them recording new music with Bob Rock. Mm. Uh, so I, I've never been the biggest Aerosmith fan, really. I, I'm just the wrong guy to ask. Not that I hate them or anything. They're just not. There's always these big bands that you just never get around to getting into. And Aerosmith's just one of them for me. Except I did play Revolution X in the yeah, arcade dude. Back in the day, a lot. That's my favorite <laughs> a lot. thing from Aerosmith. My favorite thing in the world is when Steven Tyler points to the camera and goes, Music is a weapon but anyway <laughs> revolution um, x right um so i'm the wrong guy to ask about that but what was the other part of that question Sorry. the other part is uh thoughts on the motley crew situation oh yeah and then recording with bob uh, rock so i don't know if anyone's seen what's been going on with crew they basically fired the only good member of the band right well he he retired and then they fucked him out of royalties yes i guess a long time ago they decided that it's an equal split and if they continue on with someone else, then they still have to pay Mick Mars because he is one of the original members of the band and also happens to be the only guy who's worth a fucking shit uh -huh. in the band anymore, <laughs> right? But he had to leave because his spine is like a question mark, for Christ's sake. He has the posture of a seahorse. So <laughs> he, he splits, and uh, I guess they're trying to fuck him. They were trying to give him like less than 5% and replace him Ooh. with John 5 and... It's a whole thing. They're going back and forth. And now he's claiming that Motley Crue have been playing to like tapes. Yes. For, like the last five years. So that's Which, true. Dude, have you have you seen Motley Crue in the last five years? Uh -huh. If that's them playing to tape, what do they sound like live for Christ? Dude, sake? we well, we got that that when Vince Neal was out solo and he forgot the lyrics oh. to his own song. Oh. I mean, that's a famous one that's gone around, but um, so I knew the guy, he shopped at my store who did their merch, like designed their shirts and everything. He, he Okay, his two clients were Motley Crue and Madonna. Uh, so, but he, uh, it was right when they were having problems with, with Vince Neil. And like, he's all, they've always hated Vince. They've always, they, they never liked Vince. Like, I don't know why they keep bringing him back. But yeah, that's, that's a strange decision to get rid of. Nick, that's it like was he, weird because you musician. watched the old Motley Crue behind the music back in the day. And even in that, they're like, yeah, Vince couldn't sing, but he looked kind of good in the 80s. And yep. it's like, OK, that what's the excuse in 2023? Right. He looks like the abominable snowman from the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer <laughs> fucking claymation thing. What the fuck is going on? And we're still this guy's still hanging around. For fuck's sake. Bumbles don't bounce. Uh, <laughs> hey, speaking of my son, Logan. Just donated fifty dollars on the streamlab side. I don't know where he's getting the money. Hey, Dad! I switched my from F and T. Right? Uh, <laughs> hey, Dad! I switched my addiction from drinking to gambling. Oh, good, son. Nice. Uh, and I'm damn near a <laughs> millionaire. <laughs> it's easy. I just bet on the women with balls. Uh, it's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty much. It's pretty much a guaranteed win. Gotta go. A, a woman with an Adam's apple asked me out. Hail F and T. Oh, yeah. Check the oh. Very progressive. Very progressive. From one on a first name basis with the former first lady. Good to hear. Oh. Oh, Big, wait, Mike. Wait, wait, wait. Big Mike. Big Mike. Big <laughs> Mike. How you doing, Ryan? You all right? I'm doing okay. I'm I'm doing okay. I'm a little freaking. I think I might be getting sick again. But other no. than that, oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm gonna wrap that shit up. Before I know. Vegas. Have you got AIDS? <laughs> two, two um, vitamins. Oh, there's like a, I don't know, a 10% chance. I'm sure I'm fine. Oh boy. Where did Razor, Razor go? Razor Fist. He Razor left. Razor He's, he didn't want to get sick. He didn't want to get sick. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I, are I you ready for how retarded that you would have thought that would be like technical difficulties or something? No, I'm a retard. I accidentally hit the refresh button. That's all. Oh. <laughs> That's all. Yes. You're, in you You're in the right place. You're in good company. You're in the right place. You are in very good company. Yes. Yes. Imagine every time we did that, we changed the subject. Like, yeah. <laughs> this rubber cement is delicious. Uh, Restart the subject. Brian, I hope you feel yeah. better. I, 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 I'm, I'll be fine. I saw... Uh, <laughs> Speaking of AIDS, I saw 
God, I saw a good meme the other day. It was just like a picture of Forrest Gump. It's like, has sex one time, has a kid, and probably AIDS or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. <clears throat> oh, damn. Ronan the Wretched. Oh, let's see if he's going to bring it up, Chrissy. It's four parts for $160. Wow. Hey, better see you in Vegas, dude. I have two prefer. Uh, I have two preferences before Vegas. Two. What? What preferences do you do you mean? Uh, yeah, what is it? Gary? Dude. When you say you won't bring it up, you're bringing it up. No, I'm not. I, I'm actually nobody not. knows what we're talking. about. I got my first junk waxed in 1990. Okay, so he brought <laughs> wow. it up. Oh, no, you brought okay. it up. Oh boy, Roland, you brought it up. Uh, you did, and uh, I was I was sack. sitting right behind him when Chrissy was roasting him at her show. When she oh, was no. uh, asking people about getting waxed. I don't even know how we got there, but he's like, yeah, I totally waxed my balls. I was amazed with how quickly someone volunteered. Right? <laughs> well, we were, t we were wow. talking about Michelle Obama, so I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you brought it up again. Uh, if laser was available, I would have done it. I don't. I would not put a laser near my balls. You kidding me? What? Uh, no way. James Bond did. Hair removal. Yeah. Yeah. Finger. yeah what if, what if they had, yeah. What if they had it just up a little too high? Fucking cut a little slip. Dude, and one freak, just freak fell out. accidents ah. happen, man. Yeah, they do. Man. Uh, oh, I would have done it if you stuff. think I wouldn't yeah. uh, have thought of that. Uh, you are most retarded. That you're more. I am most wow. retarded. Wow. <laughs> you are most retarded. <laughs> You're reading that so beautifully. <laughs> you are I love <laughs> reading it at the same time Gary does. <laughs> I am the most retarded. Uh, you are more retarded than me. Uh, <laughs> I find you impertinent, sir, and most retarded. And most, and most retarded. retarded. <laughs> now to Odin. I forgot to tell him his disembodied voice spoke to me on Easter and said your penance is 96 Our Fathers, 96 Hail Marys, and 96 slices of pineapple pizza. One <laughs> medium pizza for each apostle. Apostle? I almost said apostate. Apostle. <laughs> apostle. Apostle. Uh, apostle. Such a righteous man. Oh, Don't no. try. Oh, shit. What was that? I didn't see it. Oh, oh it's great. It oh, no. Odin was in the stock. Nobody expect the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Don't it's, it's my oh. version of the Spanish. <laughs> no. uh -huh. Eat the uh -huh. oh. It's actually the Hawaiian One billion Inquisition. Dollars. Get Hawaiian the <laughs> <laughs> Get instead of to the testing how dark your skin color is for the Lilo and Stitch remake, they're making it oh. oh. By I the way, love Jeremy's, I love Jeremy's face in this. It's fantastic. How do you yeah. feel? How do you feel? Yeah, Please be like honest for the... What be was honest, it? yeah. It's yeah. like he's about to violate Odin while he's eating uh, that pizza. Yeah. It looks yeah. like he's, he's putting his, his foot somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Odin ain't pleased. Uh, just just no. tell me. Just tell me no. No. Because no. Just tell me when to stop. Don't uh, try to cheat now. because he will. Uh, one medium pizza for each apostle. Don't try to cheat because he will know. I was asked Ooh. about Quarter Black and Shad. He ups. He's upset about your uh, blaspheming and behind. And reminds me, uh, your vengeance is. And reminds you, vengeance is his, and he will repay. I asked about Jeremy, and he said, he's capitalizing he, I don't know why, uh, nature God. has already yeah. done more to Jeremy than he could ever do, so he gets a pass. <laughs> he's talking about God, that's why he capitalized he. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting, it. I'm getting it now. I'm getting it now. Oh, he singled me out of Dude, that, uh, okay, Ryan. Don't blame me for that because I'm going off of my video titles where I always just capitalize a certain word, a keyword. And I'm like, why is that? Fair enough. Uh, okay. Um, mm. Jeremy, than he could ever do, and gets a plus. Uh, Jeremy is gay. Jeremy is gay. We just had to get Jeremy is gay in there. Wow. It, no, it's like, it's it's best to talk shit when people aren't here. That's that's what I find. Yeah. It's like it's like <laughs> Gary's reading the Bible. He's like, why the hell are these words in red? <laughs> Somebody messed up the ink. Oh, no. That's good. Uh, read, what read these, the these and thous? What in the world? Yeah, I don't get it. I asked about Ryan. Uh, there was a pause. Then he said on the Antichrist, <laughs> I didn't understand what he said next, but it didn't sound good. Hail to FNT, the fellowship <laughs> chat, baby Thor, 
And Vegemite, come on, Shad. Even he said no one would eat that shit. <laughs> I'm starting to believe that that wasn't a real vision. Facts. <laughs> I well, see now I know it is after a statement I'm like that. Questioning, I'm questioning it. I'm not familiar with the lore. I'm sorry. I, I <laughs> that's just you know the capital. For a second, I thought you were going to say I'm not familiar with the lore. <laughs> I'm not. Um, <laughs> uh, Rapture Raccoon for fifty dollars says, "Hey, speaking of, wanted to offer sincere congrats to seventy-five percent Ivory Garrett." Ivory Garrett, 75% Ivory Garrett. On that news of his new show with Landau, also Mr. Fist, the Western movie uh, video was fantastic. Uh, Been a huge fan of the genre since my grampy showed me The Searchers as a boy. Mad respect. There you go. I would have put Searchers on that list, except it didn't inspire. So the list was like stuff that it inspired our comic. I love The Searchers. Searchers is one of the greatest Westerns ever. If you just want desert porn... (laughs) <laughs> the searchers just okay. unbelievable seriously I'm speaking of unbelievable fun. your comic is now on fifty six thousand dollars wow. wow i'm gonna get my dose of desert porn uh starting sunday morning as i drive uh nine hours through texas to finally make it to new mexico <laughs> the next uh, state over yeah the next state wow. over wow I already hear rumblings that Indiegogo is saying that this is making them good money. They need to shadow ban you quick. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's shut it down. Uh, Any way we could push it off into a corner? Nobody can find well, it. The funny thing is, if they somehow decide to nerf this for some reason, I'm sure the numbers alone will create a bidding war, I'm sure, with some publishers or something. We'll make this work somehow. The book will get made. Yes. And, and we've got a we've got publishers we know, both of us, yeah. I'm pretty sure. And, you know, we, we're, we're covered on all those fronts. I was, when I published The Long Moonlight, my first book, there was a failed uh, attempt to cancel me by my mm. uh, original publisher. Oh. And uh, <clears throat> that still happens. So, uh, suck a my dick. Yep. <laughs> Look, I mean, this is a <laughs> classic... <laughs> Like the the name of the creator is what sells books and the talent. It's not the, I mean, not to say anything bad about publishers. They do have a huge hand in making the books happen. But if the book is good, if there's a desire for it from the audience, it's going to happen. It will get made. It will get read. And there's, I call them middlemen when I'm mad at them. But like any middleman who wants a piece of the action can help. But do not get in our way when we're making a book. This is going to happen. Yeah, yeah I mean, nobody's like just, waking up. Just one, your point. Nobody's uh, waking up one morning and going, "I need a Del Rey book. I need pocket books." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I need, this, uh, is, this is what puffing. the this is what the Iron Age really is. Whether it's Eric July's book or or what uh, Ethan Matt has been doing since even before either of us. Um, is it's not really about just a bunch of indie creators making stuff. It's about a bunch of indie creators creating an entire alternate economy right an entire alternate delivery system and yeah. you know sympathetic publishers and people who are actually covering this stuff and uh, passionate about these projects that's the whole point of the iron age to me like the most important thing that people are doing related to this is the people who are talking about it and being passionate about it i should mention by the way um iron age anvil the iron age magazine was funded they're oh, nice. uh, they're actually putting out an issue it's going to have pulp stuff and it's going to have a 10, 11 page preview. If you want to see this story, the first bit of it and a bit of an advertisement for this comic in physical print, uh, go check out Anvil, the Iron Age magazine. The first issue is going to have uh, a teaser for the Ghost of the Badlands. So if you want to, like a physical copy of something, uh, this is a good way to do that. Is that produced uh, but, by IronAgeMedia.com, the same people or a different? IronAge.media. Yeah, it's the same guy. Yeah. yeah legends they're great great group of people and oh yeah um to george's point before about that you have access to just go straight to the customer now i mean even brandon sanderson one of the most established traditional authors his secret projects he just did straight crowdfunding and it was insanely successful and so yeah when people want you know um the work and they like the creator Nothing That's all you stop. need is an audience and a creator and everybody else. Mm. If you're not going to help get out of the way. And I hate to say things like this, but like creators do get a bigger cut when there are fewer people involved. There's more mm. work. Mm. 
you know, mm. I have to find, you know, printing and distribution. I mean, we'll be mailing the books out and all that stuff. We'll figure out the logistics, but that just means we get to control how the book is sent to the creators. If I could just drive to people's houses and drop it off, I'd do that too. Or they could come here and get them. I mean, it's all the same to me. The books can, are, it, printing is so easy nowadays. Like I'll do tutorials, I think on my channel. I haven't used it in a while, but I would actually like to use this opportunity to show people how the books are made, how to prep files, how to print, how to even distribute. It's super easy. And all you need is your audience and their enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. Super right. easy, barely an inconvenient. <laughs> it takes time and it takes some expertise, but once you know how to prep the files, you just yeah, make a PDF yeah, and send it. it. Like, holy crap, there is a learning curve. Once you know the curve, you can do it. But when I was publishing my novel, I uh, I produced the uh, audio book uh, all myself, basically, through the AC ACX platform. But I went directly to the narrators, Michael Kramer and Kate Redding, and went directly with them. But to learn how to um, do the right audio engineering stuff on those files to get it accepted. That was a learning curve, man, as well as the right formatting and everything for the covers and stuff, stuff that you're not prepared for. You can do it yourself, but there are really tricky things to get a handle on. Like, That's um, a skill you'll keep with you for the rest of your life though. I mean, it will. No, I mean that next, yeah. next round will be a hell of a lot easier because now I know Publishers. What, what I'm in for. Yeah, publishers would outsource that to experts anyhow. But now, mm. as the creators, we know how to write a story. We, we know mm. how to put together a book, and we know how to print and how to ship. So I don't know what other jobs are necessary for other people to help us out with. Um, but it's like, for all these years, I, I've got a chip on my shoulder. I've been rejected <clears throat> by publishers my whole career. And it's like, well, I guess I don't need you guys after all. So mm. thanks. But oh, and yeah, there's, I have such a massive, like, you know, skepticism for uh, the gatekeeping that does happen in mainstream publishing because they, uh, they don't judge things based on what's actually good and bad. They judge things based on what they like and what they think will and sell. And they usually like. time, what they think will sell is not accurate anyway. They, Harry Potter got turned down heaps, like by heaps wow. and heaps of publishers. Yeah and literary yeah. agents and that sold like an insane amount they they don't actually know what you know will sell and what not they just a lot of half the time they they don't Lost. Well, they go through agents and stuff. It's and your agent's job is to maintain networks with the publishers. So you go through your agent, and they're supposed to uh, sort out whose stories are good and whose are bad. <laughs> but what ends up happening is it's you know, did I kiss this person's butt enough? And do they know the right people? It's not does the best work, does the cream rise to the top? Not always. Mm -hmm. Well, not we always. have the we have the trailer for. Goes to the Badlands if you guys want to watch it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you guys oh, want to watch yeah. it, yes. pop it up. I just put that up on my channel. I haven't seen this. Brand new. Pages, dude. I forgot there's a whole other color edition to do too. All right. Nice. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. Sweet. I felt something tingle. <laughs> I felt the dew point rise. I was, yeah. Oh, you must have you must have got a tip on that website you're part of, Chrissy. <laughs> oh, that's good. That looks great. Let's refresh here. Let's refresh. Well, part of the um, stretch goals. 58. The only okay at a hundred k, we were saying I'm gonna upgrade the hardcover edition Whoa. to color. Uh, or, at least, or at least have an alternate color. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. 
yeah, you guys we, are gonna, gonna have to that smash out. past 100 yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Easy, easy. All right. but you, you did get a slight process, glimpse by the way uh you did get a slight glimpse in that trailer of a color panel that we yeah. tested out so um he's already done some tests on the color and it's looking pretty yeah. cool we're gonna go with a different color palette so it'll look different from how long other did colors. it take to write this and and then illustrate it i knocked okay i came up with a synopsis a long time ago i it was one of those ideas that like jolted me out of bed and i sketched up the main character and some of the supporting cast um you're gonna get some of my art by the way in the deluxe edition so like there's i actually did like sketch up some of the character ideas and whatnot but um then when we kind of got together both got bit by the western bug i knocked out the script in like two evenings or something i did like half one night half the next it just flowed like it was so easy to write it was crazy that sounds um, like a batwoman writer <laughs> <laughs> well we did revise that's probably the difference uh, later on, later on they, I they did it up they did. <laughs> but it was one of those stories that like kind of wrote itself my fingers couldn't keep up with my brain so it was one of those Ooh, and, nice uh, yeah, and it handed it off really well him. yeah and he he killed it like as soon as he got a hold of it it was it seemed like it was the same way for the art it was like one or two pages a day he'd knock out well, what ended up happening was you gave me your script and it had in the script, it says, you know, page one, this is what happens. This is the dialogue. And I was pacing them out and my background's in manga, actually. So yeah. the way that I was interpreting his script, <clears throat> it actually doubled his page count. Yeah. Uh, your script was initially going to be like 51 pages. And the way that I was interpreting the text, I'm like, listen, these pages need to breathe. There's so much... Yeah excellent action going on i need to i ended up doubling the page count uh in terms yeah. of the art so it's over 100 pages this it's just like a graphic novel i guess wow yeah, and when um, we but, sat down to talk about the project like i was i started out being a comic artist years ago got some stuff published and whatever so at the very beginning i made it clear i was like the comic is an artistic me comics are an artistic medium so don't take this as like a rigid guideline like roll with it mm -hmm. like just expand it however you want because yeah. the yeah. artist is the storyteller at the end of the day um oh, wow. in a comic. Uh, i don't a lot of modern comics like they're kind of alan moorish in that they panel by panel yep. balloon by balloon this is what everything yeah. has to look like and sound like i don't oh. think that's how comics should be written at all um yeah, there's, there's so many Marvel different way. styles to writing but like as an artist character. yeah it's cool <laughs> That guy, yeah. Uh, Such a good character design. He gets but also, pretty fast. can I, like, the, these panels show the speed and motion of what's happening brilliantly. Mm -hmm. The way you blurt out that gun, implying that it's a ride by shooting that's happening mm -hmm. really fast, is conveyed visually so damn well. Mm -hmm. That's gorgeous. It's, that's a lot of the fun from, from yeah. the uh, manga school of thought, I suppose. Uh, I see this stuff in Japanese comics all the time. Yeah. Um, so it's super fun to use their techniques. <laughs> with a sort of american and even french uh compositional style too like the yeah, like it's the way like the motion in this guy's death he's just so like contorted it's a lot of american comics wouldn't take the time like it, that's part of the power of black and white also is you can afford the page count the higher page count and wow. really milk like if a guy falls off his horse you could take two pages three pages to just show him breaking his neck and like the <laughs> aftermath and but you can really you can feel the motion and uh so that was a huge uh advantage to doing black and white at least at first but um even in your scripts uh, razor like you gave me so many opportunities and i was like this story really deserves to have a higher page count and on top of that i bet it will read so fast like you'll want this the next guy right movie. here this guy right here on this page is kind of the proxy hero in the story. It's um, it's written in the style of kind of like a shadow book where the ghost is kept in the background as this remote kind of figure who sort of steps in at key intervals. And the, the story follows sort of a proxy hero as he's sort of discovering who the ghost is. You're kind of learning about the ghost through his eyes. Very so pulp. we kind of preserve the magic of the character on like kind of a batman thing where you spell out their origin we make you mm. guess as <clears throat> or kind of hint and stuff so i love that sort of and then george did you see how long it took uh lengthwise i try to do a page a day 
um, it's going to depend on what is on the page. Like if there's a lot of action, a lot of characters, that might take two days for one page. But um, we have, I think we have 15 pages done already. And the rest, I want to take some time to go out there and get some reference. But I'm going to start after this weekend anyway on the pages I can work on. And it looks like we're going to be finished by late spring, early summer with the art. And then I want to, you know, I want to do the printing job right. Um, so it looks like autumn and winter is when we're going to ship. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. Not long. I, it's more important to do the job well, at least this first time. Uh, and then I can work faster. We can work faster if, if you know, I'm the artist on the next book. I'm not going to assume anything. Because also, I was going to tell Razor, um, I think his art is really good. And I think he should do more art, you know, not to fire myself from this job. <laughs> I, I, no, I honestly Fired. think if you, you should do uh, a, more art, man. Like, it's, it's good stuff. Like, I, I love drawing it. comics. It's, it's the time. And I, lo and I yeah. also love collaborating. When you, I don't know if you feel this way, but like when you come from an artistic background, because I got into comics, but I was an artist, like I wasn't a writer. Um, I'm learning how to write as I go on. So, but when you can draw, it's almost cooler to you to see other people interpret your ideas. You know what I mean? Because you fun. already yeah. know, you already know that you can draw what you're thinking of, but you're more yeah. curious how somebody else would interpret. You know what I mean? Like I love collaborating that, yeah. with people. Wow. Well. There you go. I don't know. We'll have to think of a short story for you to do just for fun, maybe if you have time. There you go. Like yeah, a maybe story. included in the yeah. deluxe edition yeah. or something. Yeah, like yeah. That. backup we story. Should. Do a Twinkie ad. A side story. <laughs> Twinkie ad. <laughs> we'll definitely yeah, we'll... have my character sketches and stuff like that because I did a lot of sketch work and stuff for this. Um, for, on the concept. A bird. Book. Yeah. <laughs> and there's tons of space too to do another one. There's this is like a easily at the beginning of a story there's way more that you can do yeah uh we have some uh super chats for razor uh just oh, backed yeah. to support the western necromancer razor psyched for the return of the western can't wait for the netflix adaptation with phoebe waller bridge as the titular Yay. ghost says yeah, Vinny amorpheus geez. for 1999 thank you wg for ten dollars says any chance razor fist will finish his Folk mythos passion project on Gordon Lightfoot. Uh, long awaiting yeah, your um, breakdown of the music, music mythos, uh, Dan Fogelberg. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Waiting for your breakdown of the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald epic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, WG's awesome. See you in Vegas, dude. Uh, not the one for $9.99. This is British money. This is proper money. Oh, for, money. for now. For now. Yes. Thanks to our glorious leadership. Uh, hail, everyone. <laughs> First super. We'll be gentle. Uh, you don't have to be gentle. Okay. We'll go in raw. It's oh. all right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Give you the meat. Give it to you. Give me the meat. Give it to me. Give it to me raw. Congrats to give me Garrett. Give pineapple and give it to Rodin. <laughs> to Rodin? To Rodin? To Rodin. To Rodin. <laughs> to Rodin. The pineapple. To Rodin. I stand by what I say. <laughs> I, I just need to start doing that. Uh, congrats to Garrett and Razor on their new ventures. Uh, B5 you. is the best sci-fi show ever. Fight me. Uh, I, I, I haven't watched it yet. I like Babylon I still 5. Need to watch it. I like Babylon 5. I like DS9. There you go. Uh, yeah, I uh, don't... I don't subscribe to the uh, the whole Babylon 5 was plagiarized by DS9. There's a few reasons why. I need to make a video about it, actually. Yes, you I was, do. I was thinking about doing a, a Depths of DS9 dedicated episode on all the problems with that story. Because I don't know if you've caught on, if you check out J. Michael Hekinski's uh, Twitter feed, but he uh, has credibility problems anyways with telling the truth sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I have a feeling this uh, is kind of an exaggeration. A wee bit. We can, um, how can he, we... Oh, the on. biggest problem is that the show was pitched by a guy. He, so he claims that he pitched Babylon 5 in the late 80s to Paramount, which mm -hmm. he act, he's changed his story a number of times. Mm -hmm. But apparently that's the, that's the version that he's running with now. Um, and the problem, of course, is that DS9 was pitched by a guy who didn't work for Paramount at the time. So he, he didn't come to the company till the early 90s. He couldn't have known about the pitch. He wasn't there um so it was literally day one he pitched this show 
that's the least of the problems. You literally need to believe time travel exists uh, to think that Babylon 5 could have been ripped off by DS9, but there's a lot of problems uh, with the story. I need to make a video about it, honestly. Yeah. I, I love both shows, by the way. I do, I too. If you want to make an argument about ripping off George R. R. Martin uh, and and Babylon 5 with the whole Shadow War, they, they, there's a lot of similarities between them and the others. There's a lot of... Somebody told me that once. I'm like, because I I didn't watch Babylon Five till later, Razor. I just didn't. And uh, yeah. somebody told Have me. Have you that, watched oh, Crusade? Have you watched Crusade? Yes, yet? yes. I watched Great it all. Show. Yeah. I, no, I I got them all. I got my DVDs because we'll never get them on Blu-ray and all that shit. But uh, your right. DVDs, yeah. and your action figures, my DVDs and my DVDs action fig and oh, figurines. Oh, Red Bar. Good old bold. Hey, hey, the bold. The bold. <laughs> hey uh, Chrissy, is Red Bar still wearing a diaper? I think so. I mm. <laughs> just checking. I haven't heard much. I mean, I'm sorry that's happened to him, but yeah. Isn't the biggest problem with DS9's transfer the fact that they shot? Didn't they shoot on tape? They shot yeah, it on, on tape. tape on, and yeah, the not, and the big problem is the effects. Some of them are digital, and they were done mm. digitally in four three aspect yeah. ratio. Yeah. yeah, that's a problem. So, and they are not going to upscale well. Who knows what resolution they were rendered at? They would mm. all, they would have to redo all the effects. And DS9's the show with the big war in it. Like, that right. would be a lot of effects. Well, this, to do. Uh, Shad's going to love this. This is where AI comes in later on to make things a lot cheaper on the upscaling when that finally <laughs> kicks in. Someday. Or fan projects. I mean, there's been yeah. so many amazing fan projects that have been able to do quality levels, sometimes even better than what the, the D specialized. Like yes, specialized exactly. Edition Star Wars, Star specialized Wars. editions. Project 4K, uh, Star Wars. So yeah, good. I have both of those. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Jay, uh, Michael Straczynski loves to give uh, all credit for one more day to Joe Casada, even though he wrote the damn story. So there's that. If you're not familiar with one more day, audience, uh, it's when Spider-Man died. Oh, good Lord. Dude, half my subs just quit that day. I was so fucking pissed. <laughs> they walk in, they'll cancel Sp all my Spider-Man titles. No and it wasn't just amazing. It was all my Spider-Man. I'm like, oh my, you mother. Oh, dude, I remember I worked in a comic store when it first, I, I believe I stopped working at the comic store right as it got going, right? It was a little bit later, but at the, at the very beginning, there was so much hype. And then it was like issue after issue. It's just more and more people drop, more and more box holders drop the title. Yep. It was crazy. It's and, and, what's the, and that was cra really, really badly timed because wasn't that, if I remember correctly, wasn't that on the heels of another really bad Spider-Man event? The other? The fucking, the, the weird one with Mary Jane and the, what, what, what the fuck was the premise of that? Some kind of like genetic mutation in Spider-Man or something, the Peter David comic. Anyways, yes. it was like two or three indescribably shit Spider-Man stories in rapid succession. Well, like Marvel were on a oh, roll. Marvel are doing better than that now, though. They they are. Right. Right? Like This is what... Like, uh, I they can... are literally hitting miss after miss after miss with Spider-Man right now. So they... they Yeah, they, they were making Spider... They put Spider-Man in the Avengers, which was bad. Spider-Man was never part of a team. Uh, I was okay oh, with God, Straczynski. With the spider arms on this, the Iron yeah, Spider yeah. too. Yeah, well, yeah. Remember when time. he was like, I didn't mind like his uh, his mutation because they uh, they undid it, but he was like got weird new spider powers. Uh, but like Straczynski wrote a great story right before One More Day, and it was back in black. And when Aunt May got shot by Kingpin, and Spider Man just breaks into a prison and beats the shit out of Kingpin and tells him he can kill him anytime he wants to. I love that story. I freaking it's great. And then it's followed by like the worst fucking story imaginable. And uh, and then it just got worse because then we got a, like a fucking years of Dan Slot and then uh, and then, you know, Superior Spider-Man, all that shit. I fucking hated oh, it all. Yeah, God, it was yeah. it was so bad. I remember like at our store some weeks, Ultimate Spider-Man was out selling normal. Spider -Man. Yes. Yeah. Like the alternate universe title. Fucking Bendis. <laughs> You know, uh, you know, and I like Bendis in the beginning, but then it just devolved into people sitting at tables and talking for f an entire issue. So he sure does love stayed dialogue, doesn't yes, he? He does. Loves it. Uh, Michael, 8,000 for 50 Australian dollars. Shad money. Shad money. There you go. I'm represented. Issue. Do you feel seen, Shad? I do. I do. 
Uh, hey, LFNT. So who else is really excited about the Disney Star Wars burn their money with the Ray movie? Because apparently its script has been getting rejected for years and is Kathy's personal project to keep herself directly employed. Well, she's the boss. She is employed. Kathleen Kennedy. Uh, Bob Iger is not going to fire Kathleen Kennedy. They are peas in a pod. They are buds. Um, if they, but, if they, but my sources, they've seen the contract, Gary. But I think Victoria Alonso getting fired, like, just completely exposed all that shit because, like, that's another one who's right in line with the fucking company, uh, and they fired her, and and I am convinced for her shoddy work, uh, overseeing all the effects, and a head had to roll for Marvel for Kevin Feige. Yeah, but do you, like th- if. One, obviously, I'm sure that they weren't big fans of her calling out Disney over the hat, over the don't say gay bullshit, right? But yeah. also, it was it is was mainstream controversy about how bad the visual effects are, how Marvel has shitty effects. Everyone hates working for Marvel. They're overworking all these studios. They're not giving them enough time. They're not giving them enough lead time to actually do this shit. So that was regardless of whether you're like us and pretty much hate everything Marvel comes out with, or whether you're one of these like corporate shills who are just going to push out anything, even they were critical of the VFX. Mm -hmm. And this has been her job for the past like three years. Yeah. So, I I mean, I think the Argentina movie was just an excuse that she was very shitty at her work. And she's saying her story now is they, she wouldn't blur out a pride flag in the background for Ant-Man for fucking Kuwait Mm -hmm. or Saudi Arabia but she had no she problem. She refused to do her job, you mean. She refused to do her job. <laughs> but other things were edited for other countries, including, uh, you know, a, a kiss here and there under her watch. So this is a very inconsistent story. Let's just say that. What, what, what okay. I believe, we actually talked about this before. My guess is that the other stuff, like editing uh, a kiss out, editing a reference out, I think those were done in, like, actual editing. Yeah, I think this was a visual effects thing, which is what she's in mm. charge of. So I believe that they came into her and asked, hey, we need to, we can't cut this scene out because it's just of Scott walking and there's like some dialogue that we need. So we need to actually blur out the window behind him as he's walking. We need an actual visual effects shot of this done. We can't just edit it. And so that came to her and she's like, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm a gay right. fat Latina. I would never do something like that. <laughs> so I, I think that's, I think I that's why blur. this happened. I mean, they should have blurred out the whole movie, but that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> right? Blur out the yes. white people. There's a tr- the right just watch the whole. It, 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 just watch the whole thing in mosaic. It's like Japanese right? porn. Yeah. It makes it better. <laughs> uh, what do you? Got? I like Japanese porn. But what, <laughs> we're, we're not surprised by that statement at all. As. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. No it's shocked. great. I keep telling you, right? Because you got all this. Like, well, it's got a better stuff. story than Ant Man. I'll, I'll agree but with the, that. The Western stuff is just like, you know, just guy comes in, he's just buffed and fucking oiled up. And then woman's just got these horrible fake tartars and they just go, ah, Japanese ones. Fucking great. Woman goes out shopping. She's out there shopping. You know, builds up, builds up the story. Then she goes home and her husband, he's not paying her attention, is he? Too busy mm-hmm. working. He's just too busy working. But thankfully, they got a lodger. And that lodger, where well, he's looking at the wife. And she's looking <laughs> at him. better than the MCU. Yeah, I know. This is better I'm, than like, I'm, Man. Feeling, I'm feeling this. And then the husband's just like, oh, wife, I'm off to bed. And then, you know, he goes off to bed. And then, and then the, the lodger helps her in the kitchen. And before you know it, hands are everywhere. But no. I can't, I can't, not here. No, husband's got. Oh man, great, fucking love it. Deep characterization. Deep characterization. That was a lot of was, detail. Was, was, yeah, that's, that was very yeah. specific. Yeah. I mean, you're experienced. So, so, as it ends. So as we start, a lot of Japanese porn, dude. As you can I, do I, uh, I, porn I reactions on Pornhub. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so I, she, she I got. I really actually was gonna do that on my channel once. I was gonna do a, a porn reaction. I was gonna do porn <laughs> oh, review. No. Mm-hmm. Well, there's always time to start. It's never too late as to achieve your dreams, man. I was going to um, start with your uh, audition video with QBG. <laughs> you should. Confidential. Damn. It's not confidential I if I got it. I think you paid for it. that. Uh, I think you paid for that. It's all in the contract we have, Gary. Oh, shit. I need to stop signing contract. The very lengthy contract we have. 
Wow. Uh, it's, okay, it's, that, it's, that was weird. Yeah. It's spicy. Uh, Victoria mm. Alonso and Disney reach settlement over former Marvel executives firing. So what's the lesson we learn here? So she gets fired for not doing her job, and they still have to pay her a bunch of money because she's a big, <laughs> fat, gay Latina. So, um yeah. The Ryan. Ones don't hire activists. Yeah. So st- yeah. Stop yeah. hiring people who are going to prioritize identity politics over entertainment, who are going to prioritize woke agenda over their actual jobs. Because eventually, they're going to do a real shitty job because they're that's not what their priority is. It's not doing a good job. And then you're going to be forced to fire them. And when they do, they're going to weaponize the very same identity that was your reason for promoting them because yep. they're gay, because they're a Latina, because they're a fat fuck. And they're going to weaponize yeah. that identity against, against you in order to try to take you down. <laughs> it's exactly. It makes them unfireable. It's like, I'm sorry, you can't you, you can't pink slip this person because they're a trinary rhombus sexual or whatever the. <laughs> fuck you know. I like and, and this is like it's it's a near miracle that this woman was even fired. Because look at Kathleen Kennedy and the utter incompetence. I, a lot of people predicted she would get fired a long time ago, and I was pretty steadfast from the very beginning. No, she's not going anywhere. She has a uterus. It's not happening. <laughs> no, the word on the street is she's collected years and years of blackmail on people. Yes. <laughs> but, wow. yes. Everyone's got to come up with some excuses to why she's not being fired other than this, this is just Disney. It's um, just optics, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's the political capital, you know. Uh, that that so guy, like, you know, that's what uh, in the Hollywood Reporter article about Am- that took down Amazon is a great article, but uh, they said, yeah, we had to we had to give Lisa Joy and uh, uh, Jonah Nolan a second season of the Peripheral show uh, because we were worried about making them mad. Like it should have been canceled, but we gave them a second season because we didn't want to wow. make them mad. Because political capital, because Nolan, because of the attention to Nolan. I doubt I doubt anybody gives a shit if Lisa Joy is mad, but if you make Chris Nolan's brother mad, that might be a problem. Uh, Michael, 8,000 for 50. Oh, did I read this one? Did I finish reading this one? Maybe I didn't. Finish. I'll just read it over again. Odin, quick, 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 quick. Quick, Odin. No, I, 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 I forgotten. Wait, where am I again? Who? I'm, you're the president, sir. I might have had a stroke since I started reading it. So, <laughs> uh, Hail FNT. So, who else is really excited to see Disney? <laughs> Sorry, Fern. Their money with the Rain movie. Its script has been getting rejected for years, and Kathy's personal project to keep herself directly employed. I did read that. Next Ray Girl didn't blank it out. Uh-huh. You're fired. <laughs> now you're rehired again. Uh, <laughs> Marcus Henry for $50. Yeah. Because Chrissy's looking good. Simp. 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 <laughs> Sorry, fellas. Yeah. Simping over. I feel dirty now. You should. You should. You should. should. We got a girl gets shame, like what? Shame on you. Girl washes her hair and everybody starts simping for her. <laughs> I should do this all <laughs> it, it only happens once a week. Yeah. <laughs> I should have personal hygiene all the time. I should shower more often. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, how do I? Nap? David never has two cups of coffee at home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next, uh, how do you say this? Natch, Sealens. Snatch. Sorry, Natch. N A. Snatch. Snatch. I'll just say snatch. Snatch. That's a good movie. Uh, uh, on the Streamlab side for fifty dollars, two parts. Hey guys. My name is Max Sealens. Oh, it tells me. Pronounced knocked sealants. How do you get knocked out of that? <laughs> out of N A C H T. Is it German? Why are you fucking with me, people? Uh, bro. <laughs> uh, Guys, this guy can barely read fucking English. All right? <laughs> Comics, Give him a break. Comics, your, your microphone is insanely loud. No matter I don't what know what the deal is. I don't know what the deal is. I have no idea. What's up, comics? Is that better? That's better. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what the deal is. That's weird. Uh, it's weird. You, what is the weird. deal with microphone? Right. Uh, year long. Boom, 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 boom. Year long watcher and first time donator. Here we go. Hello, hello. Uh, First time Rough. in a while since I've been able to catch this live due to always having to work on Fridays. Quit that job. Uh, luckily, I have this Friday off. Good. And thank you. 
Enjoy your day off. I wanted to thank you for providing incredible content. TV isn't the same anymore, so I'm glad I'm, uh, I have something to look forward to watching weekly. Also, could you please shout out my channel? If not, that's cool. Have a good night. <laughs> no. And hail. Uh, no. no. No, it's, it's <laughs> Knocked Silence. Knocked Silence. Silence. Yeah. You know, like Knocked Silence. People, no say, silence. people say to me, as, can I have some advice for YouTube? And I normally say you can't give advice because if you don't, if you ain't got an idea, you ain't got a vision, you don't want to be doing YouTube. I do have a little bit of advice. <laughs> Make your channel name easy for people to know and go to. Yeah. Right. Pronounce something snappy. Because yeah. mm. if it's if it's like a weird pronunciation. That's a hurdle yep. that audience has to get over to get to your channel. Yeah. You don't want, you I mean, to be as fair, little hurdles as possible. it took like four years for Jeremy to almost say nerd erotic right. So he puts a, he puts a, he puts a, he puts a G in it. He calls it nerd erotic. Nerd erotic or a J. There's like a G and J. Nerd erotic. He's from Alabama, though. I yeah, I don't think that's because it was like the name. I think it's just he's retarded from Alabama. Like that's how they talk about <laughs> Oh. Yeah. He the wears pre-cut jeans. Say, Poor little thing. guy. Like, orange orange gotten. Orange, 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 orange Jeremy wears man pre's, <laughs> Velcro shoes, pre-torn jeans, and he's from Alabama. Feel sorry. Yeah. The, uh, the G and G crew on on the road trip are actually watching FNT right now. They are they good. Yeah. Good. Watch where you're driving, Jeremy. Have they hit a Bucky's Eyes yet? On the road. Well, Bucky's uh, as Bucky's is I guess expanding. In Florida. Do they? Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're all over the place. God dang, I love pretty that much place. state. Yeah. yeah, every yeah every good state there seems to be there seems to be a Bucky's. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, Add it to the Constitution. Blue balls spare. <laughs> blue balls spare for one hundred Australian Shad dollars. Hail hey, to the fellowship. Represented again. Yeah. Pesos. This is on a roll. I mean, Star Trek represents me, and then I got the Shad. It's a, it's a good week. It is a good week. It is a good Worf was great. Worf was so yeah. fucking great. In we shall make it a threesome. Three. Do you hear yourself? <laughs> you even, hear yourself. <laughs> even when he when he fell asleep on the bridge after that was done. hilarious. <laughs> I felt seen right there. I was like, ah, there we go. I was uh, literally me last night sat right? on the sofa just. Uh huh. <laughs> oh yeah. Please give this Love money that. to the king of cringe for his pain and suffering. Uh, for me. Milf Man yeah, for Milf Manor <laughs> and Gotham Knights watching trash so we don't have to. Actually, I, I will. Actually, I have to do that right after the show. Because today's YouTube payday. Oh my god! Yeah. YouTube. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna hey. buy myself a pretty dress. I'm gonna go to Vegas. Well, that's what uh that's the advice Ezra uh gave majors. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you well, saw that photo shoot as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mr. Vangaris, Vangaris for one hundred dollars. <laughs> Hell, Friday Night Tights super chatted last Friday Night Tights, but it wasn't red. I, I, it will be red. It'll be a very exciting super chat square up because I got my. What is it here? I got my special lavalier mic. So I can uh, do oh, some chat square ups while I'm on my 18 hour road trip. So we'll be going through the great Southwest of America. Beautiful. Great yeah. Southwest. Yeah. Uh, I freaking love it. Never gets old. Uh, desert porn, Razor Fist. Desert porn. Indeed. I'm going to get so You're much of it. You're going to see lots of desert porn in the comic. I'd love me some desert. Porn. Yes, I do too. I'm going to be. Have you ever been out to the painted desert? Yes, I have. Unbelievable. If, you, if anyone out there has not been there, if you just want pure, unadulterated, well, slightly adulterated desert porn, uh, I highly, highly recommend you go check it out. It's gorgeous. Yep. Oh. That said, though, I do plan. I don't know if you agree. I want to embellish a little bit the backgrounds. I don't want to just have flat horizon with some dunes in the back. I want to actually make it. Well, a little Arizona, more. Does, Arizona doesn't look that way. No, uh, no. I, hell, I just mentioned the painted desert. It's like the Grand Canyon, but with color. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, go check it out. No, it's absolutely. Arizona nuts. can look like Mars <clears throat> in a lot of places. Jagged mountains, yeah. uh, mesas. It does. Beats. It does yeah. look like the surface of Venus or something. Yeah, like it's what the fuck. It's great. 
Why are you going to do Neptune dirty? Right, <laughs> right. Because <laughs> it's a... Sorry, I was doing a Twitter. I was doing a Twitter. Should have said Uranus. I think Venus is a lovely planet. Why are you fucking outside, you twat? <laughs> fucking racist. <laughs> What's the, sur what's the surface temperature of Venus? It's like 800 degrees, uh, but it's temperate up in its atmosphere. So they think bacteria can live up there. It's like in its atmosphere, it's like 75, 75 bacteria degrees Fahrenheit. That's Fahrenheit. where their, yeah. their life is right there. Yeah. Weird. Uh, one Russian probe made it to the surface for like, I think, two minutes and got two pictures. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That was that was cool pictures. Though. They are cool pictures. Uh, but it can melt like the surface, like lead melts on the surface of Venus. Yeah. Hmm. And which is weird for a planet. Planet shouldn't be that hot. Do you know that Neptune is actually knocked on its side? Yes. Did you know that Pluto <laughs> is a planet? It is a planet. It is a planet. <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson, you piece of shit. Um, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know if Pluto is a planet, but if Neil deGrasse Tyson's ego gets much larger, we may have to it, classify it, right. it as one. <laughs> hey. That was a good one. Hey, I was trying to think. Very I, I never well. knew that about Neptune until only recently. Damn. Do you know your anus is a gas giant? <laughs> <laughs> you mean Uranus? Yes. yes Ur Uranus. Uh oh. <laughs> Speak Uranus. for your own anus. Oh, we're not got a Uranus bundle of sticks here, have we? Right. These non-Greek barbarians. <laughs> Film Actors Guild as Film Dinah, Actors Film Guild. Actors Guild. Uh, Hail Friday Night Tide <laughs> Super Channel as. Uh, hey, if you're a part of Film Actors at Film Actors Guild, you can you know shoot somebody and uh, not and walk away. So. And have a photo up afterwards. Alec, yeah. ba Alec Baldwin heading up the Film Actors Guild is even more <laughs> relevant in Team yeah, America yeah, than I it was raised, before. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I they clearly knew what he, what he was like. You know, they clearly <laughs> knew. Dude, and he is... hasn't changed by the looks of it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Ada Wong liked from Resident Evil? She seems more like a sexy plot convenience than anything else after playing the remakes of 2 and 3. OG 4 and 6 seems to only cause problems and annoys me. Hey, well, I'm the gaming expert here, so I, I will not be answering that question. I'll be passing it off to ass. <laughs> I, I assume is great. It's because she well, pops up in Resident Evil 2. Sorry, sorry. She pops no, no, up you in Resident go. Evil 2. She pops up in Resident Evil 2, which I think one of their inspirations, if I remember correctly, was like noir. Because mm -hmm. of the cops, the cops and the urban environment and whatever, and I think Ada Wong's intended to be like a femme fatale. Yes, I think it's exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yep. She's a femme fatale. Like, she's dangerous. You don't know what yeah. side she's on. She uh, right. she betrays Leon. Well, she you know she gains the trust of Leon, then she betrays Leon yeah. at the end. And you, but, but over the course helped. of a few hours, he's totally in love with her. And oh yeah, well I mean, have you seen her? <laughs> I mean, her name's Ada Wong. Have you it's seen Nemesis, like, though? Yes, like her, an escort's right. name. Yes, it yeah, does. Right? He's just all hands, that guy, though. He's just all hands everywhere. You know, if, if, she were a real, if, 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 if she were a real person, she'd be pulling down, like, a mill on OnlyFans. And oh, yeah. like, <laughs> all, from as alone. Oh. Yeah, that's just, that's just me. <laughs> yeah. And that's just him. Yeah. Free on a night tie. And it's gone. Yeah. Uh, Ashley sees her like this bitch. I'm losing to this. Ada Wong, happy endings. Oh, uh, Ashley was thirsty. <laughs> God bless her. She tried. Eric, <laughs> the pizza artist, who is an actual pizza artist. It's really cool. <laughs> he sent me a cool picture of the, the Syndec logo, which is my face. And uh, it, it was like, it's rad. It's totally rad. Somebody sends you that. But then you're like, I'm going to put a picture of my face inside my house. Can't wait till guests come over and see. Yeah, look, right. <laughs> look at this egomaniac. <laughs> yeah. I, fe I feel fucking weird enough putting the little silver play button up. You know what I mean? It's mm. just yep. weird. Yes. Uh, mine's dinged. I oh, dropped it. So it's got a huge dent on the bottom. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's good. That's good oh, well. You guys got to raid the garbage behind a massage parlor like me. There you hey. go. I, 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 <laughs> my one's hidden. I, I, it's actually technically in shot. But barely anyone ever sees the gold one. Info right. worst shot there is up. Ooh. Actually, behind the dragon. Up. Oh, you right got. There. Oh, look at that. Yeah. The, the gold one is there. It's behind the dragon. That's good. Yeah. Uh, didn't I think uh, Crowder shot theirs too? Didn't they? Yeah. Was, yeah, we shot ours. Blew it up with some tannerite and stuff. Atta boy. 
It's fine. Uh, so Eric, the pizza artist, says. Uh, I know and thank somebody you. that cried when they got theirs. I, I do too. Yeah, yeah. Somebody cried when they got the form letter. What? They did. It was me. Stop it. Really? I feel like they got no. the Hogwarts oh, letter. No. Yeah. Oh, look at this. I got it. This is from Susan to me directly. <laughs> you touch it. It's a generic fucking letter. It's generic. Everyone got the same fucking one. You fucking <clears throat> prick. I think the one I got for Sports Wars and for my channel are actually a little different. Mm. Like there's a couple different stock letters they have. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Too? The one uh, I said to Perry because he deserved it for Nerdrotic Daily was a little different than mine. Is there one for conservatives and one for liberals? <laughs> yeah, it's one called, it's called yeah, yeah, one Chrissy. It's called getting one and not getting one. Yes, <laughs> so. you will be demonetized. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a yellow play, play button. <laughs> <laughs> Are they even still doing it for a hundred k? Because Night yeah. Watch has passed hundred k for ages, and I don't have an option to. Yeah, to well, dude, you're in Australia. Man. It takes like three thousand years yeah. to ship it. it it'll okay. get there eventually. Got to get through customs and. Oh, you're I weird. Think I, need Maybe you missed the notification. I don't know, but now I'd have to try and contact someone and I can't be stuffed because I don't get to. You got to get through your authoritarian <laughs> nightmare of a society and uh, get to <laughs> yeah, you somehow. Right. Um, you got a license for... chance. Like, do they even give out the little ones anymore? <laughs> I, I, All I of know. us <laughs> fucking sitting here. That's like what we have. That's the only thing we fucking yeah. have is a silver yeah. one. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ray, okay, by all accounts, Razorfish should be at like way past a million subs right now. Yeah. Like way yeah. past. <laughs> oh, man, I've been shadow. Not. I was shadow banned before shadow banning was cool. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like the shadow ban hipster, man. Yeah, right. You know, uh, you were shadow banned before Romanian. people started using that as a word for I, I make content no one watches. <laughs> Dude, if I, if, I wake up in a, if I wake up in the morning and don't have like. 50 comments saying i was unsubscribed from you like it's seriously every single youtube's been doing that to me for years I, wow. I, and they're expanding it as well youtube has just yeah. been getting worse and worse like my shadowversity videos like you actually see the deranking happening i did a re video recently talking about how my live streams are treated completely differently on different channels it's just they can't well, make that, up that their... has a lot to do with algorithm though yeah. as well like because yeah. if if you have built if you have built a channel and never fucking live streamed on it essentially like and then all of a sudden you start live streaming the you don't have like you don't have it built up yeah, in the there's... algorithm with that audience to do that um opposed to if you're doing one that's more of a mix then your subscribers are going to be more of a mix that have actually subscribed to that yeah. channel for that. There are two more different audiences. And even in the right. algorithm itself for your channel, it's going to be more likely to promote it. Well, see that started. Because the thing isn't about the current audience. The thing that was happening on Shadowversity is that the live streams are not getting recommended to new viewers at all, basically. It's just like they, they die. And that's bizarre. I, I have not seen that happen on anything. I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, they, I, did, they do that to they did that to a lot of streams. I forget who it was years ago who <laughs> figured out that if you after you do your streams, if you private them or delete them, unless suddenly ev all of your videos perform better suddenly. Well, that's no what reason. we need to do. Yeah, that's what we need to do on Shadowversity. Now. I was on list. Yeah, uh, bizarre. I, I, I don't know how that works. It, or it, what the it, hell yeah, it's what Ryan that. said, and it gets to a certain it's a certain level of views. It just it is so. I mean, I, I enlist most of mine, and then I and I just keep them unlisted so the people who are watching them and they're a little behind so they can just keep watching them, and then I re-upload it. Uh, but Friday Night Tights like and Real BBC don't really affect anything at all, which I, I don't have an answer for it. I don't know why. They just don't. And uh, I don't know if it's YouTube preference or... I have a similar problem on uh, Twitter, actually. I'll post a comic and maybe it'll get a few thousand likes if I'm lucky. A stranger with a thousand followers will post the same comic and get 30,000 likes. Mm. And then on Instagram, I'll post the same comic and get twice the amount, even though I have half the followers. I, I don't know what's going on with Twitter still. They still have these tags on certain yeah. accounts where you're just nerfed. Yeah, there's a lot of issues with Twitter and even... Elon has come out and said that. So they're, they're yeah. talking about rewriting Twitter from the ground up because there's a lot of problems they, with it. That's what he said. If, that's, if certain things don't get fixed, that's what he would have to do because yeah. uh, it's so fucked. I mean, I'm okay with it. I'm still waiting for like a subscribe button after I got uh, busted. I, I got kicked off of uh, 
Patreon. Like short, they froze my account and then they made it so that I had to delete some of my comics so that I would have to like struggle session my way back into getting a thousand dollars a month or something. It's like, no, I told myself I'm not going to give them what they want. I'm not going to apologize. I'm not going to do any of that. And I'll wait for either Twitter to uh, give me that subscribe button. I don't even know how that works, but then uh, there's just too much funny business going on. And it's like creators are just going to have to find a way to survive until things get Mm -hmm. fixed if they get fixed. But in the meantime, I mean, there's subscribe stuff. I want to try that. Uh, and uh, um, player is a new. It used to be called Utrian Player. Their goal isn't to be a new video platform, even though they have heaps of video hosting. Their goal is to actually take out Patreon, and I'm all for that. If you want to take mm. down Patreon, all power I mean, to page, you. It's okay for Patreon to say like they don't want certain people on their platform, but don't be like bitches about it. Just say we're kicking you off. Instead, they froze my account and said you have to delete your own stuff. <laughs> Is it that, I mean, that's just oh, that's crazy. It's so it's stupid. And I, of course, there's competition out there. And anyway, I'm working on uh, Ghost of the Badlands now anyway, so I don't have time to draw strips as much as I used to. But way to ruin your own business. You want to talk about wokeness ruining. And I'm not going to tell any friends of mine like that are on Patreon, you should delete your Patreon or something. But like, be aware it can happen to you too. Just watch out. You should have other options lined up, mm-hmm. ready to go. Uh <laughs> most websites screw themselves yeah even like the most basic website allows for memberships now like you just don't yeah Patreon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, like so. four i've got four different membership options now yeah. which is player subscribe star channel memberships and patreon so the option it doesn't hurt us to diversify our that's where mm-hmm. diversity is your strength by the way yeah <laughs> is to uh, <laughs> let other platforms compete for our business if they don't want our people backing us there then they can go out of business if they want like the budweiser stuff there are yep. many other beers out there not that i yep. drink beer i'm not interested right. but if i did i wouldn't drink budweiser right and people keep asking me to make a video about bud light and it's like i'm you want a teetotaler to do a rant about a beer okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. just pee just pee in a can and it'll be this yeah yeah this water no. man uh, Sweet. By the way, let me put reviews on gay porn too. Like, what? <laughs> that's my job. Is the sun getting low for you, as? <laughs> it is, but uh, the sun is shining on this campaign on Indiegogo because oh, it's yeah. nearly on 70,000. Just that short of 70,000. Wow. Uh, that's that's nice. 69. 69 oh, yes. for 69. Oh, I, I, we, were, we don't even have the trailer up there yet. No, <laughs> guys, guys, no. I, I hope you crack a million. I want every new independent campaign to beat the last one. I want, just want this nice. stuff to grow. Um, it, it sends a message. It shows how much of a uh, market there is for this stuff and how much the mainstream is just screwing over the fan bases. And so, yeah. ah, it's brilliant. Well done, fellowship. Iron Age is here, and that's where you know what uh, the Iron Age. Listen, when it comes to creating new tech companies and subscribe stars and us, you never know what motherfucker is just some some guy looking to flip it, like create a company and flip it, and you don't know which ones are there for for the cause and to make money. Because like if you're there for the cause, you can make lots of money if you're committed to just not being a you know a, a, an authoritative asshole. You know, be, allow everything on. That, that's that's what we want. You know, hopefully, ru- you know, Rumble is is that for other content creators. Uh, but seriously, you know, if you you can get a few shekels, you can start your own website with with membership. That, that's what I'm doing. That's what I've been doing for we we've been working on it for like a year. That's why you know I quit Patreon a lot, like when they got rid of Carl, like that long time ago. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, that's what I'm waiting on. I, I don't want to like spread it too thin but i'd just rather have it on my own website but i i get why other people need to go other places we just gotta like really vet and find out as much as we can about who runs these companies uh Mm -hmm. because you know like who the fuck knows what's behind it well with any business fewer middlemen means you get a bigger cut anyways so unless they're going to bring something to the table to help your business out why should you let them have a piece of your business right Mm -hmm. yeah yeah totally it's 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 so stupid in the age of the internet because everything's so decentralized and you can get directly to the people that you want to reach anyways. You don't need 
it never has a middleman middleman been less necessary yeah. than today <laughs> and it's it's like the middlemen are put, stepping their foot in and saying hey let me give you, you a us. reason to cut me the fuck out mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah that, that's why it's it's so sad that you know uh the comic shops haven't found a way to reach out more to independent creators because i love comic shops i love the idea of comic shops i want them to be around for forever i, I know they're kind of an old idea but I, you know i'm obviously i'm biased uh but the thing is it, it it would require a lot of work but if you actually gave a shit it'd be it wouldn't be work it would be like hey let's let's go on youtube it's let's search some of these people out let's Ask him that we're hey. talking about. Uh, yeah, we're talking about our influences. This is like a manga meets Bond dessinée kind of Western, right? And yep. those yeah. two comic markets, they don't have any problems keeping comic stores open in Paris or Tokyo. Okay. Uh, they got two and three story comic stores in Paris. They're thriving over there. It's, it's insane that they can find a way to sell comics to grannies and little kids and hear in america like we can't even sell it to the so-called target audience and in the process of trying to expand it you turn your entire original audience off right yep. it, and the entire time it's being hailed by thunderous applause because of the you know esg and wokeness points that's invariably attached to it and there's too many instances of <sighs> um all right so indiegogo is a middleman in this case there are standing in the place of the retailer, they take a certain percentage. So let's say we make a hundred thousand or whatever. They're going to take a certain, certain cut. The printer's going to take a cut. Uh, UPS, USPS, the postal service, they're all going to take a cut. Taxes are going to take a cut. There's a lot of people taking pieces of the pie. So if, if someone says, I'm going to step in and help you bring in even more business, and then they want to take a cut on top of all those people, they have to prove that they're going to bring us the business. There's an well, unfortunate Eric July. I mean, Eric July created his own platform, fulfilled himself. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, that's a prime example there. If, if you if you want to stop giving Indiegogo, who will shadow ban certain people, money, Kickstarter, gate kept, yeah. create your own platform. Unfortunately, I mean, Eric, Eric's sort of yeah. leading the way when it comes to to how to self sustain. Uh, a comic and it's it's fucking amazing and he was he got his comic into comic shops too like they reached out to him which is what they yeah. need comic shops it, long gone are the days where it comes to you you have to you have to go do the work to bring good comics in that's what old comic shops used to do is they be your old collection before there was yeah. a capital and all that distribution like they just they went out and found they were shit. back issue stores yep. Yep. people don't mm -hmm. even realize that's how it started it yep. was back Oof. issue stores and then they started carrying new shit later even uh, when Diamond now, had the monopoly, sorry, yeah, guys and, like and Jeff Diamond, Smith would call them. Yeah. Yep. The, or even Ninja Turtles. That's how they, they literally yeah. sold it to each individual comic store. I would have to call anything. every comic shop in the country and say, can I mail you 10 books? Yep. Crazy. And I then maybe they'd mail me a check in return if they sold. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, big, yeah. maybe like with buybacks like yeah. i could go to my lcs's and say hey can you stock 10 of my books and they'll only uh, what is it called they'll sell it on uh not commission consignment. consignment consignment yeah yeah and they'll take quite a big piece and kind of almost doesn't make it worth it but um i'll still say to my local shops hey do you want my books and they'll say yeah sure and then they'll give me a little something but it's not like you can't make a living doing that no no you have to sell in the thousands before you can maybe start talking about this being your part-time job. Uh, back to Eric's super chat here. Eric Pizza Artist for forty nine ninety nine. Hail, you guys are the best part of my week. And man, is Gary killing it with the videos lately. I'd love to take the full credit for that. It was all me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All me. <laughs> mm. Ah, Garrett did a great effort, job, man. Garrett Boy, did a great is. job editing. That was freaking great. And Perry, uh, another just solid, beautiful thumbnail on that one. Beautiful. Uh, there's a doc that was made about me and my art that's screening at film festivals around the world. It's free on YouTube. It's called The Art of Pizza. Check it out. Oh, I will check it out. The, the pizza artist has a doc. The Art of nice. Pizza. <laughs> Thank you, I sir. I like pizza. Uh, Blue Ball Spare is gifted 20 nerdrotic memberships for $100. Holy shit. We just had a member stream. 
We're going to do one from Vegas. I don't know when, but I'll figure it out. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Uh, JVP Music for $50. Says, Hail Friday Night Tights. Hail Razorfish. And Hail King Richard from Iron Ma- Iron Age Media. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who really it was releasing Anvil, a physical magazine covering the Iron Age, where you can see a sneak peek of Mr. Fist's new comic, The Indiegogo for Anvil is still live. And it's Anvil. Yeah. Anvil. Maybe we could find a link and throw it in there, please, Mod. Yeah, if so you if you want a physical copy of like a preview of, of this comic, uh, definitely uh, check that out. And there's a lot of other great, there's comics and pulp stuff in there. So there's some pros, there, all kinds of cool stuff in there. Uh, Kevin Rank for $50 says, buy Shad's book. It's in color. (laughs) (laughs) Strangely, my novel doesn't have any colored stuff in it. Uh, The graphic novel is not available at the moment. That's racist. Closed. I saw. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's that's what drew me to it in the first place. I saw. uh, (laughs) I saw our boy Mike S. Miller got a mention in the George R. R. Martin blog post. For yeah. Dunkin' Egg. Yeah, he did. Uh, ah, wow, yeah. Wow. He did. Because of Hedge Knight. This is why. Nice. I got I I I actually have that, I think. I love Hedge Knight. That was a very yeah. popular Marvel published it uh for a bit. And uh yeah. Yeah, before that it was a different publisher. I forget who the it hell it was. was but... I know Dynamite took it over, but who was it before Marvel? God dang it. It wasn't Avatar, was it? No. Not that. No. Fuck. No, I don't. It was somebody. Yeah, but I remember before Marvel took it over, it was some just random shit dick operation. Yeah, I uh, Avatar books were. I did not put them on my shelf. I had too many kids coming in the shop. So did I mean, did you not have room for the thirty thousand butt fucking variant covers? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't have that, or for torture porn, or uh, any of that stuff. <laughs> Uh, it is, it's like people liked it. I special ordered it, but, uh, yeah, too many kids. I, I was... some of the stuff, I mean, for a while they had Juan Jose Reap over there. Who's an amazing artist. Yep. Oh, incredible artist. But he was the only reason to buy avatar comics. And he was basically working in like a Brazilian sweatshop somewhere. Like yep. <laughs> they were paying him like peanuts, but incredible artist. He did the like Frank Miller's RoboCop comic. Yes. Uh, years ago. I love and that. Some other stuff. Amazing art. Uh, Nerd Wars. What's up, Nerd Wars, for $50? It's Hail FMT. Quick plug for my documentary. This guy's awesome, by the way, so please check it out. Nerd Wars. The Nerd War on Woke. It's basically just memes and clips from FNT and the Fellowship, and that's not the reason I said it was awesome. <laughs> no, he's done some, like, really good stuff. Yeah, he's done really good yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Uh, new video is out on my channel, Nerd Wars on YouTube and Band Dot Video. We all love Band Dot Video. Looking forward to all the clips from the Vegas show. Hail Nerd Wars. Hail Band Dot Video. Hail Alex Jones. We love Alex Jones. I love Alex Jones. <laughs> I'm getting low as as. Oh, I'm it's sorry. Been getting low for the past 15 minutes. So, but oh, I tried. Oh, I tried is, is, earlier. Is as really complaining about somebody going on about something. My apologies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm 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 complaining about somebody fucking not paying attention. I'm, so, I'm sorry. What? Oh. What'd you say? <laughs> what? I have to turn up my volume a little bit. You don't understand. As I am married, and my wife goes, "You're not listening." I out for th- t- t- oh, almost 20 weird. years. I'm all. What'd you say? Like, reminds me of Herman's Head. <laughs> wow. Herman's Head was an awesome show. Okay, it was. Yeah. You can. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Out of control. As his head. Oh God! Uh, Pop yeah, you that the, zit. That the, the the what is that? Is that an? You gotta exfoliate there, dude. That is an that. eyebrow herpy. Oh. Where you been putting your face, boy? All right, bye, as. Sons get low. Heel versus baby face. Hot toys. He's going to do like 14 hour live streams uh, of, of video games and uh, make videos about Gotham Knights and be on real BBC. That We have a new this, thumbnail. That's- this Tuesday, where we have a uh, special guest host, because Gary is going to be there for a little bit. Special guest host, Critical Drinker. 
Oh, wow. oh nice. Up and coming just YouTuber. on his show a couple of Ooh. days ago. Yeah, just, you, know, you were. Just, it's just going to pop on, do some heavy work. <laughs> well, somebody's got to come in and sub for me. So, you know, just get the little guy to come in. He's up a coming. Yeah. Be nice to have another rep from the UK there. So still waiting ah, for that be, channel to take It's going to be the yeah. uh, it's going to be a British invasion on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, It'll uh, be the real BBC. Ouch. Um, <laughs> that, wow. That's insulting. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Buckety bye. Buckety bye. <laughs> 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 yeah. bye. Oh, thank God he's gone. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Get X-ray girl back in here to not say anything. Oh, you did use it as your avatar. See, we got this cool thumbnail. She updated it. She did that thumbnail for cool, real man. BBC was fucking awesome. That yeah, was good. I mean, great I'm, artist. He made me look very young and virile. I was like the 32 year old version of Ooh. me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> looking real cool. tight. That's nice. Look at that. Look yeah. at that beard. Oh, that looks cool. Well Anime yeah. Gary is just like popping out of that suit, man. Just yeah, like, that, this is like industrial like, fucking <laughs> puff marshmallow. In, in a industrial bit. twine to like somehow <laughs> keep those buttons together. <laughs> Should look a little tight, yes. Uh, Iron Age Media for $100. Oh, damn. Yeah. Hail Iron Age Media. Uh, hail Friday Night Tights. Razor and George backed the big combo already and can't wait for it. It's not a matter of whether it hits the 100,000 stretch goal, but what the new stretch goal is going to be. Uh, yes, after it hits a million. Uh, oh, yes. The hashtag mm -hmm. Iron Age and Anvil Magazine wants you become the culture. I could not agree more. We're at 72, by the way. 72? Damn. Can we hit 100? tonight wow that's Ooh. crazy stuff. Ooh. that's the question I, I that's a that's a, that's a lot that's a lot that's a lot we're gonna have to think of some extra stuff I mean, to offer <laughs> yeah you guys need to start rethinking the perks the yep yeah. I, I think it'll hit 100k in the day we had more ideas Whoa. and pulled them back uh so you know there's definitely already some ideas in the offing for them there you go. That's you know, it's funny. That's like awesome. I was thinking at some point you and I have to have a meeting to talk about what's next. I'm like, oh, that's probably like tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready. I have to figure out what we're doing. Yeah. Uh 009 for $69.99. That's in Canadian pesos. Thank you very much. Uh, hey all shouting out support to a Vegas YouTuber who recently escaped death. What? Ooh, wow. How? I mean, I'm glad. Uh, Talker Art is an action figure channel calling out the bullshit from Hasbro, Disney, etc. Plus all the shills. Dude is hilarious, and you should definitely have him on the show. How did he escape death? Did, did he get swatted or something? Like, what happened? Details. I need to know. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, glad he did. It's important. We need... You, you got us intrigued is it, now. Yeah. Is it like an assassin where there was somebody Yeah, I mean, it's Vegas. Yeah. Like, Vegas what's the level he, of yeah, the did, escape of death? Did, did he Welsh on a freaking uh, uh, a gambling loan or something? Like, did he just happened? not get a booster? Was like, like, what was yeah. he <laughs> <laughs> Did he pass someone dressed as death on the highway? There's yeah. so many questions. Yeah, who knows? Did uh -huh. he choke on an action figure? Like, what happened? Um, sheep City. Uh, sheep. 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 Or as I like to call him, Aragorn. Uh, hail, Fellowship, it's Aragorn. <laughs> I backed the highest tier twice. Like I told the better version of Legolas on Twitter, the Iron Age is going to be harder on my wallet than taxes. Ooh. Mm. Fuck. I hate taxes. Don't remind me. Uh, I'm almost finished with my manga prologue before Vegas for the Iron Age. Hail. Oh, yeah. Taxation is theft. Dude, oh, I'm so glad I have an accountant. I really am. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both, buddy. Uh, uh, the, yeah, I gave my pound of flesh and my left testicle already. So, uh, Drago Angelo on the Streamlab side for $50. Today is my birthday. Happy birthday. I promise not to sing. Oh, Razor Fist is here. We want him to come back. Same with George. Uh, but I actually, 
but I'd actually like to give you guys something. So take this money as a gift for your birthday. Wow, that's pretty cool. At only 23 years old. Oh, little baby. You wee babe. Wow. Uh, I have been blessed with wisdom, humility, and most importantly, righteousness. Not to t- not typically seen in my generation. I love you all. And confidence. I like that. I love you, Take any shit. I remember, I don't remember, when, when I was 23, uh, I was in prison. What was that, though? Middle Ages? Middle Ages, yes. I was I was in the stocks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> uh, Captain Garrett, two parts for $50. Of the, oh, he's starting it out like Tolkien. Uh, or, the, no, Christopher. Of the channel. Swords and uh, starships. I'm looking forward to meeting all of you and the fellowship at the Vegas meetup. Not gonna lie, I don't do well with celebrities. Well, you won't be meeting any, so you're gonna be yeah. fine. Yeah. 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 Anyone there. No celebrities. Like well, you, man. I mean, there might be, but it won't be any of us. Yeah. A razor. I mean, like, hey, I, I don't want to put you on the spot, but you're more than welcome no. to come, Razor. Uh, hey, it's like a. F- Five hour drive or something? It's yeah. not even that far. Actually. Yeah. yeah. Love to have you there. It could be fun. It could yeah. be fun. Um, not gonna lie, I don't do well with celebrities. I get all starstruck. I know you don't think of yourselves this way, but you are. No, no, we're not. Uh maybe Razor Fist. George. Yeah, <laughs> Razor Razor Fist. I, <laughs> and I actually what? met it was funny. I actually met uh, a couple from the UK. I was at Target the other day. Luckily, I didn't have anything. Like, I, I don't know what I could have had that would be embarrassing. What the but, fuck were you getting at shopping. Target? Target. Yeah. Yeah. Target is enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I could have been shopping for a bra or something. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, but, no, and just a, a British couple came up to me. And are you Ryan from Geeks and Gamers of Friday Night Tights? Yeah. yeah. So uh, I talked to them. They're huge fans of the show. That they're, It was crazy to just run into them at Target. That's awesome. It is weird. But, yeah, but they they love. Cool. They're probably watching right now. There was the the awesome. uh, British guy that we ran into at Universal. Didn't know we were doing a meetup at yes. Universal. He was yeah. just there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, hey, that. Gary cool. from Nerd Rotting. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, my favorite one was uh, I was at the Reverend Horton John. Heat Show. I'm telling this story again. <laughs> I was at the Reverend Horton Heat Show at Paper Tiger here in San Antonio uh, with Comics Division. And my hey yep. comics, I'm gonna t- go take a leak. I went and took a leak, and it's an empty bathroom. And the guy gets right next to me in the stall next to me. Goes, "What's up, Gary from Nerdrotic?" While I've got like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no! I think that's probably a good that. <laughs> he broke two rules. He broke yeah. the one three five rule. Yeah. Yep. Yes. That? Never do that. No. What's that? No. Was five. was there only was there only two urinals though? No, there was there was a whole. Doesn't line. matter. You oh, the separation. Line. Separation. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, separation. Okay. You if need you need to use, use a stall. Yeah, you All need that penile stall. buffer zone. Yeah, I need to start using it. That's what Mo- Mrs. Nerdrotic said. Start using a stall, and I'm like, really? Anyone else think it's odd that the handicap stalls are the only stalls, ironically, that are big enough for you to get up and run around in? Yeah. What does that What? There's plenty of room for activity. <laughs> How bad do you have to take a crap? Well, I remember uh, I used to go to Wrigley Field all the time because my dad is a Cubs fan. I grew up a Cubs fan, still am. Uh, and they had the troughs. Like you just pissed oh, yeah. in a fucking oh, God. classic, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you ever have you ever done the thing where uh, have you ever pissed in a public restroom where the water washes down the wall and yeah, down yeah. The Vegas drain? has what a couple the of those. Fuck yeah. Is yeah. That shit? It's like a waterfall. It's like piss. a waterfall of urine. Yeah. What am I, cattle? Like, what the fuck yes. is this? <laughs> no, you ever reach the, the guy next to you and he starts what? What? I, what? That's just supposed to be artsy. That's, That's not what happening. Jeremy's Spent a lot right of now. time in Republic restaurants with George Michael. Here. <laughs> I once, uh, this doesn't matter, but I went into a women's bathroom by accident once because I only use stalls, right? So I go oh, in. You're one of those trannies, huh? Hang on. Midstream. <laughs> oh something happened to me, but I, I am a lesbian. I've explained this. Midstream, I'm like, wait, subconsciously, I'm like, something's wrong. What? what? Trannies, eh? I didn't know something was wrong. And only in the middle of it, I'm like, wait, I'm in the women's room, aren't I? The colors are different in here. Something's telling me. 
it and then smelled of course, nicer. You're like, what's, right. what's going on? And I realized there's no urinals. I didn't pick that up until I was leaving. Wow. Luckily, what? luckily everything turned out okay. Uh, when I was a, when I was a kid, I accidentally wandered into the women's restroom at church, and I was like. This is like an alternate society. There's like a couch. In here. There's a couch. Yeah. There the are couches. Yes. What? Paintings Dude, just be walls. thankful that that didn't happen today. Because if that happened today, someone would have seen you and said, oh, "You must be. It can't be." And then what? they, you know, I believe put you I on hormones couches, and all that kind of stuff. Yep. Women can actually correct me wrong. Aren't they couches for like if breastfeeding mothers or whatever to sit there with their babies? It's when you it's when there. you get broken up with and you need somewhere to cry. God. Or yeah. gossip. I, yeah, I, you know, you're supposed to not get fucked or something. Isn't that the deal? <laughs> Back in the day, at the rare Charger game that was sold out, uh, women would always go it because the line would be longer. So women would just walk right into the dude's bathroom. They didn't give a shit. They're just like, I oh, gotta I've, pee. I've done get that. out of my way. Thank you forever <laughs> yeah. to pee. They may have oh, given a shit. I don't know. They're well, there because yes, they, they technically did. Shit. Yeah, they might have. I was in Japan once, and a cleaning lady came into the men's room as I was doing my business. I'm just looking. You mean a lady? Oh. <laughs> a cleaning lady, yeah. yeah. A sweet old lady, just with her, you know, cleaning supplies, and I'm just looking at her. You want me to like, tap oh, okay. for you? <laughs> I'll just finish up here. <laughs> I love you a long time. <laughs> Captain Garrett, Got out of there. Captain. People Garrett. don't know, like people think, like Japan is so cleanly and whatever, and it's like. They don't realize that Japan has a big public urination thing. Uh, like it's a big thing. Wait, so the like it's acceptable? Well, the because the guys don't have Japan, a lot of it's a lot of culturally accept pee. Yeah, I love it's, it. it's like uniquely <laughs> culturally acceptable to pee on the side of the building. Small. Okay. okay. I'm cool with that. Like as long as you're facing a building, I'm cool with that. Yeah, I like yeah, Japan even more now. No, it's not like golden showers or anything. But no, it is uh, yeah. whizzing I mean, it's like in the middle of the sidewalk. Just right. it's like what once you've had entire cities just nuked off the face of the earth. Who gives a fuck yeah. about a little piss? Yeah. Right. You know. Yeah, no, no, no. You I tried a bidet somehow. for the first time. They might have been was, pissing right where one of those death shadows was are burned onto the wall. Yeah. <laughs> you've got to be clean. Someone's grandfather's shadow. Yeah. Uh, I can't look at Americans the same way anymore. I'm like, wait a second. Yeah. If you don't use a bidet, sir, you're not. You're not fresh. And then, and then South Park took care of it, and you're like, oh, oh, well. Or you could be in San Francisco and just whip your shit out and just go away wherever the fuck you want, you know? Don't pee on sure, your face. Sure, they at least wipe if Francisco. you're going to be in the street oh, pooping. They don't. <laughs> Ew. Here's some fresh, have some fresh wipes. Come it is on. so incredibly nasty. Yeah. Like, it, like, I know some people do videos down there, but you, it doesn't do it justice, like, how nasty. Without the smell. Does it smell? It like smells. Bed, it, it's yes, because there's the there's the gutters that fucking smell like shit, and then oh. there's the shit that smells like shit, and sometimes the shit <laughs> will have the, the people that smell like. And there's shit. the people yeah. who smell poop like shit. Poop on poop on poop. Yeah, and then and then the poop that smells like California's poop that smells future. like. Shit. And then you got the hypodermic needles sticking out of the human shit, uh, right oh. next to the guy. And then you go to Nancy Pelosi's house, and there's even <sighs> more crap. More shit. Just, yeah. That must have been an uncomfortable. Right. Uh, back, where were we? we were doing a super chat. Uh, yeah, in the middle of the super us. chat. Yeah. Heroes <laughs> to, I don't know how Captain we Garrett. got there. Uh, heroes to all of us. I would like uh, the panel's advice on how to overcome my simpery. Uh, as Shad, <laughs> wish you were coming, but it's a long way from Australia and New Zealand. Also, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm wrecking Mando on my channel. Katie and Giancarlo wasted. Pedro's a bitch. Yeah, like I like Katie Sackoff. She's cool, but they made me not like her because mm -hmm. it's a shit show. It's a terrible character, yeah. you know? Uh, yeah, I still like her. I just don't like the character of Bo Katan. Like, she can only do so much with what she's given. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, it's so it was Kurosawa who said that even, what is it, a bad director can make a good movie with a good script, but even mm -hmm. a good director can't make a good movie with a bad script. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a wise I personally right don't there even use been that much difference between Mandalorian season two and three, except instead of the fucking cameos that are supposed to get you excited to forget about the terrible fucking writing, it's of those cameos being Luke Skywalker and Ahsoka Tano that made everybody come in their pants. Their cameos were Jack Black and Lizzo. Yeah. And that is the thing I know. <laughs> and Christopher <laughs> Lloyd. Okay, don't forget Christopher oh. Lloyd. I recognize him. Dave Filoni. Scott. I remember Cowboy Dave got in his own show too. Couple uh, times he did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Mando goes yeah. back to this bar and there's a bunch of fat 
X-wing pilots, and you're like, Trapper oh, no wonder wolf. why the New Republic got their asses kicked by you know, right. Yeah. I thought Torkin was in the supposed X-wings. to be the outlier. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. he was. <laughs> Uh, Geek Grind Coffee, our sponsor, our wonderful sponsor, who is going to have a, a new blend. Look at a new this, blend. man. Sacrifice Ew. of the Pyramids, oh, Forbidden dude. Frontier. Classified. Wow, what does it taste like? Um, classified. It's classified. <laughs> <laughs> it's redacted. Uh, that will be available soon. We also have some trucker hats available. But thanks to Geek Grind for, I mean, supporting us, even after... Gavin mm-hmm. whipped out his dick, uh, and <laughs> didn't say a word about it. It's a Gavin blend. <laughs> no Little thanks. Weenie. Oh, no, yeah. Hot dog. Teeny Wee tiny blend. weenie. Uh, what are those things <laughs> called? <laughs> Baby blend. The little tiny <laughs> wieners that are like. Like little that? coffee beans you can barely see. Things in a blanket. Oh, it should be just little <laughs> coffee beans. But uh, thanks to Geek Grind, Leek. Leek? <laughs> <laughs> Leak in the description. <laughs> <laughs> Leak in the description. Geek Grind Coffee. There's, what, how many flavors do we got now? Like six? We got like, wow. I think so. Oh, wait, hold on. One, two, three, five. Five. Yes. We're going to have more. We're going to have more. Plus the K cups. KKK yeah. cups. Uh, we're going to have uh, free coffee for people at the meetup. Wow. We're going to have free in tacos. Cups or bags? Uh, it, well, I think we're going to have K cups and bags. Cool. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have uh, free tacos, uh, free rounds of drinks for you alcoholics, um, and uh, free coffee. And and uh, a raffle, which includes a Star Trek The Motion Picture, 1-6 scale, mm. Kirk. So, Dang. Yeah. Wow. And some other stuff, too. Wow. An old bra. And, well, I mean, wow, yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Now you're oh, gonna have shit. to give that away. Some somebody will want it, Chrissy. <laughs> Someone's you gonna be there to saying, no. <sighs> "I heard there was a bra." Geek Ryan has donated one hundred dollars, <laughs> which they did not need to do. All hell, as we all slip down the culture drain and wave to our hero Elon as we pass, we will tip a mug of our new fr- Forbidden Frontier Sacrifice of the Pyramids Cinnamon Chocolate Coffee, now live mm. at Geek Grind Coffee. Thank you all for what you do. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Family Farm. Cruz Family Farm in Colombia. Colombia. Not Colombia. 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 <laughs> Motion Picture Reel has donated $49.99 in proper British money. And <laughs> you we are at 75,000, by the way. 75,000 wow. on the campaign. Yep. Holy wow. shit. Nice. You guys oh are awesome. It. That's awesome. Oh, that's unbelievable. It unbelievable. didn't have to be this way. It didn't have to I want to say this to all the publishers <laughs> and the retailers. We could, we could have been friends. I right. wanted to work with you. Did you try anywhere mainstream? Yeah. I mean,. Maybe we'll meet again down the road. And- nah. <laughs> Maybe we'll meet again. <laughs> you don't need him. You're being very nice you about don't that, need George. You don't need him. George, you don't need him. Razor doesn't need him. You guys got this. We're going to do some good work. We're going to make everybody proud. And uh, I want this to keep happening for other creators, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Hell the yeah. interesting thing, if now mainstream do want to play ball a bit more, right? Uh, independent creators have so much more leverage because we don't need them. And so it could actually finally give us a bit more leverage to negotiate way better deals because the amount that they're still trying to take on eBooks and other things like that in the publishing world, it's, it's highway robbery. It's absolutely ridiculous, especially audiobooks. And so now if a publisher actually is interested because we can show that we're selling stuff, well, I can go back and say, well, if you really want to play ball with me, here are my terms. And if not, I don't need you. See ya. No, we're going to get not even money. Creative control is, a, I would say, a bigger thing to negotiate for. There's too much editorial interference and people who aren't creative at all, like the business types with those ties and everything. It's like, oh, we Mm -hmm. need more of this. Can you put like that silly uh, Kevin Smith story of uh, with wild wild west with the oh, giant, giant spider, spider yeah. did you ever hear oh, that yeah. story yes mm-hmm. it's like i need a giant spider in the story razor we got to put a giant spider it's like yeah but we don't we don't want to put a giant spider we want creative control it's like no we know better than you trust me this is the next hot thing 
or, or giant gorillas in a Superman. Superman's got to fight a giant gorilla. Trust me. Why are Why are you spoiling the second volume? That's Damn fun. it! <laughs> Damn it! You're right. Let's, it, the no, giant gorilla you, plan. You cannot put a price. The giant gorilla and spider were supposed to be volumes two and three, motherfucker. What the fuck? Damn it. Spoilers. <laughs> You can't put a price on creative freedom. I don't care what uh, some big corporation, I don't care how much money they're offering you unless it's absolutely ridiculous. You're still going to have to do what they say. You're, and, and even George Lucas called Disney white slavers. George Lucas, the billionaire, called them white slavers. If you've put that much into uh, an entity, a business, a creative project, I mean, like, I was ruined forever at that little time I owned my own business and had a comic shop, barely made any money, barely scraped by, but I was free every fucking day, and it was heaven. And when I went back to work for other people, it was hell. It was hell to go back to that. So, uh, yeah, there's there's no price you can put on that. A few extra shekels is not worth being able to do whatever the fuck you want to do without having to answer to anybody. And this is shattering. This is decentralizing entertainment. And I like yeah. nothing but good can come from that. I, I love it. Mm-hmm. And at least George more more. Lucas had the decency to specify white slavers and acknowledge the true history <laughs> of the woman King. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's actually something people love to ignore historically that, oh yeah, there were a lot of, you know, you know, white civilizations that did experience huge amounts of slavery. Slavery was yeah. rampant all amongst, you know, early medieval yeah. period amongst the Irish mainland Europe and British. I, I, yeah. It, white people take rampant now in dog shit every countries. Every society yeah. <laughs> culture throughout history did it there are I as it, it, there are it. as many the white people for ending it there are as many yeah. slaves today as there were back then there's more people there's a lot more people on the planet and there's still a lot of con- countries that practice slavery but hey so. according to the woman king the only reason why they had any slavery was because of white people white <laughs> and that's a load of shit white people, <laughs> white it was people? Those europeans first they white people? in america was black anthony johnson okay I'm going to get these these few. Uh, Roger's dad for $50. Uh, oh, I almost hit the wrong button. <laughs> well, I missed it. Oh, I did. Yes. 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 Got all the reservations ready for the wife and myself. My wife doesn't watch you guys. Well, then she can't come. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Uh, that's a pretty common story when we see people it is it is i mean hey ryan (laughs) 9.9 percent female audience here okay 9.9 no no that's actually high like really high Shadow Destiny high. has like maybe three to five percent female audience. Lord oh of the goodness, Rings, the same as me. Lord of the Rings is the only <laughs> thing I could explain because it was it was like three percent lower before that. So that's uh, why I don't check analytics. I don't need to know how fucking old or young or whatever the fuck my audience is. So I don't need. <laughs> Mine's all the way down to eight percent female. Right? That's disappointing. Pretty good. What was your what from was your twenty? Peak? Right. Well, my, at one point, there was like a month there when I was covering all like the Will Smith drama where it was up at like 15 or 18 percent or something. Oh I had all the bitches up in my channel, man. <laughs> <laughs> you you might have done a couple of Amber Heard videos, too. That, that I, oh, yeah. I heard that. Women no. love to hate that bitch. Uh, so. Yes, they do. Uh, my wife doesn't watch you guys. And she said this better not be some furry convention. <laughs> i like her already yep uh That's when nice. i told her the event is at the millennium fandom bar i assured her it isn't lol it, it's not i mean there'll be a lot of hairy dudes but it's not a furry no furries. No furries. Okay, no furries. wg in two parts for 100 dollars. just put my money down mr r fists big combo wait wait that sounds gay do over. <laughs> I just bought Razor's Ghost of the Badlands. Big combo. Looks good. So heck, I might I might get another. Uh, mm-hmm. This one costs. What all me. comes in the big combo? By the way, it's like poster and uh, sign signed order. poster. Mm-hmm. So oh. we'll uh, we'll figure out the logistics, and yeah. then hardcover, soft cover. Mm. I think there's one other. It's also the digital. I want a bookmark. Right. Theophilus for fifty dollars on the stream lab side. Hail FT George, I love your work. Will we see more of Runt Chan? We sh- wish, uh, wish lo- love to have her calendar every year. Would love to have her calendar every year. Looking forward to getting Goofberry Pie for my kids. Keep up the great work. Hail FT, 
Long live the fellowship, Iron Age rise. That's a really funny combination of things to want from me. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Officer Runt is like a pinup calendar that I did with like, you know, sexy cop kind of thing. Yeah. Back during the riots, there was like a little uh, cop lady with a baton trying to stop like burning buildings from happening. And then Goofberry Pie is my uh, latest children's book, actually. So that's a very wide uh, range of... Eclectic, as we like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Uh, uh, yeah, thank you for mentioning Goofberry Pie, actually. Um, If anyone's interested, uh, it's very different from my usual stuff. Uh, My usual comics are sarcastic and pretty dark and adult, but we wanted to set out to do something really wholesome, uh, anti-woke, for all ages. It's just a cute little book about a mouse getting some dessert for his parents. And uh, if anyone wants to grab a copy of that, it's in my uh, Twitter, actually. Uh, it's There's a link to my family's family shop that I don't run. So there's lots of like cute little, if you have a family and some kids, that's that's a good, like wholesome, uh, link in totally the different from my Link yeah. in Thank the you. description. Uh, Sparta- it's five stars. Everybody likes it. Sparta Chris <laughs> by the author. 540 Echo. I know, right? <laughs> five stars. I'm awesome. Uh, Sparta Chris 540 Echo for $50. It's his Black Queens. Careful. Yeah, I've got to be ca- like. You want me to read that one, Gary? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll put it in the chat here. That's the, no, the okay. name. Queen, I'm just okay. going to drop Queen, the N. Go mm, for it. Go for it, Ryan. Queen Nzinga <laughs> <laughs> held yep. off the Portuguese conquest of her people. Queen Nanny escaped uh, from slavery to the Brits and freed more slaves from Brits in Jamaica. Queen Amarena's Kushite. Ruler that who, is a Tolkien name right there. What the fuck? Yeah, ruler who prevented a Roman invasion of her kingdom. So those are probably like real life black queens that you don't have to invent. Yeah. Uh, pretend ah. that a, a different character yep. just because yep. she got a more recognizable name is yeah. black. Yeah. Oh boy. Hmm. Uh, Jake D, homeboy, for fifty bucks. What's up? Jake D. Jake's awesome. Coming soon, Washington, the definitive docu-series starring Lizzo as Martha, the author of The American Revolution and Soul of the Constitution, with special guest appearance by Wesley Snipes as George, a Disney Netflix production. (laughs) (laughs) I'd watch Wesley Snipes as George Washington. (laughs) I fucking would, hell yeah. (laughs) (laughs) The Grizzly for $100. I thought woke Mr. Movies was bad in 2016. Wait until 2024. It is going to be so woke and awful. We'll look back and say TLG was based based in comparison. Producers will crank up the woke, setting on their AI writers to 11 to compensate for the orange man running again. You're not wrong. I tell you, I got a video coming out. I got a video coming out that uh, film is fucked. <laughs> F- film, oh, okay. film, title. film is fu- that might be the title film yeah. is fucked i mean tv yeah. might be able to avoid this but film is f- fucked uh oh you don't think uh lady gaga as harley quinn is gonna save it uh, <laughs> totally <laughs> no it's a musical you know, the, the only, you know the only difference between a porno and a lady gaga video a better music Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nate the Great for one hundred dollars. Robin Williams once said, "Oh, that's my favorite." The last man who truly understood a woman died laughing. That's true. Or the algorithm. I actually think uh, the YouTube algorithm is more understandable than women, but that's just me. Uh, yeah. Bad Rememory <laughs> Show. Uh, gifted 10 neurotic memberships for $50. Thank you. <laughs> Oom or OOM169 for $50. Hail hey, Friday Night Tides. Can't wait for the comic. And I am happy to see a new Western uh, to come out uh, as a bushwhacker myself. All I got is F. J. Walkers. F. J. Walkers. All right. Uh, J. Hawkers. J. Hawkers. 
What's a Jayhawk? Hawkers. <laughs> Hawkers. Use the crosswalk, damn it. <laughs> Fucking Jaywalkers. <laughs> Fucking Jaywalkers. Damn Jaywalkers. Damn Jaywalkers. Damn Jaywalkers. <laughs> Geek Grind for $50 more. We just cross promoted and posted Razor Fist Indiegogo campaign link on oh. our social media accounts. Boy. Goes to the Babylands. Looks amazing. Good luck. That's awesome. Thanks, Geek Grind. Oh, awesome. yeah. Magnum North, $50. Hey, okay, by the way. Raise- Dang. What is it? 80. 80. What? Get to 80. Holy, We're three, holy shit. Three thousand wow. away from 80. Wow. Magnum yeah, Norse you... for $50. You know what's funny? Oh, sorry. Go on. Oh, I was going to say, like, any t- bigger publisher could have put their hand on the pulse and figured out, hey, we haven't made a good Western in a while. Why does it take a bunch of people on the internet? <laughs> Not only that, but like I mentioned in my uh, top 10 Westerns video that I just dropped, like you can kind of sense like westerns are sort of about to come back when they're not quite back you get like yellowstone in 1883 and some movies and stuff that have come out you had uh, terror on the prairie not that long ago and some other Mm -hmm. stuff that's like kind of headed our way and nobody in comics is like oh wait a minute right (laughs) like fuck it's it's just ridiculous they don't have their hand on the pulse they also uh... Yeah, uh, they have their they have their knee on the pulse. Of yeah, the right. Uh, Magnum <laughs> Norris for fifty dollars. Razor Force unify and show these ship bags how the bacon is buttered. Yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, some people might bacon. butter. I mean, there is a butter burger, so why not? Uh, Alec uh, Baldwin's finger has gifted fifty <laughs> nerdrotic <laughs> memberships for two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> got away with it. <laughs> A very generous finger. Thank you. A very generous finger. Uh, I shot the camera. Neo yeah. Conqueror uh, for <laughs> on the Streamlab side for fifty dollars. Hail FNT Gary. Did you get the AI generated Star Wars script I emailed you? I will check. I don't know. I'm gonna check my email over there. I was way too busy uh, working out and getting the video up. Sorry. Uh, Robert McDonald for fifty dollars. The analytics have been uh, run, and FNT could save 30 minutes each week if somebody with better than 22,000 vision read the Super Chats. <laughs> <laughs> I like the charm of it, though. <laughs> you, read yeah. the ne- you read the next one, next character. Girl. Give, them what the- they give the crowds the what they want. One? You okay. read the next one. Uh, wow. Okay. Nancy Drew in the case of the missing period for $100. <laughs> 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 <That's the name. laughs> <laughs> I've got it, gang. A D and D noir. Gary is the stoner wizard. Jeremy and Ryan are the peasants who lost their jobs to orc immigrants. Shad and Odin are the autistic paladins. Chrissy is I the accept. ginger. <laughs> Chrissy is the ginger girl boss, and Razor is the token Irish innkeeper who says, "Bloody harpies." I don't, there you I don't, go. I don't do Irish. <laughs> <laughs> well done, bloody harpies. <laughs> even 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 orcs have the spark of divinity in them. Right. <laughs> I don't know. I think they could try and be a bit more creative because being an autistic paladin is just my natural persona. So <laughs> that's my resting oh. face. Comics is going to play a paladin. I am. Is he a paladin? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. No. I watched the video. Not a, ha- not a halfling or no. No. Because <laughs> that's too obvious. That's obvious what people right. want. A little too on not. the nose. Not uh, yeah, Broken Sword for forty nine ninety nine says, "Good evening. I'm trucking from Tennessee to Buckeye, Arizona. Where's Buckeye, wow. Arizona? That's Buckeye is where my grandparents. I, I grew up with my grandparents. Actually, they it, back then not so much now, but back then it was literally out in the desert. They you you had to have a BB gun near the door to shoot coyotes. It was yeah. that kind of place. <gasps> That's awesome. Oh, you had to wow. shoot coyotes." Keep them yeah, to keep them away from the cats or whatnot. Yeah. Gotta keep the coyotes oh away. Mm-hmm. Well, drive safe. He's uh, about two thousand miles. Congrats, Razor and George. With the amount of contributions, you'll be able to afford what most Americans can't: a cart, a <laughs> carton of eggs. Godspeed. <laughs> you know, you us now. <laughs> you know, George. If this goes really well, we might make a single omelet. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> be able to afford half a tank of gas to take some pictures. Hey, buy some right. chickens. Buy some chickens, or just steal some next time you go see Tim, George. It's uh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll talk to him next time. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Culture Casino. A long drive for fifty dollars. A Vegas baby just days away. Hail FNT. I got your poker chips, 
and a <laughs> reach around for Ryan. Oh, that's great, Ryan. He's, he took care of you. <laughs> oh, that's great. It's going to be from culture, though, so I don't know how you feel about that. Uh, love you all. If, if, if I can't see him, I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Love y'all being uh, been missing you. Oh, yeah, and comics, <laughs> comics, bring your milk crate and booster seat. <laughs> Two more vineyards, too, culture. Hey, yeah, we, we've got some food for you too, comics. We got like little boxes of cereal and some juice boxes mm-hmm. for you. So. <laughs> Teddy Graham, a little raisin boxes, yeah. <laughs> little fruit snacks, <laughs> thing of fruit snacks. Yeah, yeah. lunchables. Yeah, yeah, lunch- the Capri Sun. <laughs> uh, Kiko Mon. Kiko Bond for fifty dollars. <laughs> Those little plastic milks from back in high school or grammar school, little plastic. Oh, yeah, remember the plastic? Okay, before juice boxes, there was just the plastic high C. Ones. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. You're all too yeah. young. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, yeah. So you could like pour a little out and then put some vodka in the top, you know, and have a good day at junior <laughs> high school. That's what I did. Um, uh, Kiko Bond is like killing me with the. What what A D W C channel started the S S S R C C P slash U S S R movement? Soy sauce socialist republic. We are all Kikoban. Uh, we are the true so uh, socialist. Sorry, socialist. Socialist. Um, show me. Uh, show me. Show you. Kikoman, hope you're all having a soyful day. Woo! Invite Royce <laughs> when we have a chance. I don't know what the fuck I just read. Kikoman <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is actually a uh, very like dedicated supporter of oh, soy sauce. Channels. He appears yeah. on night sauce. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say quest, a brand of soy sauce. What the fuck? His quest is to redeem soy sauce soy from sauce. being perceived as oh, you know soy. soy face and everything. He wants to make it. It's a noble quest. That is a noble quest. Condiment that it is. It's high in sodium, but it's a noble quest. Okay. It is a noble quest. Mm -hmm. Uh, B. Rye McFly on the Streamlab side for seventy five dollars. McFly. (laughs) McFly. Long time worker, first time super chatter. We'll be listening to the stream replay during my sixteen hour drive to Vegas Monday. Hell yeah! Drive safe. Uh, But wanted to say thank you to all the beautiful retards. For keeping me sane through dark times. Hail Friday Night Tights. Hail the Fellowship. That's got to be our tagline. Kind of beautiful retards. That's what we are. <laughs> we are beautiful. And this is the last one of the night, ladies and gentlemen, because I got to go. Get ready for <laughs> Vegas. And we are 1,000 away from 80K on the campaign. Oh, so. dude. Wow. Oh, I just ordered mine. That's amazing. I have not bought mine yet. I, I, but I will Good. right after I'm this. Right after I'm getting show. a big combo. I'm gonna I got get, the big I got I'm a big get combo. Two too. big combos. I'm gonna big combo. Well, I'm gonna buy <laughs> some extra for our next meetup so we can give some away on our next meetup, oh, like yeah. I did with Eric's book. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I support the Iron nice. Age. Uh, Steve Morgan for forty nine ninety nine. We'll get the rest on a square up, folks. From the road, I'm sure it'll be riveting material, but. Uh, I've got 18 hours on the road with my wife, and I got to do something so she doesn't kill me. Uh, <laughs> but she's she's fucking cool as hell. She's I, in the chat. Hi. I know she's in the chat, and she, uh, poor thing has to listen to metal the whole way. Because I okay. Yeah, it's great. Razor, I'm <laughs> I'm They're kind of road trips. They're great. It, yeah, yeah. I got like my man of war. I got some. I got CDs for my CD player, but I also like <clears> throat> I throat> have Sirius XM just for Ozzy's Boneyard, so I can just play right. fucking so so because Ozzy. I guess somehow forgave Dio, so he plays a lot of Black Sabbath Dio on that, and like it's really right. just good because Black Sabbath Dio, or I'm sorry, Black Sabbath, yeah, with Dio, superior Black Sabbath, it is in a lot of ways. So, I, I like every version of Black Sabbath except the ones with Ozzy. I'm I'm that kind of contrarian. Oh wow, never, you you <laughs> are. No, that's actually I, not true. I do like the stuff with Ozzy. I just like prefer it uh, without him. Believe it or not. The Dio stuff is so fucking good, though. Yeah, the Dio stuff's great. Oh. The Tony Martin stuff is wow. great. My thing, my favorite Sabbath record is with Glenn Hughes. Really? <laughs> dead okay, that yeah, is contrary. But on, oh, wow. if you go on the Indiegogo, like the main page, it's the first thing that pops up under popular projects. Like it's right on the front page. Nice. Oh, shit. Look at really? that. Really? That's really? awesome. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's how much traffic it's getting. Yeah. 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 That is great. Uh, Mrs. Nerdrotic's a saint. Okay, just putting up with me for well she's known me for more we've been married for almost 20 years she's known me for 35 years okay there's something wrong with that woman 
She, uh, she says nine hours of metal per day. Great. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like Detroit tap water. Right. Uh, <laughs> Flint, That's or funny. Flint, Michigan. Uh, we all have these woke companies because of ESG that mandate companies to make context for content for the intersectional feminist. By the way, intersectional, a word that was made up in a fucking university, which was now used unironically twice in two a deadline article on the same day from a and a Hollywood Reporter article. So they're feeling the wokeness like ebbing away and they are trying really hard to maintain it because they're seeing all this ESG stuff starting to get cut. Um, but they wow. found there's m many back doors. So one of the back doors is a lot of this, uh, a lot of mandates that are coming through Hollywood through their unions and award shows and stuff are being paid for by BlackRock, of course, other companies, but uh, also more, more vague and nebulous companies that are nonprofits. So if you find out who these nonprofits are, you find out that they have direct connections to the Democratic Party. It's so weird how that works. Yeah, it's so wild. weird, isn't mm -hmm. it? Wild, but you know, it's weird. Stay tuned mm -hmm. for next week. I've got all the yeah. all the dish mm -hmm. on that. A context for intersectional feminists and the T's uh, uh, manual transmissions. Uh, Disney has invested in why they are doubling down on st why they are doubling down on stupid. God help us. Even Bon, even Jovi doesn't like Bon Jovi, but you guys <laughs> rock. Yeah, I hate Bon Jovi. I don't like Bon Jovi. I don't like Bruce, Bruce Springsteen sucks. Bon Jovi sucks, and Pearl Jam sucks too. So there you go. That's how I feel about that. If I never hear any of those bands again, and not a single note from those bands again, I will be okay. Uh, so <laughs> we are going to end the show there. It has been a great show, right. and it's been a great show because of the chat and supporting the Iron Age. We had a lot of fun, great guests. But thank you for getting us to what's the total? Total oh my is God. like 500 away from yeah. 80k or something like that. Like almost, we're almost 80. Yeah. Well that, this thing started four hours ago. <laughs> nice. Holy yeah. shit. That's That's yeah. fucking awesome. 1,200 backers. 1,248 backers. Hell yeah. That, no. Everybody in the chat that supported this, that is absolutely thank incredible. You. Seriously, thank awesome. you. Mad, Beat your mad goal, lads. your fixed goal by 158% in four hours. Razor. Wow. And George. <laughs> you don't oh. even have the fucking trailer up there yet. I know. No, <laughs> we don't. 300 away. Dude, you got a good as video. As soon as I get off there, this, I'll do it. Hell yeah. yeah. So uh, let's go around the horn and uh, you can just keep this up. Fuck it. Uh, and we'll keep start out with Odin. What's up? You can find me over at OMB Reviews on YouTube, Odyssey, and Rumble. Uh, no live stream tomorrow night. I have to uh, chaperone a prom because I'm a teacher, <laughs> and that's Good. one of the yeah, joyous so things fun. I have to... Do you have I to know, go around right? and say, keep room for Jesus? <laughs> right? The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> room that's more of a stereotype, but yeah, we just got to make sure that they're not being, you know idiot teenagers but uh anyway i'll be on uh, my tuesday night stream and by then i will be able to give further breakdown analysis of the amazing box office of mario because yeah i'm eating pineapple and pizza probably in the next couple weeks because it's going to cross a billion dollars by then and uh anyway i did also want to mention that um i don't know if I, I can officially show it or not but um yeah you can show it oh, you can show whatever the hell you Do want it. Is that a cookie? It looks so, so stern. Cute. It's they a pizza. Bolt. It's oh. a pizza. And it comes off. Too. <gasps> wow. Yes, it does. A detachable yeah. pizza. Makeship, oh, makeship is pizza awesome. Shield. They're oh, really like cool. And yeah. uh, makeship is, I'll just say they're expanding things. They're going to be doing some other stuff, yeah. too. So. Cool. I, I love, love his eyebrows so much. You guys get to get your freaking plushies out so I can start doing mine. Yeah. I know. Uh, Ryan, oh, you have yours, don't you? I have it right here, actually. Let's see it. Wait, hold on. Oh! Oh, <laughs> that's so cute! Oh, that that is hair that is crayon? perfect. He's got Mountain Dew. Oh, Mountain, Mountain Dew. He's got a green Mountain crayon. Dew. That is awesome. Oh my go. god, they got your beard really, real, real good. <laughs> wow, they did. A little cape. That's He's really wider cool. than I am. Which He's is very my wide. ideal form, but 
That's really cool. <laughs> they got the forehead. Like the hair flip too. They, yeah, they got yeah, the forehead they right. Did a pretty good job. They got the forehead right. So well done. They got the uh, forehead right. Yeah. The hardest thing was they they couldn't. They're like, hey, we can't do eyebrows as light as yours. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, well. I hope on All Jeremy's right. they just don't put any eyebrows on because that would probably be more accurate. <laughs> right. Holy shit! Wait, the Whoopi jumped. Goldberg model. We're at eighty thousand. Yeah. Chat. Thank you, chat. The I fellowship. Like Thank it. you, chat. Uh, I've like seen that number right. X Ray Girl, what you got coming up? Uh, YouTube, X Ray Girl, uh, Rumble, Locals. Um, I think we're doing Sunday Fun Day. Uh, and then we have for Forbidden Frontiers is not this week. So um, it's going to be on a special day, undecided right now. Yes. And uh, subscribe to Poor Choices as well because there will be a live stream probably at the meetup. So if you want to see some people um at the meetup and us being ridiculous and drinking wine find us over there there you go uh thank you uh quarter black hey quarter black garrett you could find me on youtube and rumble and uh, you know twitter or whatever if you want to but most importantly go watch the latest video on nerd running i edited it it was uh grueling because i had to watch mandalorian season hmm. crap <laughs> please go watch that <laughs> Uh, so I don't suffer for nothing. There you go. Season Thank P. You. That's the one enjoyment yeah. I got out of it is like somebody else is going to suffer. So <laughs> somebody <laughs> else has to suffer through yes. group suffering. A little Schoenfreude. Uh Comics Division. Hey, I also have mine. My plushie as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, <gasps> oh, yeah. oh, oh wait. Oh, wait. Focus. 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 Even has a little cigarette. Oh, yeah. 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 That's good. I love it. It is great. Wow, that's uh, I had, I had it for a while. I didn't know we were allowed to show them. But um, yeah. <laughs> um, wow. First off, I I want to thank uh, Garrett, uh, WG, and Crazy Cat Guy. Uh, WG and Crazy Cat Guy gave me massive donations last night to make sure I make it to Vegas. Uh, Garrett has some stuff in the works as well. I just mm -hmm. want to say thank you to all of you. Um, it's been a, a crazy week, as some of you may already know. I got laid off on Monday, um, and that's been. To me, not expected. I knew it was coming, but it still doesn't make it any easier. So, like I said, thank you guys so much. I, I'm so happy that I'm going to be able to join you guys in Vegas because I was really looking forward to it. And I got massively bummed out when I found out I got laid off. So, uh, thanks. Um, also, um, I have a video in the works. I've been talking about it as an official title and a script has been written. So, I'll be recording it right after the show. It's called How to Save an Already Dead Franchise That You Killed the Disney Way. <laughs> nice. And yeah. uh, Comics yeah. Division's OnlyFans will be uh, starting next week. So, looking forward uh, to Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> as always, it was great hanging out with you guys. Um, Razor Fist, as always, great hanging with you as well. George, big fan of your political art. That stuff is Thanks. phenomenal. Thank yeah. you. Let's stay in touch. Thanks, guys. We'll do. Comics is a good dude. Fuck that company. Uh, <laughs> Chrissy Mayer. Oh, hi, guys. Congrats, George. Congrats, Razor Fist. This is awesome. I'm so happy for you guys. So stoked. And my dad is like always was a big fan of Western uh, movies, and he loved the far side. So I ordered the big package thinking I'm just going to give him like the soft cover. I think he might actually be interested. He likes um, cowboy packages. Yeah, he looks like, <laughs> well, like, oh, oh, boy. Actually, he might. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, about that. Uh, really excited for Vegas. Uh, guys, get tickets for my show on Thursday if you haven't yet. It's at the space. Uh, go to the spacelv.com. Uh, I think there's just like the back row or so just left. So you're out of the roasting zone. And it'll be myself, uh, Lila Hart, Keanu Thompson. So come check it out. And uh, yeah. It's I gonna be that. fun. That's gonna be, be really a fun. good time. I'm excited. That's gonna yeah. be a good time. Awesome Thanks, fun. Chrissy. Yay. Shad M. Brooks. Is it finally like 10 a.m. over there? I'm tired, Gary. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm gonna go and sleep. It has been massive fun. Love you guys. People know where to find me. Uh, and I'm gonna be seeing you all next week after I sleep. Yes. Sleep. Sleep. Shad nap. Sleep, little baby. <laughs> uh, Ryan Kinnell of RK Outpost. What do you got coming up, man? Nothing. Just this Vegas trip. It's going to be fun. I'm getting there on Tuesday. <clears throat> We're going to do Tuesday night's main event from Vegas. We're doing the meetup on Wednesday. Chrissy's show on Thursday. Friday night tights from Vegas. It's going to be a fucking blast. 
And uh, we are going to continue to do, or at least try to do, all the Geeks and Gamers daily streams that we're doing at 11 a.m. Eastern. We're going to try to continue that throughout next week as well. So hopefully we won't miss too much content. Do you know what time that is in Vegas? There. Are you aware? It should be 8, I think. Three, yeah. The 3 yeah. earlier? Which, which is fine for me. I know it's fine for you. I'm not Jeremy. a other people. I know I'm worried about other people, but yeah. <laughs> Jeremy doesn't drink, so he should be good. I will drink, but I will still wake up at 8. Yeah, you'll be fine. I, I, I have no doubt. I have no doubt. All. <laughs> I have no doubt. It's gonna be uh it's gonna be lots of fun. Uh George, what do you have coming up? Well, Ghost of the Badlands, a lot of, of course, which yeah, you guys are so generous to fund in such a short amount of time. Uh it means more to me than I can tell you. Maybe someday Damn. I'll explain. Aww. Um wow. I don't know. Uh besides that, I'm working on the sequel to Goofberry Pie, which I don't know, I'll I'll announce that at some point. But right now Ghost of the Badlands is the uh the uh the big project i also have a plushie here do, do you guys you got made those plushies uh make ship make ship make ship could i show off a plushie that i have from yeah. goofberry pie just because it's cute and adorable my Aww. wife makes these. oh that's cute Aww. this is Aww. the main character from the book that's right cute. but this is like handmade she that's makes awesome these. what and that's i'm telling her really like, good. She, she doesn't sell them for nearly enough money but um, wow. if you guys want like children's book stuff, like she's tagged in my Twitter. Yeah, that's it. Poke it out right there. If you guys want to give her a follow. Wow. She's Aww. actually incredible with her hands. She makes really like good. clothes yeah. and bibs and like plushies and stuff. Cute little booties. So nice. Yeah, that's oh, nice to this woman to work. Mm. Wow. She's amazing. So like in many ways, like in the past few months, I've been going crazy, like getting Aww. ready for this campaign and stuff. I want to give bit. her a shout out. It's Those really important to me to say this. Like. Listen. She's the best wife. <laughs> I gotta say this. She's the best wife. She's helped me out so much. I want to thank her publicly Aww. in front of everybody. Aww. Support her if you want. She's the best. Uh, thanks, hon. Aww. Brilliant. Aww. Well, so George, God. usually we don't allow nice things to be stood out women on this stream. Yeah. We'll make an exception <laughs> for this this time. Well, you know, no, I online I'm, I'm the titty grabber of course yes know, but, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice but actually those nice are recovery. Also handmade my fleshy by the way nice those are all handmade yeah, yeah it's legit unbelievable wow. that's awesome oh the kids so cute oh stop making yeah. those oh, girls yeah. I, I think i need to check my blood sugar yeah i think so too i made this with captain marvel oh that's awesome i did not make this i know you're lying and uh razor fist yeah, um, I, I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, the Iron Age is in full swing, folks. I've uh, been excited about starting this for a while. I had no idea it would even get funded or whatever. I wanted to be pretty, um, you know, reserved about whether or not it would work out. But uh, you guys came through. Godspeed. I cannot wait uh, to see, you know. Now we can do a whole spinoff. I could, I just wait for my LGBT spinoff, the Ghost of Brokeback Mountain. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, you know, Hollywood probably thought that was the, the last great Western. They didn't need to make anything after that. You know, that's probably been their attitude. So $83,685. You guys are wow. amazing. Amazing. Wow. wow. So, uh, Razor, George, okay. thank you for being here. George, I'm glad we finally got you on. And uh, it's an honor. I would love to talk to you two guys again. I'll, I'll hit you up about the real BBC, you know, before maybe before the campaign closes out so we can get you back on and talk about it if you're up for it. And uh, yeah, dude, uh, guys, fellowship, you're amazing. Thanks for supporting uh, everything about the Iron Age. And uh, I am blown away. Like, I cannot believe how much money this book made. That is uh, incredible. <laughs> so, um, Open invitation, of course, Razor to Vegas if you can make it. You know, I'd love to see you there, uh, and we will be there next week. I'm I'm leaving Sunday. I'm out of here. So uh, thanks right everyone. On. Gotta go. I've got I got to start packing like right now. Got to start packing yeah. my stuff. So let's go watch the film Nefarious this weekend, people. Yes, yes. yeah, good. Oh, yeah. Sorry, fantastic. Jeez. Steve Dees, watch Nefarious. Yeah, it's a shame it only got like a 500 theater release or something. Yeah, yeah, uh, but yeah, I've heard it's really good. Yeah. Well, uh, and and well, real quick on that note, uh, Return of the King uh, came oh, out, yeah. uh, was in one showing. Fellowship of the King, I'm sorry? Uh, uh, Return of the King. Uh, one showing <laughs> a day in less than 1,000 theaters and uh, raked in, like, became the second highest grossing movie for the uh, Thursday, you know, behind Super Mario. And it's just been raking in money. 
Full release. Come on. Full release. Do it. Do the entire trilogy. More than one day. Please. Well done, Fellowship. All right. Love you. See you guys next week from Vegas with Robert from Meyer Vegas. Burnett and Chris Gore. Yeah. Oh. Bye. Bye. Fun. Bye. See ya. Bye. See ya. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>